Today is the release date of a brand new seasonal game mode, the Trailblazer League, a two month league where you play as an Iron Man with boosted XP rates while only having access to certain areas of the map. You unlock different relics along the way which help make things easier or speeds things up. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a PKer. My game knowledge is pretty lacking and I didn't play the last league. However, due to DMM, I love competing on fresh servers and think with the strategy I have, I'll be able to unlock the end level content quickly and produce some great videos for you guys. Let's get into it. Today, I want to talk to you about a great game I've been playing on my break, Hero Wars, which you can download by using the link in the description. It's an online role-playing action game with both PvP and PvE modes. In the PvE mode, I can go bossing and complete missions, and there's an interesting storyline to follow. It's a classic fantasy game where you complete missions and you can collect loot and upgrade your champions. The game also has over 50 unique heroes, each with their own ability. You're able to create a team out of these heroes and champions and use their different combinations, which will create different synergies for you to find and use in the arena or the endless tower. The best part is the online gameplay where you can create guilds and fight other players in PvP arenas. So join the game now and get a super chest with a secret hero as well as 600 emeralds and 30,000 gold. Scan this QR code or download the game from the link in the description and a big thank you to Hero Wars for sponsoring this video. My game plan going into this league is to get you guys the best high level content possible as fast as possible. I want to do God Wars Dungeon, Inferno, and most importantly TOB, and I think it'll be really refreshing for you guys to see a PKer's perspective on the league. My order of unlocks is going to be Kandarin, Asgarnia, and finally Mauritania, and as for the relics I'm choosing, I've decided on Last Recall for Tier 2 and Fluid Strikes for Tier 3, and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that later on in the video. If we manage to make it to Tier 4 today, we'll have to do some thinking then. Okay, so I'm currently editing this video and I just realized that I didn't go over arguably the most important decision of the video, my tier 1 relic. I decided to choose Endless Harvest. This allows resources I get from fishing, woodcutting, or mining to go directly to my bank instead of my inventory, as well as the amount of resources I actually get being doubled by this relic. I chose this simply because of the benefits it has to AFK playing, as while I edit my videos, I still be able to get loads of progress done while AFK endless harvesting, and it just gets me loads of resources in the long run, which is going to help me out in that late game content. So while a lot of people were focusing on making money or trying to get their overall stats really high, the only two things I was focused on were completing tasks and getting a high number of points, as for every task I do, I get closer to a range and unlock, and for all the points I get, I get closer to another relic unlock, and obviously these just make the game so much easier, so I wasn't concerned about anything about, like that, I was just going for straight tasks. Come on Orlando Smith, give me my 20. Let's go! Okay, and let's open up Marlo's crate. That is so much good stuff for us as a teleport to house, Fowler or Telly, all this shit. So I actually had a pretty amazing start to the league. In order to unlock your first relic, you need 500 task points, and I managed to get that within the first two and a half hours, which means I got to unlock Last Recall within the first three hours of the game mode being live. So while I was focused on getting as many tasks as possible and getting as many points as possible, I was also thinking long term and trying to integrate the tasks into my game plan. I went to Tree Spirits to try and get myself a rune axe early as a lot of the tasks revolve around woodcutting, fletching, and fire making and it just would have sped things up by so much. I used the daddy's home rewards to start training my construction and I got to Karamja as quickly as possible to fish and cook myself food as well as fishing and cooking just being tasks themselves. So as you guys can see, simple tasks like catching a salmon on Karamja was worth 50 points and catching 50 salmon in general was also worth 50 points and that's two tasks completed right there, very quick and easy and with my relic Endless Harvest it does really go well. So just like the salmon I also got loads of points for fishing lobsters, catching 100 lobsters was a medium task worth 50 points and cooking another 100 lobsters was also another medium task worth 50 points. So about 5 hours into the release and I managed to get my 60th task complete which was actually as simple as catching a raw herring. Now this means I could unlock my first region and as I said before my first region unlock was going to be Kandarin. If you guys are wondering why, I think it's just simply too strong in terms of the content it has as well as the points available. It has Zenites, it has the Kraken, it even has like stuff like Dragon Full Helms, Occult Necklaces, Heavy Ballistas. There's just so much to do in Kandor and it's such a big place, obviously it gives you piety as well, and it's definitely the first best unlock in my opinion. Alright, Vampire Slayer done. That put me to 40 attack. So every achievement diary you complete on RS you actually get some XP lamps from, and I didn't really have a good way of training Herblore early, and the XP lamps are also boosted by the XP multi multipliers of Trailblazers, so I decided to use every single XP lamp I got early on Herblore so that when the time came I could actually use Herblore and make myself prayer pots, etc. 
So while some quests aren't tossed, the fact that the reward XP is actually times by the XP multiplier of Trailblazer League, which is quite different to DMM, it still makes questing very worth doing. Something like 12k attack XP is actually like 60k attack XP, and as you can see that just got me loads of levels, so quests like Fight Arena we're still going to end up doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I got my already cloak, herb lore. Nice. 41 herb lore. Jesus Christ, sea slug got me to 59 fishing. Okay, and this should be waterfall done. I'm not exactly sure what levels this gets us. 58 attack and 50 strength. That's very, very nice. Dude, I got a Cesar kit on. What? Is that a task? Oh, I need a strength level 50. Dude, that's a hard task as well to equip it for 60 strength. I've got it now. Other easy tasks that were worth 50 points were such were things such as cutting a canoe for 50 points or making a super compost, which I've never done in my life before for the record for 50 points. So a bunch of my points just randomly came in, so I can actually get my third relic now, which is Fluid Strikes. So Fluid Strikes makes the attack speed of all melee weapons halved. My melee attacks have 25% increased accuracy, and I also take 15% less damage from all sources, as well as regenerating health at 4 HP per 1 minute. Let's go. So the best way I can display the attack speed of this relic is showing you guys in action in a very, very heated crash war here at the wizard's tower. Me and this guy in the short bow were both competing for the wizards as we both wanted with a wizard rope top for a task that we needed it for. Obviously because we're both Iron Man, none of us weren't getting the drop. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. It was a very immature crash war. But the point is, a rune axe is a 5 tick weapon, but as you can see it's attacking extremely fast here and that's because the attack speed is doubled. Now, it's not that, you know, it's not that glamorous when I'm showing it to you guys on a wizard, but imagine two weeks from now when I'm doing bandos and I am hitting with a whip every two ticks this, at the same speed of darts, I'll be using a whip, hitting constant 40s. That shit's gonna be OP. Okay, I just filled a bucket with super compost, let's go. Okay, can enter Cook's Guild, 50 more points. So while it doesn't look like I'm actually that far ahead as I'm running around with 5k in my inventory in dirt poor gear, the progress I've made on the tasks and the relics is actually going to boost me so much more forward when the proper content starts happening, when I start getting into the PVM, I'm going to be ahead of people with some relics that can really help me out. Kill Dark Wizards, get a Water Talisman, my Pure Essence, that's two tasks if you uh, create. 50 water runes. Okay. I need f three more tasks, bruh. It's heating up. All right, we have three tasks left. Killing a blue dragon itself is one task, I think. Yup, and I'm gonna dr bury the dragon bone here, which should be another one if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is, and we only have one task left now until our final area, or until our second area. Final hit, final hit. Okay, and that should be 30 range, which means I can put on the Maple Shortbow, which is my final task before unlocking my next region. Wait, has it updated? Has it updated? There you go. You can unlock a new area. Areas, Asgarnia, unlock, and we have unlocked both Kandarin and Asgarnia in one episode. We're probably about 12 and a half hours into the league right now. So we are about 12 hours into the league and I've unlocked both Kandarin and Asgarnia as well as getting up to the tier three relic. If you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss the future league video and feel free to toss a like as it really does go a long way in helping me out. You guys know me, I'm a PKer and I haven't really done anything like this before. So I wanna give a big shout out to my friend Maz who I've been playing this league with. He's been helping me out loads and he was actually ranked in the top 10 last league. So if you wanna check out his videos for this league, his channel is linked in the description. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys tomorrow with my day two video. In my first 12 hours of the Trailblazer League, I managed to unlock three new relics and two new regions. This video picks up directly where we left off the last one, link in the description if you missed it. Today, we look to unlock our tier four relic for which we have a choice between a relic that helps us with clues or a relic that helps us with Slayer. As we chose Endless Harvest on release at the early stage of the game, there's no way I can compete with the top page people who likely have Skilling Prodigy as their relic as it allows them to complete so many tasks so much more earlier. While this helps them loads early game and lets them keep their rank on the leaderboard, as the days goes on, their relic becomes more useless and I continue catching up while having the perks of my own relic. So while it might not happen right now, I wouldn't be too surprised if you guys saw my name on that leaderboard in a couple of days.
Now to get our day two grind started, we're gonna be getting ourselves the rogues outfit from the rogues den. Not only does this help with thieving by giving us double loot, but just equipping the full rogues dead outfit gives me 100 points. All right, we failed five times in a row. Can we make it six? Oh, wow, we actually got one, nice. Let's crack the safe good, please. Yes, let's go, okay, that's three. Okay, can we get the fourth piece or we're gonna get sent home packing? What we saying? What we saying? Damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please give me the fourth, please. Yeah, let's go, wait, what? Wait, what? What is a row kit? Okay, crack the safe and give me what I want this time. Oh, wow, okay, that worked, nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me, give me, give me. Let's go. Okay, it's not actually as bad as I thought. We have our full set now. And that is 100 points just by wearing the rogue outfit itself, which is very nice. Yo, okay, that's a nice little task down there. We got a Ranar seed, two of them, in fact. Let's go, 50 points earned for pickpocketing a night of R done 50 times. Okay, and we're at about 108k. We're going to leave it for here, and we're going to go buy ourselves a D skin. Okay, and we're now a very poor man once again, but we have ourselves a dragon scimitar. Now look at this. Boom. That's a medium and a hard toss done, so I think that's 150 points. And, if I'm not mistaken, just using the special attack, I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit safe about it, is another 50 points? Yes, so I just got 200 points just by buying a D-skim. Alright, that's another 50 points and we're at 3.47. Are we not at 3.520 by now? I don't know. It takes a while to update. Either way, we're around 500 points away from our next relic. Go, look how fast this shit goes, bro. Oh my god. So I just got 1,000 total level, which is another 50 points. So if we update ourselves, we are at 3,590 points of so 410 until the next relic. Now, as you guys can see, I just got 60 strength. Now, if you watched my last video, you know that this is the freest 100 points of my life because I got a Tassar Cat Ohm Drop. And that is 100 points right there. So that puts me up to 3690, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and this should be the, our 100th U log burned, which should be another 100 points, getting us to 3790, if I'm not mistaken. And yep, it is. So we're now, what, 210 points off our next relic. Okay, and that is another hard toss done. Chop 75 mage logs, giving us 100 points. We are now 110 points away from our next relic. And this red topaz machete right here gets me within 10 points of my next unlock. Okay, and this should be me getting base 10s, which will be another 10 points, putting us at 4,000 points. Am I correct? I am correct, which means... Alright, unnatural selection, that's what we're going with. When getting a Slayer task, you can choose which task to receive. The same task can be chosen repeatedly. So if I just want to keep doing Kraken over and over again, if I wanted to, I can. It just gives me the freedom to choose. It's such an OP relic in my opinion. Superior Slayer creatures have a 1 in 25 chance of spawning. That means easy imbued hearts, and they always drop a clue scroll if there's one on their drop table. So even though I don't have the other clue relic that I could have chosen, I'm still always going to get a clue scroll, like pretty much every single task. So this is a great, great pick for a relic, and the passive effect obviously for tier 4 is that my XP multiplier goes from uh, 8 to 12. So a very nice Slayer relic, and this is when we really start getting into the content. Let's select it. Alright, so I just got another 50 points for reaching 75 combat. We take those. Also, because of my new relic that allows me to choose my Slayer toss, during this defender grind, I'm going to be just getting like loads of Slayer XP because I can actually just choose a Hill Giant task and a Cyclops count as a Hill Giant. So I'm just getting loads of XP while getting my Dragon Defender. Very, very worth it. And I just got another 50 points for slaying 250 creatures on a Slayer toss. I didn't even know that was another 50 points, but it adds up. Um, we are now, f what, 3,080 away from the next relic. It's a bit off, but we will be getting a lot of points today. So this relic allows me to choose a task from any Slayer Master, and now that I'm over 75 combat, I should be able to complete a task just by choosing my Slayer task, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yes, I just got 10 points for choosing a task. Let's go. Okay, and that is the Iron Defender and 77 Strength. I really miss the DMM upgraded Defender rates. You don't know that they're gone until you play Trailblazer League. I just got 75 points for completing 10 tasks, and all I've been doing is getting my Dragon Defender. That is what's so good about the Slayer Relic. Alright, and this bone should be 43 prayer if I'm not mistaken. We have not used a single altar. We've been barring bones from all our kills to get this prayer. And that is a medium task. I'm fairly sure, yes it is. That is another 50 points earned right there. Okay, this is really taking a while. Update on the stats for 80 strength, almost uh, 63, 64 Slayer. We just got our Steel Defender. Oh, that's a black defender right there. Let's go. 
Okay, we're still going quite dry here, not gonna lie, but the Slayer points and just the Slayer toss makes it so much more easier for me to do. It's not really like I'm wasting time. And I got myself a Mithril Defender just now. Okay, we're actually getting a little bit lucky now. I'm actually getting ourselves an Adamant Defender. Only the Rune, and then we can go up to Dragon. I literally just got a new task. I have 225 Slayer points, and now I've just gotten myself a Rune Defender, which means I have 500 tokens to try and get the Saragon Defender on. Hopefully we don't get too unlucky and we get it in these tokens. I just got a tooth half of a key, which is actually really good because once I get the loop half, I can open the crystal chest and that's a task that gives loads of points as well. Okay, so I got 500 more tokens because I was going dry and I just got my dragon defenders. And that is 100 points right there. Equip a dragon defender. Very, very nice. We can get out of here for now, but we do have 500 tokens. So while we did go pretty dry on the dragon defender, it really doesn't make that much of a difference because we could reassign every single slayer task to hill giants the whole time we were training slayer. And slayer is actually going to help me um, get a lot of these points. So the first thing I can do is I think I go to rewards and I go to unlock bigger and badder and that should be 50 points just in itself. Yep. So lighting this unlit bug lantern should be 50 points. Wield 50 points. There we go. All right. So I'm mining pure essence for a couple reasons. There's a lot of tasks centered around rune crafting. So having like 200 to 300 pure essence will really help me out. Also it'll help me train my mining at 60 mining. I can go to the mining guild and get myself a rune pickaxe and that's another 50 points. Uh, there's a bunch of little 50 point tasks. I'm just going to be stacking up over there, of course, to this video. All right, here we are at the body altar and just making one body rune should be 50 points for us. If I'm not mistaken, there we go. Very nice. Okay. And that is craft 200 essence into runes, which is another 50 points. And we're also at 35 rune crafting now. A very, very quick and easy 100 point hard task. All I had to do was one lap of the Sears uh, uh, Village Agility course, and that has earned me 100 points. So we're now 2620 away from the next relic. Okay, and this should be another easy 50 points just by going in this place. I don't even know what this place is, but yep, there we go. Come on, give me those 50 points. Defeat a wall beast. Okay, and this should be another 50 points from just wearing plus 15 prayer bonus, if I'm not mistaken, with the holy symbol and the monk robes. There we go, another 50 points. Okay, and this should be the poor scene of interest quest done, which will give me another 50 points, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Okay, and I finally killed Mole, bro. It took me like seven minutes, but that's 50 points. Oh, I got an amulet of strength, bro. Let's go. Let's actually go. That's actually sick. Okay, and that is 65 cooking, which is a requirement to make a pineapple. What was that pizza they just said? Because that's the task I'm about to do. We'll go figure it out. I think it's a pineapple pizza. All right, this should he this right here should be another 50 points just from making uh, air rune four runes with one essence. And then I got an easy task done as well. So that's a some more points. 50 points are in there. And... Okay, so yeah, that was 60 points in total. 50 points and then another 10. And I'm going to get even more because if I'm not mistaken, I can make a mist rune here. You need water runes to bind mist runes. I see. Let me go get some water runes. Okay, and that is another combination. That's combination rune created. That's another 50 points earned. 32k. Okay, that's fine, actually. That's 50 points. Is it not 50 points? What? Oh, no, I need to mine an ore with it. Okay, and that is mine some ore with her and pickaxe. 50 points. Yo, I just got 50 points from 1250 total level. I didn't even realize. Here I am, make it a steel bar, and that should be another 50 points for us. Correct? Correct. That's a medium toss done. And actually, I'm going to make a couple more steel bars because I'm going to make a steel plate body after this. All right, if I'm not mistaken, entering the crafting guild right now, as I just got 40 crafting, should be a medium toss done. Yes, it is. And that's another 50 points. This should be 10 points just by unlocking the gate. Yes, it is. Um, let's go kill a blue dragon as well. Is it real? Yes, it is in fact real. And this is another 10 points off of a blue dragon. We're not done yet. That should be another 10 points off that black demon. Yes, it is. That's 72 Slayer. We're just going to finish up this task. 72 Slayer does also unlock two Wyvern tasks for us, which are both 50 points each, which is really great. And just training Slayer in general is really good for us. Okay, with getting myself 300 Slayer points, this allows me to unlock broader fletching, which means I can go make broad bolts or broad arrows, which is another 50 points. Okay, and that is another 50 points just like that. Okay, Elemental Workshop 2 done, and that gives us 7.5k smithing and crafting XP times 10, obviously, so that gives us loads of levels, 54 smithing and 52 crafting. We also get another 50 points. First Wyvern kill, will I get a DFS? I really doubt it, and I've just started hitting 10 zeros as soon as it starts getting 0 HP. Either way, that's another 50 points off that, okay, and that is another 15 points because a Fossil Island Wyvern is down. These guys are scary, I cannot lie. 3k cash as well, nice. All right, we managed to get ourselves a crystal key for some drops, and this is another 50 points. The loot itself is good, but we're also doing it for the 50 points. 
And we got ourselves a Dragonstone and nothing else that I can see. All right, and this should be the 50 points for teleporting to Fossil Island using the dig site pendant. Let's go. Time to get some more points. If I get a kitchen and build it, that should give me 10 points. And if I go over here to the larder space and make an oak larder, if I'm not mistaken, that is another 50 points. Okay, this has possibly been the world's longest steel dragon kill ever. That could be because I'm meleeing it, and the only reason it's really viable is because of my relic. And the reason I've done it is for the 50 points it gives me. Uncut ruby. I was hoping for a visi there, not gonna lie, but there we go, another 50 points. Okay, I just got the goblin diplomacy quest done because I'm now gonna be unlocking my bone crossbow and I need to do it. All right, that is the Lost Tribe done, which gave me 36k mining XP, as well as 50 points, which is very, very nice. I can also go buy a Bone Crossbow now real quick. Okay, buy a Bone Crossbow, wield it. That's another 50 points right there. Might as well get some uh, bolts while we're here as well. Okay, and that is Death to the Dorgishin completed. Another 50 points earned and some range XP as well, getting us to 40 range. Very, very nice. And 72 thieving. Okay, that's another 50 points. Pickpocket and a Bullseye Lantern. Nice. What? That's another 50 points. All right, we've been squeezing through those task points, and I'm pretty sure this is 100 points right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yup, yes, it is a hard task, because this is a shortcut to the Cosmic Altar, apparently. We are now at 6290, only 1, uh, 1210 away from our next relic. Okay, opening the range guild is another 50 points, I'm going to say. Yep, another 50 points, nice. Smith of Steel Plate Body should be another 50 points, just like that. Yes, it is. And that is another 50 points from filling a medium stash unit. Very nice. We are now, I think, 1,060 points away from our next relic. Now it is time for the first real PVM of this series to start. You might be looking at my gear and my inventory and thinking, what, 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 what are you doing, Ditter? I am going to go kill a demonic gorilla because it is a hard task that grants me 100 points. Also, I just want to see if I can do it because I have 40 range. So yeah, I also don't have any prayer pots. So let's see how this goes. Bone crossbow, full monk robes, and bone bolts. Wish me luck. So close, but yet so far. It doesn't really matter, I can just come back, it's still 5 HP and I'll just get the kill then. Okay, and I think that is our first demonic gorilla kill. Didn't go as expected, unfortunately no Zenai on drop one, but that is a hard task complete and my first proper PVM done. PVM being done. I'm gonna get out of here before I get smoked, but we now have less than a thousand points to go before our next relic, the tier five relic. Very, very nice, we're at a total of 208 tasks completed and 6,540 points. Look at me, I'm a beast. So if you guys are wondering what my stats are, here is where we stand. I'm just doing some AFK fishing right now while I edit this video for you guys. Now going into this league with very little Iron Man and general game knowledge, I think I'm doing pretty good so far. Obviously big shout out to Maz who I've been playing this entire league with as he's been helping out loads with the progress I've been making. He's also making his own videos and considering the fact he was ranked top 10 in the last league, make sure you guys check out his channel linked in the description as he's going to be making some insane videos. In tomorrow's video, we will unlock our tier 5 relic as well as our final region, Mortania. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. And please leave a like or a comment on this video as it goes a long way to support my channel. I'll see you guys later. I wasn't actually planning on starting the video yet, but I can already get one task done, which is thieving from this gem stall for 100 points. Hopefully this guard doesn't jump me. Can I? Oh my... Really? Bro. Okay, wait. Give me a sec. And there we go. That is thieving from the gem stall. We managed to trap the guard, and that is 100 points right there. Anyway, guys, welcome to day three of the Trailblazer League. We are 90 tasks away from our final region and 1,000 points away from our tier 5 relic. Today, we're going to speed through our final task in an attempt to unlock both. Let's get into it. I just got myself a diamond. That's another 100 points at Dargish Khan. Very, very nice. We are now 760 points until the next relic. Just pickpocketed a hero. 100 points right there. Very, very nice. We now need, what, 660? 
Okay, and that is 100 sharks caught, which gives us another 100 points. I'm just going to catch a couple more because another task is actually to cook 100 sharks, which also gives me 100 points. This guy Rolling Beard just told me to wash my chair. I'm personally never going to do that until the league is over, but I just got 100 points for cooking 100 sharks. Let's go. Another quick task I just simply forgot to do. Entering the fishing guild is another 50 points right there. And that is another 50 points for dismantling 20 birdhouses. Very, very nice. We're getting there 360 away from the next relic. Okay, and that is another 50 points just by trapping a spined lar larapuya. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it in this uh, little pit thing. Very nice. Okay, and this is another 50 points just by wearing this armor set of the larapuya, I think. Um, we are now 260 points away from our next relic. All right, equip a myth set. Don't know how I've done, haven't done that yet. Only 10 points though, 250 until the next relic. Okay, and that's another 50 points of ruby amulet created right there. Okay, surprisingly enough, I haven't done this yet, but casting a high level alchemy, I'm not even 55 mage, is 50 points. So I'm boosting to do it, and this will be another 50 points for us. Very, very nice. Okay, fire battle staff, that is another 50 points if I wield it. There we go, and now we are 100 off the new relic. So I actually did end up going to do some AFK fishing after all that because I was pretty tired and I didn't really feel like doing anything else. Um, once I hit level 95, it actually did unlock a new relic for me because it does give me 250 points to reach level 95. When I hit level 99, which is actually only 150k XP away, that's another 250 points. But I've already unlocked my tier 5 relic. I don't need to be cashing out points just yet. So I'm going to save that for now. I'm going to save that 150k because we don't really need to use it yet. But I am going to unlock my tier 5 relic, the botanist. Now you may be wondering why I'm choosing this over the other two relics. And it is very simple. Look at the relic effect. Farming cycles occur every one minute instead of every five minutes. So every crop I grow is five times faster. All my herbs are going to be five times faster. The resources I gather are multiplied by two. So instead of like 10 runners, I could be getting 20. Mixing potions always results in a four dose potion. You guys know you'd usually get three dose potions. So that just saves me like loads of, I don't know, supplies in the, in the long run. And I have a 95% chance of saving my secondary agreement, which is great. Now, possibly one of the biggest things is that my stats boosted above my base level will no longer drain back over time. So let's say I drink a super combat and I go do a boss like Cerberus and I never brew down. I will be 118 strength for the whole time because my boost never leaves me. It's amazing. And the passive effect is items from some sources will be 3x as common, which is pretty cool too. Anyway, we're picking up. All right, that is 65 fletching, which means I should be able to make it use short bow if I am not mistaken. I don't know if that's a task, but I know that equipping one is. Right now, we don't care about points anymore. We just want to get that 78 task numbers to zero so that we can unlock our final area. So we'll be doing all kinds of tasks, whether they're easy or hard. And that is crafting 100 unpowered orbs done, and that's another task completed. It gives me 50 points, but like I said, we don't really care about those right now. Okay, that's completing the easy Varric Diary for another 10 points and another task, and I'm just going to go get the XP lamp from it. And that is the Lumbridge and Drainer Diary completed, and we're going to get some more XP from that as well. We used our last one on Herblore, which got us to 50 Herb. Okay, and this should be some more Herblore XP, getting us to 52 Herblore. Killing this group of individuals on this Tortoise should be another task. Oh, what? Okay, yeah, it is. And I got Nature Instruments, so that's another task done. That's another 50 points for building a U house, very, very nice. Okay, I just caught a Swamp Lizard and I caught a Red Salamander by catching a Red Salamander, so that's 100 points from there, and it's also part of my diary. Okay, and that is one part of Recipe for Disaster done, and that actually gets me to- Oh, what? 29 farming, are you trolling? Okay, well that got me 10 points for reaching level 20, reaching base level 20, and in literally 95 more farming XP, I will reach base level 30. Okay, and that is 30 farming, which gives us base level 30s, which is another 50 points. We are now 68 tasks away from our next area. Let's go, easy task. Completing the candor and diary, another task right there, and it also means we get some more XP lamps to put on Herblore. 55 Herblore, nice. I think we can stop putting lamps on that for now. All right, so if I move my house to Taverly, that is one task done right there. And if I move my house from Taverly to Yanel, which is 25K, a little bit expensive, is another task right there. So two tasks just done like that, and that was 50 points as well. Got all the way to 75 mining, but I finally got my 20th gold nugget, which is another task. And that is another task done. Mine 50 adamant ore. Very, very nice. Okay, and that is harvest any herb at the troll stronghold. Just getting myself some guams, but that is another task completed. 
Okay, and that's craft leather body done, which means I am now 59 tasks away until my next area. Cleaning a grimy avanto is 50 points right there. I just reached 1500 total by smithing, didn't even know it, but that's 100 points right there. Very, very nice. Okay, and that is a mithril grapple, another task completed and 50 points earned. Okay, and that is another quest done, Chompy Bird quest done, gonna get me some levels, I think 43 range. And apparently there's some glitch going on with the Chompy task, so we've just decided to give everyone the points for it. I'm not exactly sure how it works. I think I just have to talk to him and say, can I have a hat please? Okay, and I think because I apparently have a thousand and one Chompy kills because that's what Jagus have decided to do because of the glitches with the points, I should be getting loads of these little whatever these things are. Oh my god, how many are there, bro? Okay, and I think if I just equip all of these, I should get some points. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Yep, that's some point. Is that three tasks done? Yep, that's three tasks done. I guess they gave everyone a thousand chompy kills because there was some glitch and they decided to make it fair for everyone. So that's fine. I'm good with that. I'm not going to complain. So we're now 53 tasks away from the next area. Nature talisman. Let's go. Let's go. Cosmic talisman as well. Okay, and this should be crafting 50 cosmic runes, which is another task, 50 points, and it's another task off the list. Next up is nature runes, but I need to go train my rune crafting more. 40 rune crafting, that is reaching base level 40, which is another task completed and another 50 points. Another task and another 50 points by making 50 gnats. I'm just going to keep going in gnats until I get around 50 rune crafting anyway, but yeah, another task done. And shout out to this guy, Invoked Adam, for saying I have great content. TY, bro. Okay, this should be a task right here. Yep, harvest and iron leaf. Very, very nice. And we're just going to get the rest of them. This double herbs thing is awesome. So I have to kill 30 black dragons for a task here. And look at my elite strat. I'm going to use my Kandarin monastery thing after every time I run out of prayer, basically. Because these things hit, like, hard as fuck. Also, I'm potted up right now. And this pot lasts forever because of the botanist relic, which is OP. Anyway, I come in here, get my prayer. And all I have to do is hit that. I'm right back at black dragons. Barely lose any time, and I can go into another kill very quickly. And then Asgarnia done. I guess I'm going to kill this. Actually, no, nah, we're getting out of here. But that is 30 Black Dragons in Asgarnia done. Took a while, but with our method, it actually went pretty okay. And I'm happy with what we did. Okay, and it's time to unlock some more tasks. Casting a wave spell is 50 points, if I'm not... Oh, 100 points. Okay, awesome. And that's another task completed. Now, if I drink this Asgarnian Ale... I brought... I got the wrong ale. I need a Wizard's Mind Bomb. Um, be right back. All right, let's try that one again. So, because I've got myself a Wizard's Mind Bomb, I can actually pull up to 67 Mage. Now, this never goes down, just like my other uh, boost because of Botanist. That went down, I guess, because I drank that beer. Another 50 points for just entering the Wizard's Guild. Now, I need to trade one of these people. I don't know which one. I think it's this guy. Yep, buy Mystic Shoes. Put on Mystic Shoes. And that is another task done. So, I just got a bunch of tasks done just like that. We are now, what, 45 away from our next area. Okay, we got 50 points from doing the Barb Outpost Agility, and I just bought myself this Villager set for some more trading sticks, and if I'm not mistaken, that is another task on a medium task, 50 points, nice. Okay, and I have just gotten myself 50 farming, which means I am now base level 50s, which is another task completed, putting my total level at 50 and 58 as well. Demon Slayer task completed. Probably should have got this done a lot earlier, but I do love procrastinating the, t uh, the quests. Okay, reward cost, get easy. This is going to be a task. I'm hoping for something good. Uh, nothing really, but... Actually, what's that? It's a willow short bow, never mind. But that's another task done. Okay, beginner clue casket here, which will be another point. And we got a wizard hat, not very useful, but that's another task done. Okay, let's check what this casket has for us. Sardines. All right, it's time to do the obor kill. I've only ever done this with ranger mage. I don't know how this is going to go, to be honest. But I'm thinking my D-skim should just destroy him to the point where I don't even need to do anything. And it seems to be that way. I'm pretty much getting the AFK kill. Dead. Okay, please give me the hill giant club. Please. Damn it. Okay, but I gotta go bring in a call. I get that's all right, but defeat Obor is another task. Okay, another casket. Cabbages. Yeah, but this is convenient because it's right next to the task place as well. Oh, I just got a mossy key. Nice. No way. I forgot an axe, bro. I don't, there's literally nothing I can do, right? Oh, take axe. Wow. Thank God I stayed. I was almost about to panic tell you, not gonna lie. Okay, despite us forgetting an axe, we could actually just get an axe right from the east there. And we... Oh, room plate legs as well. Nice. And a beginner clue scroll. And we got another mossy key. Let's go. Awesome. All right, another moss giant boss KC. How much are we getting from that? Uh, uncut diamonds and uncut rubies. We take those. And that is Tai Buano Triodon, which unlocks two tasks for me in the forms of Karam ones. 
Okay, and that is catching 100 Karam ones done, and I'm about to get 99 fishing as well. That's two tasks done and like 350 points I just got. I'm going to keep fishing though because I need to cook 100 of them too, but those are two great tasks to get out of the way. 35 tasks until the next area. Okay, and that is another task completed, cook 100 Karam ones. Okay, that is the observatory quest done, which is another task completed. Very, very nice. Equip a green, full green dragon hide set, another 50 points. So just like with the black dragons, when I run out of prayer here, runeful home drop, nice. I can just teleport back to the Kandarin Monastery, get my prayer back up, and teleport right back using this basically hack crystal. It is so nice. Let's go, a runite crossbow unstring drop. That is exactly what we needed. Rune crossbow is such a big unlock for us, and we can actually fletch that pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and that is make 30 prayer potions, another 50 points. 31 tasks now until I can unlock my next area. Okay, and it's time to attempt the Mythal Dragon. Okay, a three minute Mythal Dragon kill. That's how we do it. Um, another task completed. 30 more tasks until the next area. Here are my stats ending off this video. 72 hours into the game mode and we are 30 points away from our final region unlock, Mauritania. While it might seem like I'm behind right now, it's simply because of my tier one relic choice, which was Endless Harvest, via the majority of people's decision to pick Skill and Prodigy. I was fully prepared for this, as for the first week, their relic would help them get mu get points much more quicker. But tomorrow, with 30 more tasks, I unlock Mauritania and get access to thousands of task points, and as the game mode progresses, I'll start overtaking these people. Feel free to quote me on this. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe because tomorrow's video is going to be full of content as I unlock my final region and get through the Mauritania tasks. And as always, feel free to leave a like as it goes a long way to support my channel, and I will see you guys later. As I've told you guys in my previous Trailblazer videos, people with the Relic Skilling Prodigy have been ahead of me in the early game. But I know what I'm doing. Endless Harvest is going to work out for me long term, and today's video is going to be the first example of that. We're starting off this video finishing unlocking our final region, Mortania, but we'll be ending it at the God Wars Dungeon. I don't know if you guys ever thought you would see the day where Ditter Bitter was tick something cooking Karam ones, but hey, there I go. Reach level 99 cooking, points earned 250, and that is another task done. Shout out to Karam ones because they're dope. Now we have 99 fishing and 99 cooking. Really great. We will get 25 mil XP in both of these eventually, so I'm happy with that. 50 implings done. 50 points. Okay, and that is 200 implings in Puro Puro done, which is another task completed. It's actually mad quick, which is why I stayed here from 50 to 200. Okay, and this is the final part of Varrock Medium, which is making 20 mahogany planks. I'm very, very poor, but that is another task done. 50 points earned as well, and I can go get some XP from that which I'm probably going to put on smithing, I'm going to assume, or crafting. Okay, I'm going to put this on crafting too, because eventually I want to be able to make magic birdhouses. So that puts me to... Oh, 66 crafting, nice. I got one more diary to do right now, I think. Okay, and that is the Western Provinces done, which is another task and another 10 points, and we can go collect another XP lamp from it. Okay, we'll put that on crafting too. I'm not sure if this will get us a level. Oh, 67 crafting, nice. Chopper, Sicilic Cap. Points earned, 50. Okay, and this is crafting 50 law runes, which is another task completed. Very nice there. We're getting very close now, only 14 away. 84k for a rune plate body. Very expensive, but it is worth it at the end of the day because wielding it gives me a task and 50 points, and I can also go do another one right now in Birthrope. Okay, and that is a rune armor defeated, which is another task, 50 points right there. Come on, medium class kit, please get me a unique. Yes, let's go. Purple Firelighter and an Ancient Miter. I'm not sure if an Ancient Miter is a unique too, but I just got two tasks done, complete a Medium's Clue Skull and a Purple Firelighter. And I'm pretty sure having a Purple Firelighter can actually let me do another task. Okay, and this is another task completed. Thank you so much to the Purple Firelighter. It saved me. I think this should update right now to nine tasks until my next area. Nice. Yo, I just got a unique from a beginner clue too. I just got bare feet. That's another task. Easy casket, come on, please give me something. Oh my god, I've gotten three in a row. I've gotten all my clue unlocks. That is amazing. Okay, I am a mathematical genius. Um, that little sisalip shop, I, I don't know what I just said, but that thing in Fossil Island that I chopped for 50 points allows me to make a mushroom pie. Eat a mushroom pie, 71 crafting, keep this boost forever because of botanist. I'm an absolute beast. Uh, needle, thread. Blue dehyde body, one. Oh, I don't wanna make another one. Don't make another one. Okay, nice. Uh, blue dehyde chaps. Nice. Blue dehyde vams. Nice. And that is another, well, that is another task completed. Equip a full black blue dragon hide set. Five more tasks for Mauritania. Bro, final kill and I got the obby dagger. 
I'll be dagger. Yeah, willed it 100 points, four more tasks. And then I could sell this and the mall, right? Okay, so I wasn't recording, but I just sold the sword and the obby mall that I got in that task. I bought uh, whatever this is, the obby dagger, I think, which is another 100 points and another hard task. And I have three tasks until my next area. And that is 100 combat, meaning I only have one more task to go until Mortania. And that is my task done too, awesome. And that's the Holy Grail done, giving me 11k prayer XP and 11.5k death XP, getting me to 60 prayers, so I can actually use chivalry once I do the Knight's Waves training ground. Okay, and this should be King's Ransom done. It is very, very quick with these relics, so it actually wasn't that much of an issue for me. And I'm going to use this lamp on crafting, I think I'm going to carry on crafting on. Got me some mage XP there. I got to go do Knight's Wave uh, training ground or whatever it's called right now. Holy crap, the relics make the Knight Waves training ground so easy. Anyway... We can now use Chivalry, which is our last task, to unlock Mortania. Nice. Let's do that right now. Areas. Uh, let's not unlock the wrong theory. View Mortania. Unlock. We are not done with the video here just because we unlocked Mortania. There is tons more of content we've just unlocked that we're going to get into. If you guys have been enjoying the videos up until this point, make sure you hit the subscribe button as it goes a long way to support the channel. And let's carry on with the video. Okay, and this is going to be 70 prayer. After this, I'm just going to go do my herb run, my birdhouse runs, and maybe make myself a combat bracelet. And then we're getting into the big slayer grind, and we're going to be getting loads of levels and points. You're trolling me. I'm 13 prayer points off. 13 XP off. 70 prayer. Nice. Piety unlocked. And I just got a task for doing that as well. 100 points. Okay, let's use this pie. Gets us up to 74 crafting. And we have now made ourselves a dragon bracelet. This is going to be our best in slot until we get a regen bracelet, or I decide to do... Actually, I think this is better than Myth Gloves anyway. Now, let me just click the right spell here. And there we go. We got a combat brace set. Now it's time to do our Herbron, and we're going to start getting to the Slayer. That's a that's a medium task done for... Honestly, I thought I just caught one of the Black Mouse, but that's a medium task done for defeating a superior Slayer creature. I had no idea. It just came. And I got a Heart of Clue Scroll out of it, too, which we can try later, I guess. You realize... Yo, I just got a Black Mask. I was like, I'm like literally 30 kills in. Let's fucking go. That's a Blood Veil done for 50 points as well. I just got 80 Slay, bro. These superiors are too strong. Alright, that's 10 superiors done, and that is 100 points right there. 81 Slayer. These superior Blood Veils are insane. They give me a 34.8k XP drop, and I get them one in every 25 superiors. That is the drop rate, at least. I'm, I've been getting loads of them. So I've gotten loads of Slayer levels, and I'm getting such fast XP because of all my relics, and because of the Black Mask. This is insane XP. I'm going to be at a whip and then Bandos, Kraken, whatever in no time. 83 Slayer and another superior task done, defeating two superiors for 100 points. I can now go get my D shoes from the Spiritual Mages, but I'm just going to finish this task up because it's so quick. I'm getting such nice XP. I'll go assign myself a Spiritual Mages task afterwards and go pick up myself some D shoes. Oh, D shoes. Let's fucking go. Okay, and that is 85 Slayer. I just decided to go do some baby black dragons real quickly. I'm just going to finish up the task, and then we're going to make our way to Abbey Demons after getting ourselves a task. Oh my fucking god. Dude, this was all in one harvest. I just got 24 runners from one harvest. I need to run back and get my shit in time. Holy fuck. Okay, and it's time for the points to come in. Slay an Abyssal Demon. Defeat an Abyssal Demon in Mortania. 250 points for Slay an Abyssal Demon. How much was it for defeating one in Mortania? Ah, uh, it didn't say I- oh, to 100, so that's 350 points, and when I actually get a whip drop, that's another 250 points, so that's amazing. Oh my god. Bro, I just- I'm scarfing down a burrito bowl, and I just got my whip drop. Let's fucking go, dude, let's actually go. Look at that. Oof. 250 points from equ equipping an Abyssal Whip. Sorry, I need to continue with my meal, but that is very nice. Just got 110 combat, which is another hard task for 100 points. Very, very nice. Okay, 50 points completed, so we now have 510 Slayer points as well. That was another hard task as well. We can now make our Slayer home. Okay, and that gives us access to make a Slayer home, and let's do it. There we go. Slayer home made. 50 points right there, and boom. Looking like a boss ready to take on Bandos, but first we have to go take on the fight caves. Alright, just completed a recruitment drive because I wanted to get initiate before I did the fight caves. And I also got 60 herbal off of that. Nice. So there's a lot of points to do with Jad and the fight caves. Defeating the fight caves and equipping a fire cape is 250 points. Sacrificing a fire cape for the inferno is 250 points. Tanking a Jad hit, which is what I'm trying to do here. As you see, I run out with no prayer and tick eat it. It's also 100 points apparently, but I didn't get it right there. Um, completing uh, fight caves in under 34 minutes, I think, is 250 points. 
and completing a fight cave in under 24 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, is 500 points. So there's a lot of points with Jad and his little buddies. And this is our first fight cave and my first ever attempt at doing, doing a melee fight cave or a melee Jad. Obviously, I've got relics though. Okay, and that is the fire cape done. Jesus Christ, that was stressful. Um, That is 87 Slayer, and I think I get 500 points for that, because I'm pretty sure I tanked a hit. Equip a fire cape, nice, 250. Did I not get any hits, any points for tanking the hit? So because for some reason I didn't get the points for tanking that hit, I decided to go in for another one because I wanted to get those points, and I wanted to get another fire cape to sacrifice in the Inferno for another 250 points. I also wanted to try see if I could get a sub 34 minute fight cave, I don't have a lot of PVM or fight cave experience, nor do I have any melee fight cave experience, so I just wanted to see how reasonable it would be to do. Come on, oh my god, that was close as fuck. I tanked those hits and shit, but we managed to get another cape and get the task for surviving the hit this time, and we get another 250 points from simply going to gamble it. Okay, I sacrifice a fire cape, that's 250 points right there, putting us up to 13, 8, 20. Very, very nice. With our whip, our fire cape, our D-shoes, and even our combat bracelet, we were ready to start doing some actual PVM content, some high-level shit, and we were going for the big bucks right away. We were heading to Bandos. Okay, and that should be my first Bandos kill done, if I'm not mistaken. What do we get? Come on, give me something good. First kill count, please. What is taking so long, bro? Uh, coal. I got coal. Nice. Nice. What do we get? What do we get? Why is it taking so long to show the loot, bro? 66 nats. I have no idea what's going on. Oh. Loot. BCP. I don't know why it takes so long for the loot to show up, by the way. I have no idea, but that's a snapdragon see. So. BCP? Oh, we're in pickaxe. Okay, another kill. Bro, I just want one bando straw, please. Boots, chest plate, anything. Nature runes. Some of you are probably wondering how I'm doing efficient solo bando skills in some pretty trash gear. And it's all thanks to the tier 2 relic, Last Recall. After I finish my kill, I can teleport to a bank and use Last Recall to come right back into the God Wars room. Meaning not only do I not have to run all the way back to God Wars, I also don't have to get kill count again. This is going to be a game changer that's going to help me complete all my God Wars tasks. Bandos chest plate! Let's fucking go. 27k kill count. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. 250 points. Let's go. I knew it would pay off, bro. I knew it would pay off. So compared to the gear we ended the last video in, in the exact same teak spot, I think it's safe to say we've made leaps of progress in today's video and everything is starting to fall in place. Endless Harvest will allow me to AFK loads of level 99s as well as 25mm XPs, as well as making sure I'm still being efficient while editing my videos like this. The boosted high score players who have skilling prodigy and got loads of those tasks early because they already had the skill requirements for them won't have some of the levels that I have for a while and the gap between me and them is already beginning to close. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the sub button so you don't miss out on my next Trailblazer League video because it's going to be a good one. We're going for those top page people. Day 5 of the Trailblazer League, it's time for me to unlock my final relic, start chasing down the high ranks, as well as get myself into a lot better gear. Let's get into it. Okay, this should be 200 points right here from completing a veteran game of pest control, as well as keeping the guy over 150 HP. Very, very nice. That puts us to 14, 470. I boosted my Slayer using a Wild Pie to defeat Cerberus for the 250 point task. She also had another 250 point task if I could defeat her before she could summon souls. I don't think I'll do it. I think I might have it, dude. Oh my god, I did it! Dude, uh, bro, defeat a Slayer boss, defeat Cerberus, defeat Cerberus before she summons souls? I just went to 15k! I just went to 15k in one skill, dude! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, that's so nice, we get our final relic. Okay, so I just went from 14 something to 15k points in one Cerberus kill. And now I'm going to choose my final relic, which puts my XP up from 12x to 16x. Weapon Specialist. All of my attacks have 10% increased accuracy and 10% increased damage. 
amazing. And the really big thing is every 30 seconds, my special attack energy is restored by 30%. And anything that costs more than 20% only costs 20% now. So for example, if I had an AGS spec that would usually cost 50% spec, it only costs 20% spec. I think I explained that great. Maybe not, but that is the final relic we'll be unlocking. Awesome. So with this relic, one of the biggest items in the game for me is the BGS. So I decided to head over back to Bandos and I actually streamed this Bandos trip live on my Twitch, which is linked down below if you're interested, as I will be streaming here and there. Anyway, we headed back to Bandos in the hopes to get a hilt and maybe some other drops. Oh my god. This is about to be the world record Bandos kill, by the way. Yo! Awesome. And yo, Stevie Thunder coming in with a Twitch Prime sub as well. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate that more than you know. Bandos Tacits as well. What a nice kill, dude. What a nice kill. We literally didn't use a single food. And we got Tacits. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Now we just need the boots. Now we just need the boots and the hilt. Come on. Just kill it. Nice. Gold Sword Shard 3, okay, that's good. We're gonna need a full blade eventually. We're actually gonna, we've actually gotten fairly fucking lucky at Bandos so far. I have 58 KC to have full Bandos and a Gold Sword Shard 3. Nice. How you doing, bro? You've been playing leagues. Oh, I got the pet! I got the pet 61 kill count. No way I got the pet 61 kill count. That's another 250 points. 61 kill count, I got full badness and the pet. Let's go, dude. So the drop rates of the armor and hilt are actually boosted on leagues to 1 in 127 for the armor and 1 in 169 for the hilt due to me having all the unre relics unlocked. So while the drop rate is boosted, I'm still extremely lucky to have both Tassies and a BCP. However, the chance of getting a pet is not boosted at all and is a 1 in 5,000 drop rate and I managed to get it in 61 KC. Completely insane. 100 KC was really easy. <laughs> this kill especially. No, come on, don't hit all zeros here. I jinxed myself, bro. I actually jinxed myself. That's disgusting. I thought I was just gonna just get sliced. There we go, nice. 100 KC. Okay, oh, that, okay, that's an elite toss done though, so 250 points earned. Nothing, no loot though. But that puts me up to 15, 570. Bandos Boots! That's 500 points right there. That's 500 points right there. 106 KC. Woofed. Woofed. Equip a full Bandos armor set. 500 points on 16k now. Got it. I get, I get, I get what you're saying. Not bad. <laughs> okay, well, another Bandos chest plate. Not gonna complain. But I, I would have liked to help. 116 kill count, two BCPs, Tassies, Boots, and the pet. <laughs> oh my god. Champion scroll? Bruh. I'm not getting this hill, I don't think. I'm getting too lucky on everything else to, for me to get the hill. Nice, that was a quick kill. Three Bandos chest plates, 123 kill, uh, kill count, another BCP. Oh my god. <gasps> Dude, I thought that was gonna be the 5x DDS kill. I was getting mad hyped. Damn. Hundred and seventy kill count bandos tassets. Two sets of tassets, three sets of chest plates, shoes, goblin scroll, no hilts. I am the richest man in Gilmore right now. Can he stop ticking me down, please? I'm legit getting smoked out. Thank you. Bandos boots. 
Oh my god. I'm literally gonna have so many fucking- I have everything but the hilt like over and over again. Another- <sighs> Dude. 190 kill count, Bandos boots 3. Just give me a hilt, man. I'll trade all of these for one hilt, bro. I want the Bandos hilt so bad for a lot of reasons. Simply put, the tier 6 relic I've chosen is OP as fuck. If I had a BGS, it would allow me to spec literally anything in the game with a BGS five times in a row consecutively, making the opponent's defense virtually non-existent. Bosses like Ziliana, which are traditionally killed through range, would be paper to my BGS. Every single task that I could abuse a BGS for, I would, and it would be the easiest points in the game. However, after my third Bandos Boots drop, I decided to call it quits for the day and decided to try another fun challenge, which was one of the fight caves' speedruns. There are loads of different tasks to do with the fight caves, one being a 250 point task to complete it in under 35 minutes, and another being a 500 point task to complete it in under 25 minutes. I'm going to attempt these both in one go. I don't really have any speedrun experience, so I'm just going to have to rely on the relics to carry me through here. Let's try. Kill. Kill. Okay. Damn it, I got an under 35. 29 minutes, 10 seconds. I can get it next time. I can get it next time. Not right away, but next time. 89 Slayer and another task done. Elite task, under 35 minutes. Damn it. Like I said in yesterday's video, it's time for me to not only start catching up in gear, but in ranks. Today we got loads of bandos pieces and kill count done, but we also got loads of tasks done in the progress and right beforehand. And I'm happy to announce we have climbed all the way up to rank 108 out of every single person playing Trailblazer on day 5. Now like I said, as the days carry on, I will continue to climb more and more. And at the time of me editing this video, there's about 8 hours left in day 5. And I'm going to spend it all doing more hard tasks. So I want you guys to make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Because I could potentially be breaking into top 50 ranks or even beyond that. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys later. So today's plan was originally to rush high point tasks such as TOB and Nightmare in order to get within the top 50 ranks of the league. However, information spread like wildfire after Jagex talked about changing the way the last recall relic worked with God Wars. As you guys recall from my yesterday's video, I was able to teleport in and out of the Bandos room and farm all my drops like that, and I was planning to do that over the course of the week until I got my God Sword Blade and my Bandos Hill, as well as any other God Wars drops I wanted. However, with this new information, I had no idea when it could potentially get changed or nerfed, so I needed to act quickly and get my God Wars done fast. AFKing some teaks while being brain dead, and that is 99 wood cutting, 250 points earned just like that. Just like that, we earned 250 points, and we're now in 16,670 points. Okay, we actually just got extremely lucky. That didn't even take us a long time. We were pickpocketing these little fuckers, and we got ourselves 250 points off that diamond. 16,920 total points now. Oh my god. 90 Slayer, 2653, dude, but that was so- 2653, I don't know if I can get this 24 to be honest, but that's 90 Slayer as well. Dead? Nice. 2734, that was a little bit slower. Um, I was choking a little bit, so I didn't want to die, I just wanted to get the completion for the task points. Another 250 points, we are now at 17170. Alright, and that is another Jad done, 400k XP again, and we are 92 Slayer. Nice. Okay, and that is, should be the task completed. Yep, defeat a Crave Cack and 100 points awarded. Okay, and that's 75 mage, which means we can use the trident once we get it. And there we go, we get an uncharged trident. I don't know what kill that's on, but we still got a bunch of these to go, but I can't be fucked to do it. It's such a slow task, I'm just gonna skip it. And that is the trident of the seas equipped, 100 points right there and then. And that is 93 slayer, which means I can go do uh, smoke devils. Okay, let's get this started. I've never done one of these before, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but... It's already half HP, so I think this is the easiest 500 points of my life, if I'm not mistaken. Am I... Hello? Did I just get 500 points for that? Oh my god, okay, wait, I got 250 points for that. I think I need to kill a normal one for another 250 points. So let me just try that real quick. Bro, and it has a mad quick respawn timer, what? Okay, well that's another one done. Is that another 250 points? Please tell me it is. Yes, it is. That's another elite task. Just like that, I jumped up from 17,370 to 17870. Awesome. 
Time to make our way back to Bandos. We had already completed it four times over, but I was still looking for the hilt as well as God Sword Shard 2 to complete my blade. Once I got the hilt here, I could make my way to Zami as it would be easier to farm the shard there on task for faster kills. Okay, and that is 200 KC. Can I get my hilt here, please? It'd be amazing if I could. And I got two grimy snapdragons, but I agree. I just got my third Tassets, bro! Bandos Hill! Bandos Hill! Bandos Hill! 224 KC! Let's fucking go! Let's go! Bandos completed in 224 KC, and I mean really completed, as we even got the pet yesterday. It was time to move on to Zami, where we could kill it on task. A spear and a staff from Zami are both 250 points each, and we are also very keen to get ourselves God Sword Shard 1 and 2. Okay, 100 points, 100 points, 100 points for defeating Krill. Testothroth? Steam Battle Staff, isn't that a thing? Isn't that a task? Oh, dude, equip a combination Battle Staff or Misty Staff for 100 points. Okay, I guess I have them. Go Sword Shard 1! Go Sword Shard 1! Yes, let's go! Let's go! I only need the two now. Samurai Kid Spear, 11 KC. Wield Samurai Kid Spear. Elite Task, 250 points. Yes. 18.5k now, Matt. We were AFKing some range earlier and got to 67. And I forgot I had a rune crossbow in the bank. That's a hard task for 100 points right there. Zamorak Hilt, what? Let's go, 24kc! 24kc! God, plus I want to stay for the shard too as well. God Sword Shard 3, dude. That's my third God Sword Shard 3, bro. I just need one too, and I'm done, bro. 46, and I just got another spear, dude. Zamorakian Spear, dude. 3. 60 KC, still no Staff of Dead, and no Gods of Shard 2. You need some Ditabit or RNG, not gonna lie. For, as I say that, I get a fourth spear. I literally just went to one of my friends, you need some Ditabit or RNG, and I get a fourth spear. That could've been bad. Dude, did I go to DDS Plus? I got a Dragon Dagger Poison from uh, Thingamajiggy. Let's go. That's like the only way to get it, I think. I don't know. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, that is 120 combat, and it is 99 attack, which is two elite tasks, so I just went up 500 points just on the Sami kill. We're currently at 88 KC or so. Look how easy it is. I don't even have to pray or flick or anything. I just... Oh, okay. As I say that, I just get hit down to 40 HP. But yeah, I'm on task. You just, you just constantly destroy these things. All I'm killing is the boss. It's probably not even worth it to kill the minions, so that's what I'm doing. And our points have just jumped up to 19,170. There were a lot easier and higher point tasks available to me, but like I said, with any potential God Wars changes coming up, I had no choice but to get it done now. I was rank 108 at the end of last video, and I've been continuing gaining ranks and catching up to the people who chose Skill and Prodigy every single day. As it stands here, I took rank 63 and had even overtaken the boys' solo mission and foe, both of which had chosen Skill and Prodigy. After we're done with God Wars Dungeon, we can really start climbing and looking towards making it into the top 25. Right now we're chasing that staff and we're chasing Godsword Shard 2 and then we can move on to Sara. Another spear! 90 KC. 90 KC spear, that's my fifth spear. Still no staff. 100 KC, Adamant Arrows, P++, let's fucking go. 94 Slayer. Godsword Shard 1. 143 kill count. I just need two. God Sword Shard 2, let's go! Let's go, dude, finally! Finally, 150kc as well. Okay, and that is the Knight Sword done, putting me to 79 smithing, right where I need to be, as I can now boost to 80 smithing to make myself my God Sword Blade. We buy ourselves a nice little Dwarven Stout here, which we can drink, that gives us a permanent boost to 80, as we have Botanist. And now we get to make our God Sword. Let's use the God Sword Shard on the Anvil or whatever. Okay, God Sword Shards 1 and 2, add God Sword Shard 3 to that. Um, I don't even know how you do it. Okay, do it like that. Sorry, I'm, I'm new to this. I've never made my own God Sword before. 
Leave me alone. Okay, that is the Godsword Blade right there. Attach it. Boom. A BGS. 250 points. Equip a Godsword. Just like that. And we can switch it whenever we want with our Zamorak Hilt. I think we just do that. Dismantle. And then we put it onto there. ZGS. Just like that. Two Godswords already. It is now time to show you guys why I have been hyping up the Bandos Godsword so much and why it is one of the best and most powerful unlocks in the league and why I wanted to get it so early. Now if you guys know, to get an ACB or a Sara hilt from Sara, you'd have to do a very slow killing method with range where you'd constantly be clicking around the room. However, with the BGS and the weapon specialist relic that I have, I can simply BGS spec Zilliana five times in a row and basically slice through her like butter. And this applies for many more bosses throughout the league. Let me show you. All right, let's teleport into Sara. Hopefully there's no one in this world so I can show you guys real quick. Yup. No, don't BGS the wrong thing. That would have been awkward. Anyway, ZGS, BGS spec Zilliana. If the first one fails, not that big a deal. Second one fails, maybe not that big a deal. Third one, 25. Fourth one is a 37. And this, should, this kill should be fine just there. A 69. Did you see that? I don't think I've ever hit a 69 on the league before. But as you can see, just after five BGS hits, it's already on 25% health. And its defense is already lowered so much. I just have to hit it with a few whip hits. And it should go down pretty easily. One more whip hit. And it is dead just like that, I want to say. Very quick and simple. I don't have to run around ranging it and taking forever for the kills. That's why I wanted to unlock the BGS so early. It's going to make this grind and a lot of other grinds so much better. Because five times BGSing something right at the start and getting BG... Like, I already, I'm already back at 30% special attack. The BGS is just so strong, it's going to help me out so much. And once I get a Sarodome and help from Zilliana, I'll be able to heal myself as well with a 5 times SGS spec. 5 times SGS spec, 5 times BGS spec, and everywhere I go, I'll never need food, I'll never need prayer, and most importantly, I'll be destroying every boss I, I do with the BGS. It's amazing. Managed to complete my Godsword Blade today, as well as get both the Zamorak and the Bandos Hilt, which means I have access to both the BGS and the ZGS. Now, as I showed you guys today, the BGS is extremely good for PVM, and especially for the Sarodomen method that I was showing you guys. I'm not sure what's going to happen to the God Wars Dungeon recall methods, which is why tomorrow I'm coming right back to Sara to get my ACB and my Sarodomen Hilt. Once we get that, we can potentially move into some Nightmare or TOB. You guys have been killing it with the support lately, so if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like as well as subscribe if you are new so you don't miss a single upload from me during this leagues. Thanks for watching today's video, and I will see you guys later. Yesterday I completed my BGS as well as got myself a Zami Hill and today I was planning on completing Sara Domen for an ACB and SGS because I along with many other players were under the impression that the last recall God Wars Dungeon method was getting nerfed. However, Jags have since confirmed that this is not the case and that they are actually planning on improving the method by allowing us to go into our instance without having to re-get KC. This means no more crashing each other. This means I'm also no longer in a rush to complete God Wars Dungeon right away and can instead focus on climbing the ranks and getting on the top page for league points. Okay, and that is a Kraken Tentacle 87 kill count. Now, I'm not going to attach it just yet, but when I do, that is 250 points. Okay, and that is the Haunted Mind done. I needed to get that done anyway for when I go to TOB, and that is 50 points from that. Oh, there we go. Achieve 100% Shades of Morton Sanctity. 50 points. Okay, and that is Shades of Morton done as well. That's not a task, but I just wanted to get it done regardless. Okay, and that is an easy Temple Trek done for 10 points. And that is a hard temple trek done, very easy, 160 points from all of that. Okay, and that is a taste of hope done, which is 50 points. It gives me the Vandis Flail, the Draken's Medallion, which I'll be using for TOB, and a Tome of Experience, which is just going to dump on crafting. Okay, and that is Vanstrom Claws down. That was actually a hard quest, first time ever doing that quest ever. I've never done it on the main game, so I was a little bit concerned there, and it took me quite a while to do. But this will give me another 100 points, and it will give me some XP rewards. And that is another 100 points and the Sins of the Father completed. Okay, and that is 50 points for completing the Canifis Agility course. Okay, and that is 50 points for completing the Werewolf Agility course. Another 50 points there for defeating a Virewatch Sentinel or however you say it. And I just got a Rattle Weed too. Okay, and that is pickpocketing a Vire 50 times 100 points. I almost died. We are storming through the Mauritania points. We got 50 points from all these Agility courses and then 100 points from Floor 3 for the hard one. Now if we trade this guy, buy one of these. It's another hard toss done, 100 points like that. We've flown up to 20,000 points and 490. We're going to keep going. Okay, and this should be another 50 points right here from catching a Swamp Lizard in Mauritania. Yes, it is. Okay, and this should be 50 points from crafting uh, Earth Rune with these Dale Essence. Yes, it is. Oh my god, 42. 
Okay, well, I just two hit Varak. Okay, let's BGS Arams once. Oh my god, I think I might two hit it. Nah, I think we'll hit it with a three hit. We're okay, now the four. The four. We're feeling quite generous today. We let him live for a little bit. And this is 50 points from opening a chest. Unfortunately, no item, but that's 50 points. Okay, Tarn's Diary. Salve Amulets. Wear this. 50 points. And that, my friends, is my first 25 mil of the league. This is why Endless Harvest is so good. Other people who would want to do this would have to drop all their fish or go bank them or something. But I can just sit here AFK every time I'm doing something. And that is 250 points right there, putting us up to 20,950. Okay, and this is 74 Hunter, which now means we can make birdhouses with magic logs, which should be another task right here if I'm not mistaken. Make myself a little, what's it called, magic birdhouse. Build that. Boom. Is that 100 points? Yes, it is. Very nice. That, does that put us up to 21k? It does. It puts us over 21k. Okay, I got the kill. <laughs> it wasn't clean, but we got it. 52 magic logs and 100 points. Jesus fucking Christ, I'll never do that again. Wait, that's 100 points for creating a Dragonstone Amulet. I didn't even know that. 100 points from nowhere. And this is going to be our third combat 99, 99 HP, another 250 points right there, and we're working on defense, shooting us up to 21,500. We're going to keep going. Very nice. Oh, I just got another whip. I can use my Kraken on it and make another 250 points. Oof. Equip an Abyssal Tentacle, points earned, 250 points. And I just got a superior. So my plan of flying up points today was working pretty well. I was basically just maxing out every combat stat for 250 points while also making sure the Slayer toss that I chose had other points from drops within them. For example, I came to Smoke Devils after getting my whip because Smoke Devils dropped a Cult Necklace and a Cult Necklace is 250 points. Oh my god, I just got imbued heart, Johnny. I just got imbued heart. Yeah, seriously. I'm here actually looking for the cult necklace, but I just killed a superior and I forgot my first imbued heart. I'm at 96 Slayer. I've killed loads of imbued monsters, so honestly, I probably w did go a little bit dry for it. But I don't, I didn't need it right away, but it's actually a really great drop to have. No points awarded for it somehow. Not really sure why, but I'm not going to complain too much. An imbued heart is very, very nice to get. Damn, okay, I missed me getting 99 defense, but I just got it. I've been at Smoke Devils ever since trying to get this occult necklace drop. Unfortunately, we're about two tasks dry. We're on our third task right now. However, we've been getting loads of GP and just like pure alcohols and everything, so it's going to make us a lot of money. I am going to stay here because I do need that occult necklace. It is 250 points, but 99 defense itself is another 250 points, putting me up to 22k. 97 Slayer, still no occult necklace. We might be here for a while. Another Slayer task here done. The drop rate of the cult is about 170 with all the boosts that I have, so we are going pretty unlucky on it. Okay, and that is another elite task done. Defeat 50 superior Slayer monsters. I didn't even know we were close to that. Still no occult, however, but that is 22,250 points. We are chasing down that top page rank right now. Occult! I got it! I finally got it! Thank God, dude. I finally got the occult necklace. I've been here for like four or five tasks. I don't even know how many we've killed. Over 600 probably. Wield it. 250 points just like that. That's an elite task done. And we're now at 22,500 22, points. Very, very nice. Another hard task going to be completed here. Defeating an ancient wyvern. I could have done this ages ago. I just kind of forgot about it. But there we go. And we got some volcanic ash. Cool. Okay, and that is a hard stash unit constructed and filled, which is another 100 points on top of that wyvern we just got. We are now up to 22k 700 points from the wyvern and this stash unit. Okay, and this is going to be 150 points right here. 50 points from wearing the red dragon hide set and 100 points from wearing the black dragon hide set. We used a mushroom pie boost, only got one left to do the black dragon hide set. Shooting up from 22,700 to 22,850. Okay, and this should be all the Chaos Runes I need to get myself an Onyx from the Tazar place. Okay, and that is 260k Tarkle. Let's go get this Onyx. 260k Tarkle, buy one uncut Onyx, and that is another 250 points for purchasing an Onyx in the Tazar place. So I'm going to be making this uncut Onyx into a regen bracelet instead of an Amulet of Fury, and this may shock you guys, but I promise you there is good reasoning for it. For my account and for the relics I have, a regen bracelet is actually the best in slot, and I will tell you why. For my tier 3 relic fluid strikes, I get this effect of regening 4 HP per minute. If I stack this with rapid heal, that becomes 8 HP per minute. Now, if I wear a regen bracelet on top of this, I am healing 16 HP per minute. That's pretty much almost a shark every minute. It's going to be great for outlasting stuff. And just in general, it is best in slot for me. So let's go make this bracelet. That also just let me break the 23,000 point barrier. I'm now on 23,100. And that is an onyx bracelet made. Drink a quick wizard's mind bomb and cast enchants, and there we have it, our best in slot bracelet, the regen bracelet. Nice. 
Damn it, dude. There's an Obi Mall. We've already had one of those. Um, we could sell it for some points, but it just really isn't worth it. Okay, and this should be 98 Slayer. One more level until 99. Let's go. Okay, I just got an Obi Cape drop. That's amazing because it gives us 100 points because we haven't got it yet. That puts us up to 23,200. Let's keep going. I got another Obi Cape. Jeez. And with all the Obi drops we get, we can actually buy ourselves the final piece, which is the Obi Shield. Which gets us 100 points just like that, putting us- I'm wearing that obby shield just put us up to 23,300 points. Alright, let's go. Dragon plate legs, that's another 100 points right there. We've killed many of these wyverns and we've never got one, but now we have it. 23,400 points now. Granite legs, bro. Granite legs right after D-legs, back to back. 23,450 points. Okay, another Cerberus trip done. We're at 36 kill count. We are 300k away from 99 Slayer. This is all the loot we've got. Still no uh, crystal, but we're making hella money. Eternal Crystal 45 KC, man. Now, the Eternal Crystal is pretty much useless for me as we don't have access to the desert, which means I can't get Infinity Boots, which means I can't even make the Eternals. Okay, and this should be my 99 Slayer Cerberus kill, 65 KC. Can I get Prims with it? <laughs> An unholy symbol, unfortunate. But that puts us up to 23,700 points. We'll come back to Cerberus because we do need Prims eventually, but we're going to leave it for now. Very nice. We're climbing and climbing. With 23,700 points, I was a couple ranks away from the top page. Now I needed to get points, and I needed to get them quickly, and I needed a lot of them. Enter TOB. If I managed to complete a TOB without dying, I would get two different tasks for 250 points, totaling to 500 points, and this itself would get me in the top 25. Let's go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was our first ever theater of blood on the Trailblazer League. Okay, let's see. Let's see what my what my points jump up to. Twenty four thousand two hundred. I think I. Oh my god, that's so nice. That is so nice. Holy fuck! And with that theater of blood completion putting me at twenty four thousand two hundred points, that puts me at rank twenty four on the leaderboards out of every single person playing Trailblazer League. Insane progress made today gaining thousands of points and climbing rank all the way to the top page. After that TOB, I did one more task and I actually got myself to rank 23. Guys, I've been putting in some insane hours for this, so if you guys have been enjoying the videos and want to keep continuing supporting me, please make sure you hit that like button as it really does help. As well, subscribe if you are new so you never miss a Trailblazer video from me. We got top page today and the plan is to maintain it and try and climb the leaderboard as much as possible right until the end of the league. Yesterday we took top 25 in the Trailblazer League. Now it's time to maintain it and climb the ranks. We're going to shoot up points tomorrow when the God War changes get implemented and we finish Zami and Sar. But there's still a lot to do for today. We ended last video as rank 23 with 24,400 points, but after falling asleep and waking up, I had fallen into around rank 38. It's time to get back up there as well as improve our account even more. Starting off this video with a full Trinet of the Seas drop here at Kraken. Now that we have our regen bracelet, I just have to camp Rapid Heal here and I actually gain 16 HP per minute, so I can pretty much AFK Kraken at this point whenever I'm waking up, eating food, or editing a video, and there's actually a lot of tasks that come with doing Kraken, so it's something great to AFK, and that's a Trident at 162 kill count. And that is another Kraken Tentacle. You guys may be wondering why I'm actually doing this. Well, first of all, there is a task, I think every 250k Krakens for 250 points, and once I get myself 10 Krakens, I can enhance my Trident of the Seas. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, to, I don't know, a better Trident of the Seas? And that is a master task for 500 points right there. I don't actually know what the upgraded Trident is called, but 500 points is 500 points. 248 KC, and we just got ourselves another Kraken Tentacle. This is going really great. I'm thinking I'm going to have that master done before the drop rate. And that is 250 Cave Kraken completed, another Elite task done. And that is 250 points for us. 
We still have 21 more to go, so we're still going to do them, but that puts us up to 24,650 points. Okay, and that is 70 tasks completed, another Kraken task done. We're going to be here until we get like 750 completed, I'm pretty sure. After that Kraken task, I went ahead and did some Cerberus because I still needed my Prims, which were one of the last upgrades I needed for my melee setup, as I was still rocking the D-shoes. That's just an 80 BGS, what the hell? That's my first 80 on the game, awesome. Okay, and that, my friends, is 80 fletching, which now means I can make magic shortbows. I have like 800 mage logs in the bank. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them yet, but I do need to make a mage shortbow. It's going to be really good for TOB, and just in general, we're 92 range anyway from AFKing our stuff up. So, magic shortbow, bowstring, and that is a hard task as well. 100 points right there, putting us up to 24,750, and now we have a magic shortbow. Oh wait, equip a magic shortbow is a hard task too. I had no idea. That's another 100 points. What? Now we're at 24,850. Awesome. Even though I completed Bandos and 224kc, I'm all about the points. And defeating any God Wars dungeon boss 250 times was 250 points. So we went back to do some more kills and see if we got ourselves any more duplicate loots. Oh my god, I might, four, I might 5 spec BGS. Oh my god, I just 4 spec Bandos. I didn't even 5 spec him, I 4 spec him. Oh my god, easy game. This should make the next 23kc very easy. I didn't even know I could do that. Okay, that was actually 5 specs, I just don't know how to do mathematics, but yeah, the BGS goes in. A quick little 5 hit on Bandos himself. Dude, I just got another BCP, what? I think I have my drop notifications off, it doesn't really do anything from here, I'm only here for the KC, but another BCP I guess, it's cool. It's a nice little alkable or something. Dude, I just got another pair of Bandos boots. So I was in an instance and I was on my final kill completely out of food on like very low HP, but you bet my ass I wasn't coming back here and getting KC, so we risked it for the biscuit and we actually managed to get the kill because the BGS is just so strong against this guy. Okay, and this should be 150 KC at Serb. Can we please just pull our prims on this? Any chance? Fire orbs. Okay, nah, we're not really dry yet because we did get those eternal crystals, but those are useless to us. We need the prims. Past 200 KC and we're getting drops like Rune Halberds. I'm pretty sure the drop rate for any crystal is like a little bit over 1 in 50. And I'm 200 dry. Well, I'm not 200 dry. I got one Eternal Crystal. So I should have seen three more crystals. But here we are. Let's go. Let's go. Prims. 222 KC. I'm currently watching Skill Specs' stream. Shout out the boy. I was complaining about my RNG in there. And I finally just got my Prims. Let's fucking go. All right, 222 KC Primordial Crystals. We went extremely dry for that, but I'm happy we got it and we didn't just get another another Eternal or anything. I do actually have to go get 60 runecrafting to even make that, so let's just go bang that out really quickly, but I'm very happy with that. And that right there is 60 runecrafting, which means we can go get our, our Primordial Crystal, put them on our D shoes, and we are now a man with some Prims. Let's see how this goes. How much XP drop is that? 6.4K XP drop. And we now have Prims, 250 points earned right there putting us up to 25,350. Crafting 30 blue dragon hide bodies completed. I didn't even know that was a task until recently, so I went and killed blue dragons real quick to get some dehyde, and that's 100 points, putting us to 25,450. And that is 60 farming, putting us at base level 60. We've been holding out on this for a while because it's just ring crafting, farming, herbivore, and construction that's really that low for us. We could go for base level 70 soon, but that's another 100 points right there as well. 25,000. Did that update? Did that update? 25,550 now. We just shut up again. Here's my 59th agility ticket. If I fuck up now on the last one, there will never be another Trailblazer video again for me. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I was panicking because the darts hit me like twice. Good thing I have my summer pies to restore me up anytime it happens. Don't think I should fail this one, so this should be my 60th agility ticket. If I'm not mistaken, give it to be 250 points? Correct. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm so happy. Uh, as you can see, our lap count is 78, so we might have messed up uh, one time before we tried this. I don't want to say too much, you know, I'm not a big talker. And on top of that, we get another 50 points from buying a Snapdragon for 10 points. Very expensive, not gonna lie, but that puts us up. I just opened my areas. That puts us up. Okay, I just opened my relics. That puts us up to 25,850 points. Nice. And that is crafting 2,500 essence into runes. I knew I wasn't that far away from it, so I just banged it out after that agility. 25,950 points. Master tasks are the hardest tasks on Trailblazer, and they are worth 500 points. One of them is to complete the fight caves in under 25 minutes. 
Now we've already done the cave six times and gone close to this about twice, but now that we have prims and a BGS, I'm feeling confident to power through it. Doing melee speedruns is a lot harder than with range, and there's only a handful of people with melee who have this task done. So it'd be a great achievement for me to get it, and also be a free 500 points. I think that's up under 25. Yes, it is. Complete the fight case in under 25 minutes. I did it in 23 minutes, 30 seconds, dude. My hands have never been more sweaty than that. I'm so happy, dude. One year ago, I didn't even know how to do a fire cape. Let's go, dude. We beat it by a minute and a half. Let's fucking go. And that is a master toss done for 500 points. I can't even believe I did that, bro. I'm actually so proud of myself. And I've now just jumped up to 26,450 points. Okay, that is an oak altar made. And this right here is a restoration pool. We are all ready for the God Wars update that's about to hit in 14 minutes. We're going to finish Sara Doman. We're going to get our ACB. We're going to get a hilt. We're going to get a Sara sword. And we're going to go to Zami and get that Staff of Dead. We're going to rack up even more points tomorrow. And maybe even go to Armadil. I haven't decided yet, but we are all prepared for the update. Back at the Teagues while I edit this video, total points are 26,450. We woke up in the morning and we weren't top page anymore, so that had to change. So we woke up and we grinded and we actually managed to get ourselves up to rank 22 again. As you can see, the competition is pretty close and I'm just continuing to climb and climb on this leaderboard. Tomorrow we go back to God Wars Dungeon with the new update and we're going to rack in loads of points from that alone. So I will see you in tomorrow's episode. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button and please hit the subscribe button if you are new so you never miss an upload. It also goes a great way to support me. Anyway, see you guys later. We start off today's video at 26,450 points and rank 22 on the leaderboard. The plan for today is simple. We want to continue upgrading our gear to the best gear possible while also increasing our points as much as possible. Our long term goal is the Inferno, but for now we just want to complete Gold Wars Dungeon. As you guys may recall in an earlier video I was talking about the, how the way I do Gold Wars Dungeon might have been nerfed. However this is not the case and Jax actually made the right and respectful decisions to make it so you only ever have to get KC for a specific God Wars dungeon boss once. And you can enter the instance as many times as you want after that and the last recall method was not changed at all by this. This means it's time to complete Zami, Sardoman and Armadol. Let's get into it. These kills are going to go by so quick, I'm already on 5 KC. And I already got my Sarah sword, 6 KC! That's 250 points already dude! Oh my god, that's so nice. 6 KC Sara Sword. 250 points putting me up to 26.7k. Sara Doman's Light, dude. Okay, so I don't have a Staff of Dead yet, unfortunately, but that's nice. Sara Doman's Sword again, 99 KC, still no ACB or Hill. Okay, obtained 25 million Strength XP, 26,950 League Points in total now. And I'm almost dying. Sardom's Light, 157 KC. 
Armored old crossbow, 158 KC. Let's go, bro. Let's go. That's such a good drop. 250 points just like that for equipping the ACB. I am going to stay here till the hilt because I'm trying to get Inferno ready and I want the SGS. But an ACB is so nice. Actually, I think I'm going to go to Zami first. And I'm going to go get the Staff of Dead so I can come back here and make it a little bit easier. But ACB, so, so nice. Wait, there's a task for make a 4 dose potion now? It's 50 points. Obtained 25 million hit points XP. I didn't even know I was hitting that, dude. That's another 250 points. I'm at 27.5k now. Zamoraki and Spear, 178kc. That's like our 6th or 7th Spear. Still no staff. I'm just four specs at me. Another Z Spear, 198kc. I just want my stuff, man. 200kc, grimy Atlanta times. Godsword Shard 2, dude. I can make two blades now. That's actually really good. That's sick. Zamoraki and Spear again, dude. 223kc. Zamoraki and Spear again, dude. 233kc. I think I have 10 of these by now. Zamorak Spear again, dude. 244 KC. I'm getting one like every 10 kills now. I, no, I just go back to back Z Spears. I'm not even trolling. I just go back to back Z Spears. Another Z Spear. 261 kill count, bro. I'm never getting this stuff. I've decided. Zamorak Hilt, bro. I just got another Hilt. 264 KC, bro. Oh, no. Oh no, no. Stuff of the dead, let's go! 313kc, dude. Oh my god, let's go. Way too long, but we finally got it. 250 points. Okay, and that is a staff of the dead, finally. I was going pretty dry. 313kc. We're now at 27.75k points. Nice. We need to continue climbing. We're going to go back to Sara and try and get that hilt. All right, we made some more Karamans. I'm gonna put the Star of Light on the Staff of Dead because I just like the Staff of Light look more. It's really cool. Um, the plan right now is to go back to Sara, use the Staff of Light method with uh, like the BGS into the Staff of Light. So I take less damage from Zilliana, pull that hilt, and then we need to make our way to Armadil and try and get the full set from there. Let's do it. Okay, so this is gonna be an even easier method to uh, Zilliana. You just hit him with the BGS three, four times, or four times actually. And then on your last spec, you go into the Staff of Light so that her melee attacks are less, and they're halved, and you can tank more. And it's almost a, it's almost a whip. It's a little worse than a whip, but it makes the kills a lot easier, and this is actually the best method possible. You can still do it without the stuff. Obviously, the BGS itself is really good. Did we get a hilt there? Unfortunately, we did not. But we're going to keep going. I just got Sara Hill. Let's go. Let's go. Two, 162 kill count. Sara Hill. Let's go. I can go get ready for armor now. Okay, so I had this delusional plan of not even doing any range content until I was 99 range for the ranging cape that way. I didn't, I wasn't going to do avas, but I really want to go do armor, so I just decided to do it now. That is animal magnetism done, and an avas accumulator acquired. Okay, first call for 100 points, no chest plate, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's go 10kc Armadil Helmet. It's not even bad because we need to get all of them eventually. And that is 250 points right there for an Armadil Helmet. We're now at 28,100 points. Let's fucking go. After that Armor Helm, I went to do a quick TOB run with my friend Maz as he needed to get it done for his own task and points. He's making his own videos and we are at a very similar place in terms of progress. So if you want to check out his vids, his channel is linked in the description. Now during this theater, I actually ended up dying twice and this is how it ended up. For who? For who? Where is it? Oh my god, I got a purple? I got a purple? I died twice and I got a purple. Oh my god. How did- I got a rapier! <laughs> I died twice and I got a rapier! <laughs> oh my god. First, first, my second KC and I got a rapier, dude. That's 250 points right there. Oh my god.
We went back to Armadale. Now, I'm not using chins for this method. I'm just using the ACB times five spec and add on a 44 kill count. We managed to pick ourselves up an Armadale chain skirt. If there's any boss I ever want to get lucky on, it's Arma because there's just no relics that help me out with it. It's a very tedious boss. It's going to take a long time. Every other boss with the relics is really sped up, but because I can't melee Armadal and my account is very, very melee based, it just does make it a little bit slower. But 44kc, we have the helmet and the chain skirt. If we get ourselves the chest plate, that is 500 points from wearing the whole set. And if we get ourselves the hilt, that is 500 points from making all the god swords and using all the god swords. So either way, I was going to be happy. Okay, and that is 50kc at Arma. Any chance of a chest plate? Unfortunately not. I just got Dragonstone Bolts, what the hell? So Perp and his stream were doing a Nightmare Mask. Now I've never done Nightmare in my life, but just defeating it with no loots or anything is a 250 point elite task. So obviously I was gonna go ahead and leash myself a KC real quick. I got Prayer Pots, bro. 250 points though, thank you, wife. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yo, and that is 98 range here at Arma. One more level and that's another 250 points. Armadale Hill, let's go! Oh my god, dude. Oh, I was just watching Skiddler do Bandos. I wasn't really watching the stream, but let's go. Armadale Hilt, that is the final hilt that I need to make my God Sword set. Um, how do I get out of here? There, there we go. Let's fucking go, dude. Arma Hilt, that means we get 500 points from using every single God Sword on this game. And I have just equipped every single God Sword. That is the AGS equipped for 500 points, putting me up to 29.1k. Every single God Sword equipped, we have ourselves the AGS, the BGS. Shout out Eviescape, SGS. We even have two Zami Hilts. 29.1k points. That is another master task done. And I'm so happy. The only item we need left to complete God Wars Dungeon completely is the armor chest plate. Okay, and that is achieving a prayer bonus of 30. I didn't even know that was a thing, to be honest, but that is another 100 points earned, putting me on to 29.2k. Okay, and this should count as defeating a fire giant in Kandoran. Let's really hope it does. 50 points right there. 29,250. Nice. Mahogany portal created 29,300. All right, so I just got 50 points off defeating the Penance Queen. I didn't do anything. I leached it off the CC League BA. So if you guys want to do the same and leech it off them, you can go in their CC and ask for them. But that puts them up to 29,350 points. And that makes me rank 24 on the leaderboards. Every single Godsword in game the Grazi Rapier, the Armadal Crossbow, the Staff of Light, the Armor Chainsker, and the Helm. This is what you call progress. We end off today's video with 29,350 points and rank 24 on the leaderboard. We have managed to maintain our top page rank. Today has been an insane video, so if you guys have enjoyed, please leave some support by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. The progress doesn't stop here, and tomorrow we'll be breaking that 30k point barrier, unlocking Zenites, potentially a Suffering, and start getting ready for that Inferno attempt. We'll also go back to Arma and try and complete that Arma chestplate for 500 more points with the full armor set. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Day 10 of the Trailblazer League. I'm currently doing a farm run. Yes, a farm run. A lot of you may not expect that, but I actually know what those are now. We're currently 1977 total, so we are working on 2k total slowly because that is 250 points. Base level 80 is also, I think, another 100 points. And if I start getting like base level 90 and stuff like that, I get more points. So I do need to start doing a little bit more skilling here and there. After this, we're going to head back to Arma with the rest of our 200 bolts, try and pull a chest plate because that will be 500 points. And yeah, we're just going to try and get some more points up today. So welcome back to another video. Let's get into the progress and hopefully we can get a ton done today. Okay, and that is 70 Herbor. We're going to hit base 70s today for sure, but I am going to try and hit base 80s. Okay, and that is 20 ranging potions made, which is 100 points, putting me up to 29.5k. Okay, and that is 80 Herbor. We are still working on 80 Prayer, 80 Con, 80 Runecrafting, 80 Hunter, and 80 Farming, as well as 80 Fire Making, but we have that banked. But in nine levels, we hit 2k total, which is another 250 points itself. Okay, so there are pure essence on steroids called Day All Essence, where you convert shards into essence and it gives you 50% more XP or whatever. So if I convert this, I get a hard toss done. So I'm just gonna do them all because I don't think I need to save them for any reason, right? And that is 50 points for converting 2,000 day alt shards into essences as well. Okay, and that is 70 runecrafting helping us for base 70s. Two level off 2k right now. We're just going to finish up 72 runecrafting though to get those 2k levels. But we can hit base 70 soon as well. And that is an elite task done reaching 2k total. Points earned 250, putting me on to 29.8k. And we are very close to base level 80s as well. As well as base level 70s, we just need to get a couple more levels. 
Okay, and that is 100 points for checking a grown magic tree, 76 farming, and I'm pretty sure if I chop it down, I also get some more points. Yep, and that's another 100 points for digging up some magic roots, and that is the first time we've been on 30,000 points this league. Very, very nice to see a total points be at 30,000. 79 farming just off one magic tree. Jesus, I can now grow, grow dwarf weeds, which is actually something I need to do. Okay, and this is 20 stamina pots created, which is another hard task. Why it's a hard task? I have no idea because stamina pots are completely useless on this league because everyone has a limited run. But hey, there we go, 30.1k points. And that is 81 herblore, which means we can now make sardome and bruise. Let's crush this bird's nest. Put it into a vial, I think. Oh no, put the toad flax in a vial. No, oh, this is a normal vial. I need a vial of water, my bad. Vial of water, toad flax vial of water. Crush nest there. Boom, that is our first brew made. These are pretty useless to us because of botanist. We never want to brew down, but 100 points right there. Very nice. And that is cleaning 100 grimy dwarf weeds done, which gives me another 100 points, putting me onto 30.3k. No, 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 that's all I need. That's 70 construction, which is base level 70s, which is 100 points. 30.3k. Or no, 30.4k. And that is 84 crafting right here. We're just making more bolts to go back to armor with. Armadale Hill, I just got a double Armadale Hill, man. I can't really complain because it's 94 KC, but I need that armor chest plate to get 500 more points. 100 KC black dehyde body, dude. I just want this armor chest plate. I just need to get lucky here. I need to get extremely lucky and pull it. And that is 99 range here at Kriar. I think we started at around 96 range. Oh, we managed to get the chain skirt, the hilt twice, and the helm. All we're looking for is this chest plate. Arma is literally the worst place possible for us to go dry because our relics help us with every other boss, including the God Wars bosses, and it doesn't help us range Armored at all. It's basically like I'm doing normal kills on 07. Luckily, the drop rates are boosted, and by the drop rates, I should complete the whole set in 127 kill count. That's how it should work, so let's see. This right here was actually my 127th kill count following up what I previously just said. We managed to pull ourselves a drop, a duplicate armadil chain skirt which now means we had two hilts and two chain skirts at 127 kc still all we need is the chest plate fucking shit game dude i got the wrong th <sighs> another armor helmet dude another armor helmet that's my duplicate armor helmet i have a duplicate chain skirt i have a duplicate hilt any of those could have been the chest plate 159 kill count and I get a duplicate armor helm. I now have duplicates of all pieces apart from the chest plate. And these kills use a lot of food and a lot of bolts. So that's a bunch of time I'm wasting getting karambons, cooking karambons, getting gems, making them into bolts, mining ore to make the bolts. It's a whole bunch of process and the kills themselves take forever. It's not like any other boss. So the reactions from here on out are gonna, gonna be a little bit interesting for you guys. So I do apologize in advance. Godsword Shard 2. It's not that, it's not at the same drop rate as everything else, but I would still prefer a chest plate. Yeah, I, would, I, just, went, I just went to 3900. <laughs> I was AFK, I didn't even record it. <laughs> I got the Harry Pet while AFK fishing, dude, and I didn't record it. Yeah, I just went up another 250, I think. So while I wasn't getting lucky at armor at all, while I was fishing for Karams to go back, I actually ended up getting the Heron Pet. And there is another 250 point task for obtaining a skilling pet. And as you guys know, I already uh, achieved the Bandos pet earlier, which was another 250 point toss. Now, pet drop rates aren't boosted. So I don't know what the drop rate of a heron is, but I know the drop rate of the Bandos pet was 1 in 10k. I'm going to assume the heron one is pretty similar. So in that aspect, I've got extremely lucky because those are 500 points I'm probably going to have on other people. Okay, and this is 200 Armadil KC. My mental health has just deteriorated per kill. I'm not enjoying the league anymore. Life sucks. I just want to go back to PKing. As I say all this, stalling, waiting for the kill to happen. I'm not getting the kill, so I'm just going to keep saying random shit until it happens. Uh, water is red, violets are blue. Kriar is too fucking tanky, and I smell like poo, dude. It's still not fucking dead. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to get smited. Please, kill it. There we fucking go. All right, is it dead? Is it a check? Is it okay, nope, it's runette bolts. There we go. God Sword Shard 2 again, bro. 201 KC. Still no fucking chest plate. Armadil Helmet! 204 KC! Armadil Chain Skirt! 214 KC, dude. I'm gonna.
I have three sets of arm up, minus the chest plate, dude. I have two fucking hilts, no chest plate. I got a long bone, dude. I got a long bone. Where the- And that is 80 smithing purely just for making more adamant bolts to go back to Kree. I'm having the worst time of my life. No video. I lost my daily videos because of this. It is what it is, man. I have to get this chest plate. I have to get it done. Let's keep going. 250 Kree hour KC. Still no chest plate. We're gonna be here a while. Yo. And I just got another God Sword Shard too. This is like my fifth one. Still no chest plate. I'm tired of Kree. Another f <sighs> 300 KC, God Sword Shard 1. I, I, I have no words. I, I have no words. I just, I, 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 <sighs> Here I am doing cooking, and I've just hit 25 mil cooking XP. I've gone from 13 mil from level 99 to 25 mil cooking XP doing Kriara getting Karambons because I use so much Karambons. It's 250 points. It is what it is. I had to hit it eventually, but that just goes to show how much food I've wasted on this dumb boss. God Sword Shard 3. Armadil Chain Skirt, the wrong one again. 331 KC, that's my fourth Armadil Chain Skirt, dude. Armadil Chain Skirt again, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna 350 kill counts. My mind is mush, and uh, we get rune crossbow loot. Awesome. Oh my god. Sixth armadal chain skirt. Sixth armadal chain skirt. 400 KC at the bird. My mind is mush. I woke up at 11 a.m. to bolt this bird. It is now 5.30 a.m. the next day. I have not left my chair. I'm just bolting a bird. I'm using runite bolts because I ran out of all my diamond bolts, my ruby bolts. Life is not good right now. To that's an understatement. Can I just get this chest plate on 400 kill count? Can you just do me one solid? Can you just say goodbye to me now, please, Kriar? I'm gonna die. I'm not even gonna get the kill. Please, Kriar. 400 kill count. Armadil chest plate. Nope. Okay, first kill back, we've fished and cooked a thousand more Karambons. I've just realized that there's a 500 point task uh, for, or 250 point task for killing five, a, a God Wars boss 500 times. And my highest boss before this was Zami at 313 KC, so I was really happy about that because killing that 200 more times would have been very, very easy. I could just spec it out, tell it back. Would have been very simple. Um, as I've been talking, I still haven't done five damage, but I'm now going to have this as the boss I have to do for 500 KC. I'm already on 422 kill count. So whenever I finish this, if I do finish it before 500, I, I still can't kill it. If I ever do finish it before 500, I, I'm still going to have to do the most kills because I guess it just makes the most sense. Um, so I guess I am confined to Armadil until 500 and maybe... I'm not going to hit, am I? Maybe even more kills, but I guess I'll be back when I get this. I was really expecting this little voiceover to like get me the kill but I, I don't know i just hit an eight and i think that might be it how much loot are we getting here uh super defense awesome oh. kc443 seventh armadal chain skirt i have seven armadal chain skirts 450 kill count still nothing we got minor runes though so that's always helpful 81 smithing all from making bolts and smelting bars for the Kriara grind. No way, dude. I just got my 8th Armadil chain skirt for 70 KC. I'm legit glitched, bro. I'm fucking glitched. Armadil chain skirt. 482 kill count. What is... God Sword Shard 1. I just got 92 mage, bro. I've gotten 92 mage from tellying in and out of God Wars and enchanting bolts, dude. I've gotten 90 to 92 mage from making bolts, teleported to God Wars. I don't even know what to say, bro. And this right here is 500 KC. I've been stuck at this bird for three days straight. Hidden, killing a God Wars boss 500 times does give you tier 50 points, but Arma is not the one you want to do. And still no ACP. There we go, 250 points. I guess we'll take it, but 500 kills, no ACP. I don't even know what to say.
So at this point, I don't really know what to do. My plan of progression was to get full armor, get one Zenite for a Suffering, get a Blood Shard for an Amulet of Blood Fury, and then go to the Inferno and get my Infernal Cape. This was my plan three days ago when I was ranked in the top 25. Since then, I've made practically no progression and I've fallen to rank 96 on the leaderboards. And I've just lost so much time compared to everyone else. 500 kills without an ACP on extended drop rates when I should be completing the set in a roughly around 127 KC isn't the greatest. So I think at this point I just have to take a break from Arma. I don't think I'm getting it anytime soon. And I'm just going to work on some skills to try and get my rank back up. I appreciate everyone who's been watching the videos and I'm sorry I haven't gotten any progress done as well as not uploading for two days. It's been a pretty rough two days. If you guys have somehow enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribing so you don't miss the next video. And I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. So we've given up on that armor chest plate. 500 KC drive for it. We're good. Uh, we're just going to work on the Infernal Cape today. We need to get some Zenites. We need to do some Herb Lore training. We just need to get prepared for the Inferno. Go in. Get the cape. Should be a piece of cake. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button and let's get into it. I'm going to make my way to Demonics. That is 80 Hunter, which means I can start a Herbivore whenever I want. So a couple days ago, Oblivion PVM hosted a Leagues Mass for the Veteran Pest Control World because Best in Slot is actually Void Melee and Void Range. It's better than like Bandos and Armadol and stuff for pure DPS just because we don't get Barrows Gloves and Face Guard and stuff like that. So while this thing would usually take me loads of time to get, because of them we basically did like 1 minute, 2 minute pest control trips. And it didn't take that long to get all the points for this and I managed to get myself full void. Now this is actually a long term task as well because it does give me 100 points. And because it takes so long to get, I'm thinking a lot of other people may not get it. So by the end of this league, those 100 points could be the difference. I did a couple more theater of blood runs after getting lucky for that 2kc rapier the other day. Fortunately, no uniques, but the supplies for this for herb lore and crafting and pretty much just every skill actually does help out quite a bit. So TOB is something we're going to need to do a lot of. Okay, and this should be me hitting 80 prayer. I'm just working on base 80s right now and I just wanted to bang prayer out the way as I had already had the bones in my bank from blue dragons and wyverns. So that's pretty nice. We just have room crafting, construction, and fire making to work on and we have everything banked for that. Okay, and that is 80 fire making. The last two stats for base 80s are construction and room crafting. That was 85 herbal. We're currently working on 90 herbal as well because we need to make super combats for when we go to the inferno. Okay, and that is filling a large pouch for 50 points. I had a large pouch the whole time, so I just didn't even know it was a task, I guess. And that is 80 rune crafting, just construction to go now. Alright, and this is going to be 80 construction, which gives us base level 80s, which is another 250 points. We are 2,068 total level. When we get to 2,100, that's another 250 points. And when we get to base level 90s, that's another 250 points. And that is 87 crafting. We're slowly chipping away at this. Now we even have Amethyst because of our mining level. Amethyst is going to be really good for our 99 fletching. Monkey Tail, what's that? What is it for? What is it for? Oh, it's for the Ballista? Okay, nice, nice, nice. Zenite Shard, Zenite Shard, let's go. I'm like 30kc, first Zenite Shard. That's my suffering right there. Obtain 25 million ranged XP. I forgot I had. I was sitting on this after my Kriara grind. That's another 250 points too. Nice. Oh, and I just got Dragon Fruit Tree Seeds, which I'm pretty sure once I get 91 farming, that's a task too, right? Okay, so I'm currently working on the Elite, Medium, and Mauritania task so I can get Mauritania legs and go to Barrows. I do want to tank Helm for the Inferno, so that is the long-term goal now that we got our Zenite. Okay, and that's the Mauritania easy diary done. We're going to do the Medium and the Hard now. And that's 81 Hunter. And that is Ghost Ahoy completed, which allows me to use the Ectophile, which is another uh, task for the diary that I'm currently doing. Medium task done, yep. So all the achievement diaries do give us points as well, so eventually I do have to complete every one I can, but completing the hard Mauritania diary there just gave us 100 points. Okay, I just got the medium diary done, which means I can go get Mauritania legs 3, which means I can go do Barrows to get my tank helm for Inferno. Oh, Tyrox helm first chest, bro. Oh, I've already done one, actually. I've already done one. Oh, I must have done one for the task. I've already... Uh, oh, shit. Equip any piece of a Barrows armor set. 50 points. Let's go. And I just hit 25 mil attack XP, which is 250 points, putting me up to 32.6k. There we go, Torax Helm, KC10, we can make our way to the Inferno. Okay, and that is 87 Herbal. We're currently trying to get 90 Herbal so that we can make these super combats. I think we only actually need 89 so we could pop boost it, but we need super combats for the Inferno. Shout out to the guy who let me know about noting the herbs at the leprechauns, by the way. Anyway, this is about to be 86 farming right here. We're still just working on this 90 herb. 
And that is 89 Herbor. We can now boost to make these super combats. So we found ourselves a very nice pint of Greenman's Ale, which actually boosts our Herb Lord to 90, and we make a Super Combat Potion. We only actually had four of these, but these are all for our Inferno runs, and this is another 250 point task right here. Final preparations for the Inferno, we just got 83 smithing while we're making our bolts. Oh my god, I finessed the system, I figured out a way to sell for 31 every time while spamming. With many Entry Swapper and Resizable Mode, I can actually shift click sell 50, I can just click on him right there, and it restocks uh, the price, so every time I sell for basically 31 Taco, so all my Chaos Runes are worth a whole lot more than 9 Taco. Let's go buy our Onyxes. Okay, this is the Onyx for our Fury 260k. Let's just hop worlds real quick. And this is the Onyx for our Suffering. We got 3k left. Okay, I've never made one of these before, but I think this is a Zenite made if I'm not mistaken. Correct? There we go, Uncut Zenite, nice. It is time to make our suffering as well as our fury. Let's eat half a mushroom pie, put in my crafting up to 91, making that into a zenite. Now let's be careful here. I don't want to make the wrong mistake. Oh, I don't have a gold bar. Yep, there it is. Okay, we're back with gold bars. Let's be very careful here. I do not want to make a mistake. I'm going to make one zenite ring. We'll put that to one, even though I only have one zenite. That's the only thing that's possible. We're going to enchant. Oh, I need to hit this heart real quick. Hit the heart. Oh, I need soul runes. Okay, this is this is a little bit slow start to me getting these rings. I haven't, I didn't come fully prepared. My invent's a little messy. It is what it is. That should be our suffering, if I'm not mistaken. That's 250 points right there for equipping a Zenite jewelry, putting me back over 33k. We're catching up a little bit. We're catching up a little bit. I cannot lie. Now we need to make an amulet of fury. So let's not make a ring of stone. That's the objective right now. Uh. Amulet of Fury. Onyx Amulet, that looks correct. Um, put that there. That looks good, that looks good. We're all good and dandy there. That's another 250 points. And that is our Amulet of Fury. And we actually do have a Blood Shark, Blood Shard in the bank, which we can use for another 250 points to make it into an Amulet of Blood Fury. I just don't want to do that yet. I want to practice like an Inferno run first before I put it on, but we will later. We are now at 33.37k points. And into the Inferno we go. Now I have only ever gotten one Infernal Cape before on the main game with a Twisted Bow and an Ellie, all that good stuff. And that was at the start of the year. I've not got a single cape since. Now I'm going to be attempting a melee Infernal Cape, which means I have to go through all the waves with melee. This is just because of my relics and everything. It just makes the most sense, even though it's more difficult, it's easier, if that makes any sense. Here's the setup we're going with. I have 403 range defense in this. The Albi shield coming in clutch. It's plus 65 range def. I do have the defender switch also when I'm doing DPS. Now because of my spec relics, I'm thinking this should be fairly easy. If I take any HP, I just use my SGS spec five times. If I lose any prayer points, I just use my SGS spec five times. So the hope is for this first run, just to make it to Zux. Get through the waves, get some practice going and see how we do. Then we can put the blood fury on and actually go for the cape. Let's go. So when asking my friends for help on the Inferno for people who have already done it, they basically just said forget everything you know about the waves and cheese your way through it. So usually with a blob, you would make sure you flick between the mage and the range prayer, hitting every single prayer to negate the damage. However, here you can see I literally just can't pray mage and because my range defense is so high, the chances of him hitting on me are actually very slim and if he does hit on me, I can just use my SGS spec to heal me back up and it takes pretty much all the effort out of those waves. Wave 31, one ranger, two blobs, and a melee. And as you can see, we pretty much face tanked everything Prey and Mage, even though nothing is maging us. We're getting hit by rangers, melees, blob range attacks, and it works. It literally works. All I do is SGS my health back. Wave 41, a major and two blobs. I'm starting on 72 HP. Supposedly this is a hard wave to learn. You have to flick between the major and the blobs usually. However, I use my trusty tactic and my 403 range defense with this Albi shield, Prey Mage, and I just whip everything down. I 
Another supposedly extremely hard wave, wave 48, there's a melee, two blobs, and the major, and because I have to start in the center to kill the nibblers with my whip, because I don't have chins or barrage or anything, I'm getting hit by literally everything, but I just, I just don't take any damage, I can run north of the pillar and start sorting out what I want to do. Now from wave 50 onwards, it's time for the ranger to start getting in the mix with the major as well. Put a 403 range defense, doesn't really make this an issue, I'm gonna just hit him with the SGS if I have to. From wave 60 to 63, you have literally every NPC in the inferno, you have the major, the ranger, the blobs, the melees, the bats, you have everything, and by this point I still haven't used brudoses, but on wave 62 things did get a little bit hairy, but that's what the brudoses are there for, and I actually only used two of them. Now we have made it to wave 63, the hardest wave before the Jads, the Triple Jads, and Zuck himself. And that is wave 63 completed. We had 64 and 65 and 66 to go, but those are all fairly simple. Now that I've figured out that the waves are easy, I'm fairly confident I can get this cape. Let's try and make it to Zuck. Okay, it's time to start the first Jad. Let's go. Okay, well this literally just got rinsed. I was not expecting it to go that easy, but uh, he's out the game. Good fight, we're on triples. Okay, time to start triples. Okay, and that's the first one down. Let's move on. Any chance of dying? Thanks. That second jad just took so long to go down that I misclicked there and I missed that prayer. I even hovered my brew, but I don't know why I just didn't click it. I guess it was a little bit of brain lag. And unfortunately, we did not make it to Zuck on our first attempt. We did make it to triples, and I was very disappointed with that. Time to do a farm run and get right back into it. Three mahogany trees. This is going to be the fattest XP drops of my life. Check. 250k, and that's also a hard task complete. Another 250k, we take those up to 88. Another 250k, we take those. That's very, very nice. That's 750k farming XP just like that. And we have a bunch of mahogany seedlings. Okay, successfully created a blood, amulet of blood fury. That's 250 points right there. And so we jumped right back in for another attempt. And I was confident that this time I could get the cape. Okay, nice. We've cleared the waves again. Okay, into jab we go. Okay, well, we did take a Jad hit there, but we did tick eat it, so regardless, we would have lived. It's a super combat gone, however, and we're back to triples. Okay, we should be at Zuck. We are, in fact, at Zuck. Holy fuck, okay. I'm, I'm very happy that I didn't prank at triples again. Feel a little bit cheated by last time. We're back at Zuck. Let's go.
right there. So under 600, nice. That's perfect. That's perfect. Healers cleared with two brews left, which is more than enough for another set. The Amethyst Arrows really go in, and in full bandos, we don't even take that much damage by the Ranger. All we have to do is tag the Major, kill the Ranger, Bolt Zuck, and we've got ourselves a cape. However, when the Major spawns, I don't know what happened. I guess my brain fell out of my head, and I didn't click the right one. I then tagged the Ranger and forgot that I had tagged the Ranger, so I didn't even bother killing it because I was panicked about my shield. I went back and took Zuck hits here or there. The ranger kept killing me, and what was a very clean run, what I thought would have been my cape on the second attempt, which was, you know, it was going really great, turned out to be a complete shit show, and, you know, it's a, it was a good fight. However, we don't give up, we made it back to Zuck for our second attempt at the big guy. Alright, MSP, I believe in you. Just clean him up. Clean him up. Nice. Nice, Ruby. Stay with the shield. Just stay with the shield. I think I have a lot of time before this set, not gonna lie. Fuck! Second try at Zuck, cleared healers, 254 HP to go, bunch of time to the set. We have six brews in our inventory, and we step out and get KO'd. I needed more herbs for super combat, so I went to Abby Spectres really quickly, and I picked myself up 25 mil death XP, which gives us another 250 points. Now let's get back to Zuck. I must be him down. Nice. Nice ruby bolt there. Is that dead? Nice. Let's nice. cast Chad down.
nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. 13 HP left. Don't fucking choke it now, Ditter. Don't choke it now, Ditter. Baltum? Zero. Waltz it. I think that might be the cape. 18. Yep, that's the cape. 92.48. Not exactly the best time, but that is the infernal cape achieved. It took us, I think, four or five attempts, but we pretty much made it to Zuck every single time. So I'm very, very happy with that. We will be going back for the speed run, which is under 75 minutes. But that, my friends, is the infernal cape. Okay, so we didn't really need to waste those three days at Arma as the Black D-Head body did suffice to get this Infernal Cape. Obviously, we still need to go back at some point and get that chest plate because that is 500 points just waiting for us there. We are still fairly behind because of the time we wasted, but now that we have our Infernal Cape, we can start focusing up and just focus the points more and try to climb back onto that top page ranking. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and comment down below what you thought. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, and that is 25 million woodcutting XP. We've pretty much got this all over the course of editing all my videos, so that's nice. Just AFKing a free 250 points. Um, yeah, awesome. We are now at 34.72k. And that, my friends, is another Zenite shard. I think we're under 100 kills, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, that guy has the arson eye. Nice. He has the arson eye. Kind of just made me panic a little bit, but I have the second Zenite shard now. I only need uh, two more. And that is a light frame, not the one we want. I think there's only points for doing a heavy blister and not a light blister. I could be wrong, but that's not the one we want. I just got a ballista spring. Okay, I have two ballista springs. So no, I don't have all the pieces. I have a heavy frame and a monkey tail. Forgot to do an intro for this video, so I'm doing it now. Sue me. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. We have three master tasks I want to get done today. I want to do the sub 75 inferno. I want to complete a TOB with three people in under six minutes. And I want to get all my Zenite jewelry. There's a whole lot more we want to do as well, but those are the three 500 point tasks that we really want to get done. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into the content. Oh shit, I got a purple. What the fuck? Let's go. Please just don't be... What do I already have? I already have a rapier. Don't be a rapier. Anything but a rapier. Ooh, okay. Okay, we take those. We take those. We got a scythe. We didn't get a sub 16, but we got a scythe. Say fucking less. Say fucking less, G. What's good? What's good? 250 points as well for a scythe. And that right there is 89 crafting. We're making all these arrow tips for a 25 mil fletching, but it does give me 960 crafting XP every time I make one of them. So this does give me a couple of crafting levels too. Okay, and that is a hard task of filling a giant pouch ton. I've had this for a while, just didn't do it. And that is 100 points. Very happy that my tree has lived through the night. This is another 250 points right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. That puts us over 35,000 and puts us onto 35,320 points. Very, very nice. Okay, and that right there is 90 Herblore. Very, very nice. Putting us up to 2,094 total. We're working on 2,100 total right now because that's another 250 points. And that is 91 Herblore. Very, very nice. Okay, and that is 99 mining off the Motherload mine. We have to do this a lot because we need to buy full Prospector for the Fally Elite Diaries. So we're going to have a lot of fun here. But that is 250 points off 99 mining. Did that update me? It did. It puts me up to 35.57k. Dude, I just got another heavy frame, bro. And that is 84 smithing. I'm just going to finish out the rest of these Addy Bars. And I'm going to smelt a Runite Bar for 250 points. Okay, and this is smelting a runite bar, which is another 250 points. I just hit the quick dwarven stout for it. And nice, we are on 35.67k right now. Wait, that's only 100 points. Alright, let's check the health on these trusty mahogany trees. 250k XP drop putting me to 90 farming. The 250k XP drops go fucking hard. This is going to be 91 farming too, putting us one level off 2,100 total. Okay, we're being very inefficient with our fletching right now, but it's for the YouTube. It's for you guys. Hitting eight, oh, that's awkward. Hitting 86 fletching, putting us up to 2,100 total. Another 250 points earned. We're gonna max eventually, so that's really nice. 35.92k. Okay, and something I should have done when I got 80 construction, it was build an achievement gallery. I'll put stuff in it later. I just can't be bothered right now. And that's 100 points for building it, putting me over 36k for the first time. And it is time to go for the 500 point toss, the sub 75 Inferno. Now with a Slayer Helm, I do think this should be pretty doable. My time before was 92 minutes and I was waiting a lot with for SGS specs. Here I have like 15% more damage on anything. And I think that'll be like directly proportional to the time. And I should be able to get it pretty easily even with melee. The Slayer Helm is pretty strong. 
Let's see how it goes. This is my first attempt since getting that cape. And at just past 44 minutes, we managed to reach Jad. We were very well on pace. We could just chill. All we had to do was complete Zuck and we've got it. 46 minutes, 3 seconds after completing triples. Just getting completion and this is going to be the easiest 500 points of my life. Unfortunately, there was a bit of brain lag again, and I took a very humble suck hit into a not very humble ranger hit, and we unfortunately got KO'd, but I know we can do it, we just gotta come back and get it. Molten Glass. Yes! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Completed in 1525, that's 500 points right there, bro. 36.52k. I'm hyped, bro, I'm hyped. Let's go! Oh, it's purple for me! Let's go! I didn't even notice. Okay, okay, okay. Please be anything but a scythe or a rapier. Oh, another rapier, dude. I called it as well. It's mine, it's my purple. Come on, please don't be a scythe or another rapier, bro. Just be anything, anything else and I'm happy. Okay, just a far face guard, whatever, that's 250 points, dude, it is what it is. There we go, 250 points. 50th kill count, no perp. Back into the inferno for another attempt at the sub 75 cape. We died at Zuck post healers, so I'm pretty sure we can do it, we just need to not choke. And no matter what we really do, we should be able to get the time. So let's go, second attempt at these 500 points. Now we've made it back to Zuck, now the timer on screen says 51 minutes 25 seconds, but I think it's actually around 55 minutes 25 seconds. So either way, as long as we don't do like a 30 minute Zuck, we're chilling. we got this. Ruby ball to start, we take those. This is just depressing. Kill the fucking Jad, dude. Choke this and I should have it. Come on, that should be it. Nice, sub 75 infernal cape. That was really close for comfort. Honestly, I probably should have got it on my first attempt, but I did choke it, so I'm happy to get it there. Please tell me I'm recording. I am. That's a sub 75 cape, putting me up to 37.27k. Alright, that's 91 crafting, 3 more levels and then we can boost for all our Zenites. And that is 92 crafting, 2 more levels, this is gonna be hard. And that right there is 93 crafting, we've been running back and forth from the Tazar gem shop. We also got a bunch of gold ore from raids, from TOB, and we just made them into gold bars for extra crafting XP. One more level and we can boost for all those Zenites, and then we need to actually go get two more Zenites. And that is 95 magic, our only non-combat 99. We pretty much have 25 mil and everything else, it's just there hasn't been much reason to train magic, to be honest. Right now we're just making our fire orbs to make battle staffs later. We do eventually have to get 25 mil magic though, but I think that will just come over the course of time. That is 94 crafting, which means we can now boost for all our Zenites. We still need two more Zenites, and we need to go get another Sisolip Chop thingy majiggy from Fossil Island to actually make the boost. Some more mahogany trees this is going to be fat XP drops, getting us to 92 farming probably. 250k? 
another 250k, 92 farming, very nice, and another 250k getting us close to 93, and we have a bunch more mahogany saplings to plant anyway. We can honestly just keep doing this and total 25 mil farming. Just choked on all my words there, but yeah. I've got some Sislip caps or whatever they're called, so when I get these two more Zenites, I can boost to make all four of my Zenites. Oh my god, I just got another monkey tail, bro. Apparently these are really, like, rare. Some guy was telling me that he was 700 KC dry earlier for them. And I got another monkey tail. I think I need a ballista spring for my heavy ballista, which is 250 points. But I haven't got one of those yet. Okay, that's a task of 150 demonic girl is done. Still no Zenite. However, we did get, like, our first two in under 150, so I can't really complain just yet. 300 kills and two Zenites. Not too bad. Let's go get another task and try and get those next two. And that is actually the task for 300 demonic girl is done. I guess I was on 298. That's 250 points right there. There's a bunch of tasks with demonic, so going dry here is the worst thing. I just need those two Zenites in general, though. Bro, that's my third heavy frame. I don't know exactly what piece it is, but it's definitely not that that I need to complete my heavy ballista. I think it's the ballista spring or the frame. I probably said it in a previous clip. I just can't remember. And that is another heavy frame, dude. Our fourth heavy frame. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm now at about uh, 370 demonics. Only two zenites, so I am quite under drop right now, and all I'm getting are heavy frames. I'm thinking this might be another armadillo situation. Not that bad, once again, because I have to get a lot of kill count regardless but I really do want these two Zenites. Let's go, those are two Spirit Seeds. Okay, that's actually good because we need to plant uh, Spirit Trees for our task later, so that's very, very nice. I already have one in the bank, but I needed two of them anyway. All right, I just got a Ballista Spring. I think that's the last piece I need to uh, make my Ballista. I could be wrong. It might be the limbs, we'll have to go see. There we go, there's our third Zenite Shard. That's our third Zenite Shard, and we're literally about to finish a task of 100. There we go, we're about maybe close to 500 kills, so we really should have all four Zenites, but I can't complain, I've got my third one. That really motivates me, I was kind of dying out here, now we just need one more. Quick little check on the kill count, we have killed 506, damn, for three Zenites, so we're about two Zenites dry, because the drop rate is a flat at one in 100. Another heavy frame, I just checked, we now have five heavy frames, we have three Ballista Springs, two Monkey Tails, but not a single Ballista Limbs. Shit game. Let's go, Zenite Shard, Zenite Shard, thank god, bro. I was literally just complaining to Maz about my Zenite luck. I think I'm on 680, 660 kills or something, but that's my fourth Zenite. We can get the fuck out of here for now. We do have to come back. All right, the cash deck has been depleted significantly because I need to buy Chaos Ruins, but it's all worth it because we need to get ourselves three Onyxes for these three Zenites we've got in the bank. All right, and that's all three Onyxes bought. Let's go make these Zenites. Okay, it's time to make these Zenites. Let's not fuck this up. One of each. Zenite Bracelet, one. Nice. Zenites Amulet, one. I need some, what's it called, wool for that as well. I forgot about that. And Zenite Necklace, one. Okay, I think we have successfully done this without fucking it up. Okay, and that is the master task of equipping all Zenite jewelry. I was actually a little bit panicked because my suffering is already a suffering while these are just Zenite necklaces. So I was, I was honestly believing that Jax may not give me the points for that. But luckily they did. However, let's enchant all of this real quick. That is it for today's video. The sub-75 Inferno. The scythe of its her. All Zenites unlocked and a lot more progress done. In the next episode, we break 40k points and start the climb for the top page again. Subscribing is the best way to support me, so if you guys have been enjoying the videos and you aren't subbed yet, feel free to hook it up. I'll see you guys later. Trailblazer episode 13. We were previously at top 25 in the game until our unfortunate armadal grind. Since then, we have fallen all the way to around rank 200. But it's time for that to change, and it's time for me to make my climb back to the top. We start today's video with 38,000 points. Let's see where we can get to. I wanted to complete all the Elite Diaries today as they are worth 250 points, which means I had to get level 5 all in Barbarian Assault. I needed to do Barbarian Assault anyway because I also needed a Torso, which is some points, and I needed the ability to buy a Granite Body, which is used for one of the tasks. So, one of the tasks actually within Barbarian Assault is casting a Surge Spell. Now, I didn't think I could do this because you need Wrath Runes, and I assumed I would need Fremenic or whatever you need for DS2 to do it, but in BA, you actually get Wrath Runes, so that's 100 points right there just from casting a Surge Spell. And that's 100 points I thought I'd never get. Alright, I've got the elite task of reaching level 5 in every Barbarian Assault roll. Now, this took hours, but I actually did it legitimately with Maz and some other people, and it also gives us the ability to unlock the Kandoran Elite Diary, which is another 250 points. Alright, seven hours later, we've gone level 5 in all Barbarian Assault roles. Big shout out to Maz, who actually sorted out the team for us. Link to his YouTube in the description. He's making vids. He's actually ahead of me now. He has over 40,000 points. Go check him out. 
but it also means we can get our fighter torso, which is called a penance torso. I actually had no idea that that's what it was called. But there we go, there's our fighter torso. Wield that, and that is 100 points. Seven hours for 100 points. Obviously, we did it for the Elite Diary too, so that we can get the Candor and Elite done. We're going to be doing lots of diaries today because there are lots of points and there are lots of XP. So let's get into it. Okay, apart from that seven hour or so stint at Barbasol, I've pretty much been AFKing Motherload Mine all day because I need to get all the Prospector outfits for Fally Elite and to do the mole requirements anyway. But it's given us a bunch of ore, which we're going to need to use to get around 91 smithing because we have some diaries to do, which are some very high point tasks. But we also need to get 91 runecrafting, I think. So a lot of skilling coming up. I think we're going to leave the mine now, actually get some shit done and train the smithing up. Okay, and that is 86 smithing. Five more levels to go until we can do all the diaries we need to. Okay, and that is 82 runecrafting. I've never really runecrafted on the real game because it is terrible to do, but on this, it's very nice. With the last recall hacks, I basically just come here to the ZMI, teleport back to the GE, and repeat. I need to get 91 runecrafting for all these diaries. I think I'll just get 90 because I'm pretty sure I can get a boost, and I want base 90s, and I only, even with... Even doing this, I really don't want to train runecrafting. So it's going to be a while, but we'll just get to 90 real quick. We have it all banked, I'd imagine. This right here is 90 runecrafting. Honestly, it wasn't even that bad. I'm just a crybaby. Eventually, we do need to go all the way to 99, but we can just boost this for the diaries we need to do. Now we need to get our smithing up to 90 as well. Now the problem is, I have a bunch of coal, and a, or no, I have a bunch of Addy ore, I have a bunch of rune ore, I have a bunch of bars. The issue is actually I have a drought of coal. I only have 200 coal, so I don't, I'm not sure what to do about that. And that is 89 Fletchen, one more level and we're at that base 90 that we need. And then I guess we just need Construction, Hunter, and Prayer. As well as Smithing, but we're doing that anyway. And that is 90 Fletching, still got a bunch of hours to go. Okay, so I've been pretty tired the past couple hours, so I've been effectively AFKing my Jad Toss. Uh, what is that? That's a mage hit, I think. So basically, I've literally just been AFKing a bunch of fire capes in one inventory. As you can see, I've got three of them. Obviously, I've been banking for restores and stuff like that. But I'm a little bit of a weirdo to the point where I just wanted to stack up as many in my inventory as possible. And there we go, that's another one, another 400k XP drop. Actually hit 25 mil Slayer doing this, I'm already over 26.5 mil. But for 15 fight caves, it's a 250 point task, and for 30 fight caves, it's a 250 point task. So eventually I have to get 30 of these kills, so whenever I'm feeling tired or brain dead, I'm just coming here and I can pretty much AFK, I just have to restore up and SGS up whenever I see any of these two get lower, and then obviously for Jad, I just come back, switch prayers a little, and yeah, it's very, very nice, and we're just going to be AFKing our 30 toss like that, so yeah, let's get back to Barrows, I think. Procrastinating in Barrows a little bit, and I do have a couple bars in the bank, so I am just making those right now, and that just made me 87 smithing, three more levels. And that is a Varax Helm, very nice, we don't have any other Varax pieces, however, but it doesn't really matter, we need to get completion eventually. Aram's Hood, I think I already have that, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I already have that. Carol's Coif, okay, and a Darok's Great Axe, wow, that was a double chest, I don't even realize that. I think I have a lot of Carol's pieces now, I'm not sure, let me go check. Okay, yeah, if I get the Carol's top, I'm done, but, I mean, it's very unlikely I get it, so we'll see. Varax Helm, we've already got one of those. And that is 94 Fletchin just from doing Barrows, bro. I actually am an EHP nerd myself, huh? Torax Plate Legs, there we go. Aram's Robe Skirt, we really need that for Tob and Torax Plate Legs, that's nice, but the Aram's Robe Skirt is really good. Carol's Coif again, damn, I just need the, 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 what's it called, the Leather Skirt, the Leather Skirt, the Leather Body, whatever it's called. Varax Plate Skirt, okay, there we go. That's another Darox Helm, dude, third duplicate. Guffin's Helm! Dude, I just got Torax Plate Legs and Darox Helm in the same fucking chest, bro. I just need a K-Top for my, uh, completed set. Oh, I didn't even record that. I didn't even record. I just got another Carol's crossbow. That's like my third or second one? I have no clue. Just got 95 Fletcher, man. This shit is free. Aram Staff. Not bad. That was bad, actually. I don't know why I said that. That has no use to it. me. Yeah, I guess. I just got a Darox plate body. Um, do I have the Darox full set? I don't think so. Torax Helm again. Darox Great Axe. Oh, I've already got that, dude. I just got so excited for no reason. Alright, I ran out of shit to flitch, so I'm high alking right now for no XP waste, and I just got 96 mage. Guffin's War Spear. Interesting. I don't have that, but I still don't think that completes a set, to be honest. Aram's Robe Skirt again, bro. I've got four complete sets apart from one item, and I've just got a duplicate Aram's Robe Skirt, bro. Life is not good right now. Carol's Crossbow again! No! No! Guffin's Plate Body. Another duplicate. 
132 kill count. Maz completed his set in 74 kill count. DH Helm, another duplicate. This is not going well. We've been here for like six hours now. Tarox Helm! I, I don't know what else to expect at this point. Guthin's chain skirt. That's the last piece I needed. Let's fucking go. 149 KC. I've got a full set now. I don't think it works like that. Oh, it does work like that. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's equip any full Barra's armor set. That's 100 points. I need to open the chest after actually doing it to complete the diary thing. Okay, and that's one task done. Now I just need to go loot another chest with this set on. And this should be the task completed, giving us 250 points as well as completing the Mauritania Elite Diary. There we go. Congratulations, yep, 250 points, and I go speak for my reward. Nice. I'm on 39.2k now, and the climb is gonna start. Alright, that gives us more Tania Legs 4 and this Antique Clamp, which we're gonna dump on Smithing because we need that for more diaries. That puts us to what? 89 Smithing. Just one more level, and we can do a bunch more diaries. Okay, this is another task and another diary done. Should be. I'm not actually sure how many points this is. Only 50 points for the Medium Candor and Diary, and it's another diary completed. Okay, I'm going to use this on smithing. I'm not sure if this gets us a level. I feel like it should. Yes, that gets us to 90 smithing. Very, very nice. Okay, and that is the hard candor and diary completed. Okay, we just got our beloved chewed bones, which means we can finish candor and elite, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I don't have 85 fire making, so I should probably get that real quick. Okay, and this is 85 fire making. Let's go finish up that task. Just got myself 93 farming. I'm aware I'm meant to be doing the candor and thing right now, but I just checked this magic tree and it got me 93 farming. Okay, and I got a prayer mix from that, but that is the elite task done for Kander and all, and that is 250 points right there. Very, very nice. Get ourselves another antique lamp real quick, which we're now going to use on smithing as well. We're pretty much dumping everything into smithing, as I figured out, is the worst skill to train. Um, that puts us to... Okay, no, we're still at 90 smithing. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. That's the medium or the hard one. This is the elite one that should get us levels. Yep, 91 smithing. I'm very close to 92 as well. All right, and that should be 500 points from doing the Ardone Agility course and finishing the Elite Ardone Diary, putting me up to 40,170 points. You like that little 500 points in one go? Because I do. And this is the Falador Elite Diary done, which is another 250 points. There we go. And that is the Lumbridge Elite Diary done as well, which is another 250 points, 40,670. Okay, and this should be the Karamja Elite Diary done, which is another in 250 points for us. Am I correct? Yes, I am. That gets me to 4,920. Ditter? Yes. And that's a raw summer pie used on a range. That's a normal summer pie. And that is the Varrock Elite Diaries done. And that puts me over 41,000 points for the first time in this league. That is 94 farming. We have 99 and probably even 25 mil banks. So I just kind of do these farm runs whenever I can be bothered. There's 500 points just waiting for me there. And this is going to be 95 farming after checking the health of all these things. Some more fat 250k XP drops coming in. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. 95 farming right there. Herbivore is some of the best points in the game. And I just received a Torstal, which is 250 points. Uh, when I get 100 Herbivore, that's two, another 250 points. 250 Herbivore is another 250 points. 500 as well, as well as 9 on Hunter, which I'm going to get from Herbivore. So it's pretty OP. Okay, and this is going to be our 15th Jad kill right here, which is going to be another 250 points. A very nice and easy afk able 250 points. Didn't even know that afk the fight case was a thing, to be honest. Let's not die there. And I think we're chilling. We honestly just power through the healers. It's not a big deal. I am hitting threes, which isn't the best, but there we go. And that is 250 points for completing the fight case 15 times. We do have to do 15 more of these, but I can't be bothered right now even to AFK them. We're going to move on to some other stuff. Let's go! We finally got the Ballista Limbs, which means we can make the Heavy Ballista when we get to the bank. That is 250 points right there. And when we finish up these 750 kills, that's another 250 uh, points. So that's another 500 points we're going to be gaining, going up to 42k once we finish these 750 kills. And that is 750 Demonic Gorillas done. We only have 12 more of these to do, so I'm just going to finish up the task anyway, because I have to get 1250 eventually. Eventually, but that's another 250 points. <laughs> we got another heavy frame. And after just over 750 demonic gorilla kills, this is what we have. Five ballista springs, six heavy frames, two monkey tails, and only one ballista limb. Now, I don't actually know how to make this, so I'm just gonna click around until... Uh, maybe it's like that? Like that? And like that. I think that is a heavy ballista, and that gives us another 250 points, putting us over 42,000 points.
All right, so I've been having to get 95 agility for base level 95s. Eventually, I need to get 99 as well, obviously. Now, there is a master task to do 2,000 laps of the Apatol agility course, and I've done 425 just training it up here and there. And I think I actually get some points for just uh, wearing these as different things. Let me see. I think if I make it a Karamja monkey and then wear it, that is 50 points. And I feel like I should have gotten some points for the zombie monkey, but maybe not. Anyway, we'll get back to that later. Okay, and surprisingly enough, something I haven't done yet is equip a full adamant set because it took me so long to get the plate legs, but that's another 50 points there. Something I haven't even done yet is get the full obsidian armor set, which is another 100 points. Now, the obsidian helm is actually pretty good, but I'm going to sell the rest back just for taco whenever I need it. Alright, we're back on our EHP shit. We're doing Herbie right now because it's literal mad points. Just got ourselves 87 Hunter, and we're also doing Fletching at the same time. We are 95 Fletching. I'm hoping to get that to 99 as we get our Hunter to 99 as well. Okay, and that is 96 Fletching. We're also 88 Herblore. 88 Herblore, 88 Hunter. I'm a little bit delusional, not gonna lie, but yeah, we're just gonna be getting these two up. I think we should be able to get 99 Fletching as we train our Herblore, uh, our Hunter up. Just doing some Herbie, and I see this guy with a fucking Ellie, bro. What the hell? That's 97 Fletching. Two more levels, two more levels. That is 90 Hunter. 92 Hunter, halfway to 99, pretty much. I need to go get some more Arrow Shafts. That's 92 Herblore. I think I got that straight from Herbivore, so that's pretty nice. 98 Fletchin, one more level for 99. This is very, very efficient. I'm actually quite proud of myself. I might be entering, I don't know, some skilling competitions, going for top page. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. And that is catching a Herbivore 100 times, which is 250 points, putting us up to 42.6k. When we hit 99 Fletching, that's 42.9k or something. I don't know if my maths is. 250 Herbivore, 500 Herbivore, even more points. We're really raking them in now. Okay, so I'm at 98 Fletching. I'm pretty sure I'm like 16k XP off, so I'm just gonna go back and get that real quick. I don't have any more arrow shafts or feathers or arrow tips. I can go get them all, but I'm just lazy. I can't be bothered. So instead, I'm gonna get out some gnats and start training the mage as well after getting 99. I do need to get 25 mil Fletching eventually, and it would be really good to do here. I probably should do it, but I'm gonna just delay it a little bit more. I can do Fletching whenever, to be honest. It is just a good thing to do here, but yeah. And that is 99 Fletching, another 250 points. I'm now at 42,870. 96 Hunter, not bad. I think we're about to hit 97 Mage too. That is 97 Magic too. We're 30 levels away from 2.2k total. <laughs> I'm watching Perp prepare for the Inferno. I didn't even realize. I just got myself 99 Hunter, which puts me over 43k points. We really did fly today. Very, very nice. We still need to do a lot more uh, Herbivore though. We need to get 500, I think, to get all the points. All right, quick bit of farming XP while we're here at the Herbie. I think this should get me to 96, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I just got a Hespori seed. Very useless, but 96 farming. Very, very nice. Let's get back to Herbie. All right, and this is going to be my 250 Herbie board, which is going to be another 250 points. Not going to lie, there's been a couple times where I've forgotten to harvest it, and it doesn't actually count towards the KC. So that is a bit of a rip, but that is 250 points. I do need to do another 250, but I want to AFK a little bit and watch my friend do the Inferno. So I'm actually going to make my way to Kraken, because if I kill like 200 more of those that's another 250 points and if i get myself 99 mage that's another 250 points as well so it's efficiency trust all right that's 98 magic here one more level and that's another 250 points just got the pet kraken dude that's my third pet that's my third pet on this league i've got the bandos pet the heron pet and i just got the kraken pet on 302 kc bro oh my god i'll take those and that is another Trident of the Seas full drop, which basically just keeps me going here as much as possible. And I have a bunch of runes, and I have pretty much unlimited GP at this point anyway. Well, not unlimited. Construction's going to be expensive as fuck. But a Trident drop is very nice, because I can just st stay here forever. And that is another Kraken toss done. We are on 388 kill count. We're just going to get another toss real quick, and that should get us to 500 kill count, which is another 250 points. That is 99 Mage here at the Kraken. I'm on 435 kill count, putting me up to 43,620 points. When I finish up this 500 Kraken, that's another 250 points. We are zooming. That is another Kraken Tentacle. We're stacking these up because once we get 10, we can complete a master task, which is 500 points. And I think not a whole lot of people are working on that right now. You know, until they see this video and copy me. Let's go. 497 kill count. Another Kraken. I think we've got four of these now. So six more and we could do that master task. I could have five, but I'm thinking four is the correct number. And that right there is 500 Kraken kill count, which is another 250 points, putting me up to 43,870. Very, very nice. Okay, nice. The first spirit tree is healthy. That's what we like to see. 300k XP drop off of that as well. That is what we like to see. Let's go. The one in Port Serim live too. I didn't protect these because I don't know how. So I just tossed some ultra compost on it and it worked out. But this is another 250 points from traveling between one spirit tree to another. 
putting me over 44,000 points for the first time. 44,120. I think we climbed up like 5k points in today's video, if I'm not mistaken. So if I'm not mistaken, we started off this video at about 38,000 points and we've climbed up all the way to 44,000. So it's like 6k points in one video. Obviously that was like two to three days of progress of non-stop grinding. So that was a lot of work to get the video out for you guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new so you never miss a, midi a video and comment down below what you guys thought. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. We ended our last video with 44,000 points and around a 2,180 total level at rank 73 on the League Points leaderboard. In today's episode, we want to break the 50k threshold, and we're going to do that by maxing our first ever RuneScape account. Let's get into it. Bruh, I just got 92 smithing from fixing the one thing at Motherlord Mine. Alright. One of the biggest time grinds out of the way, we've now finally gotten ourselves full Prospector, which is a 100 point toss, but it also unlocks a whole lot of stuff. Equip a full Prospector outfit, 100 points. It unlocks the Mole, it unlocks Falador Hard. It unlocks a whole lot of shit, so this grind was definitely worth it. And to be honest, we did a lot of it just AFK. Forgot I even had a tree here. That's 97 farming. I'm currently working on the Falador Diary, and I just had a tree here, so we'll take those levels. Okay, and that is the Falador Easy Diary done, and I just got a hard toss done for the Falador one as well. We're doing it all right now. And that is the Hero's Quest done. I honestly probably should have done this earlier, because I need the Dragon Battle Axe to constantly boost my stats to 120. Um, but I'm just doing it now for the Falador Diary. It is what it is. I'm pretty sure if I could charge a Glory, that's also a toss. So let me go do that. A couple AGS specs on a blue dragon. Oh my god, a 76. I'm only 115 strength. Say less. Um, that should be a toss on. Yep, that's a hard toss for Falador Don. I only have two more toss to do. There is charging a glory. It is 50 points right there. I just need to do Grim Tales now and craft a fruit basket, whatever that is. All right, and that is a fruit basket made, which is the last toss we need to do for Falador. Now all I need to do is go equip this dwarven helmet in the mine or whatever, and that is the complete Falador diary done. That's the hard Falador Diary done. I just got 150 points or 160 from doing the easy, medium, and the hard. And this now means we can go claim our XP lamps, which should boost our smithing even more. All right, that gives us the Falador Shield 4, and it gives us all these XP lamps that we're going to dump into smithing. I guess we should start with the lowest one. Um, 40k XP. 120k XP. Maybe there, that was the, the 240k XP. And then this is the big 800k one, if I'm not mistaken. That puts us to 93, almost 94 smithing. All right, and this should be the medium diary for our dome done, if I am not mistaken. Yes, it is. We still need to do like two farming things for the hard one, and then we're done with it. So I think I need to go find myself a poison ivy seed. Dude, I'm at 58% and I've got the gout tuber. Easy game, bro. People have been going dry on this thing for hours. It's 100 points. It's the thing you need. There you go, find a gout tuber, 100 points, and that lets me carry on with the Karamja diary. Okay, and that is the Karamja medium diary done, and we also only need one more task of Karamja hard done, and then we finish this diary too. I just need to become the champion of fight pits, so I just need someone to go die to me in the fight pits real quick. Okay, and this should be the hard Karamja diary done right there, giving us access to a bunch more lamps, and it's another 100 points as well, I'm pretty sure. Um, yep, it is, 43,730 points now, 73, the Bodhi number. Gonna finish up the Ardone Diary once the tree finishes growing, but let's go cash in these XP lamps. Okay, let's cash in all of these little lamps on smithing. This should get us another level maybe to 94, maybe 95, doubt 95, but it'll get us to 94. That's 94 smithing. Oh my god, it will get us to 95 because this is an 800k one. Oh, yes, nice, awesome. 95 smithing, that's our level for base uh, 95s. That's pretty sick, I didn't even expect to get that far. Okay, and this is going to be the Ardone Diary completely completed, so we can go get our points after that, but 100 points just there, 44.8k, and let's go get all that smithing XP. Okay, let's claim our Ardone Cape 4, as well as all our lamps, which we can now just use to get ourselves our smithing even higher. I think it'll get us to 96, maybe close to 97. I can do the Varok Diary eventually too, once I get all the kudos. And I can do the Lumber Diary once I figure out how to get 100 tiers of Gothics without failing, because I tried that and I got like 74 because I suck. Um, that puts me up to 96 smithing, and I'll just dump the rest of this on the XP too. Now we're going to be working on base 95s, and the first thing we're going to be working on is prayer. Now it's like 1,400 bones or something like that from 80 to 95 prayer all on the Ecto, so that's a lot of time. I don't know if we're going to do it all right now. It's a lot It's a lot of effort, but it's the hardest one to do. Construction, uh, rune crafting, crafting normally, thieving. You know, this, this is all stuff we can easily do. There's not really a huge time period on it. The prayer, however, is going to be a big task, so we're just going to go assign ourselves some fossil and wyverns, because eventually I also need to get an ancient wyvern shield, 
And if by some stroke of pure luck I get that, then we'll start doing Mythal Dragons because I need to get a Dragon Full Home too, as well as a DFS. The Fossil Island Wyverns also drop uh, fossils, which I need to get kudos. So it's all like, you know, two birds and one stone type thing, some efficiency type shit. Let's get ourselves to Wyverns. Okay, so I'm currently making extended anti-fires to go do Fossil Islands, uh, Wyverns, and eventually Mythal Dragons with it. And I'm just getting mad quick 1.7k XP drops. I could be doing it faster, but I'm scared I'm going to misclick my anti-fires and drink them. And I don't want to waste it. This is going to be some really nice herb lore XP. And I need to get 95 and 99 eventually anyway. And we've got a bunch of herbs from all the TOB we've been doing. I think we've got TOB, like more TOB done than anyone else really competing for the top page ranks. Because they've all been doing other stuff. So I think that's going to really help me out with stuff like this. And eventually, long term, obviously, it's going to help me regardless. I just got a Granite Longsword from Splitting Wyverns. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, I was kind of hoping it was a task, but it isn't. Rest in peace. Okay, so complete 100 Slayer Toss. I didn't even know I was about to hit that, but that is 100 points right there, putting me up to 44.9k. Okay, and I just got 350 points for doing Floor 4 and Floor 5 of the Hallowed Sepulchre level of Poker. And that gives me 350 points, putting me over 45,000 points. Now this shit is pretty terrible to learn. And the only reason I can, I've can i even got these tasks done is because you don't actually have to complete it in the time it gives you. You just have to get to the floor and you can do as many attempts as you want. Now there are more tasks to do with this and there actually is a speed run task as well, which I think is a master task if I'm not mistaken. And I also have to get all the rewards. So I am going to have to come back here eventually and learn how to do it properly. But for now, that's free 350 points. I'll take it. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the large display finished. Yes, it is, which puts me up to 144 kudos. Okay, so that puts me up to 144 kudos. And now if I do Hazel's Cult and Temple of Ikov, that puts me up to 154 kudos, which unlocks Volcanic Mine, which is a 250 point toss for me, which is very nice. Can't be bothered to do that right now. I'm in the bones grind, so it is what it is. But that is very nice. 100, 893, uh, what's it called? Fossil Island Wyverns we killed for all this. Bunch of prayer XP in that. Uh, about like 20% of the drop rate for an ancient ancient wyvern shield thingy-majiggy too. Eventually we do need to get that because that's points as well. But yeah, it is what it is. Putting all these lamps into smithing XP, we're almost 97 smithing. I'm now going to start assigning myself mithril dragon task because there is a dragon full helm task as well. And I need to get 600 dragon bones and it also gives me mithril bars for smithing. So it's like a three in one sort of thing. Prayer, smithing and a dragon full helm. It's good. All right, I'm going to get duly noted, which will allow the Mythal Dragons to drop them all in banknote form, which just allows me to stay there a little bit longer. And I also want to extend my Mythal Dragons task. I don't know if that's a thing. I really hope it's a thing. I really myth- Oh my god, Jagex. You're cringer than I am. But yeah, I have unlocked duly noted, and I really myth you. <laughs> Let's go do some fucking Myth Dragon toss. It is what it is. Vissy! I just got a Vissy! I just got a Vissy! I swear I just got a Vissy, dude. This is my first Myth Dragon kill. This is my first- Oh my god, dude. That's my first Myth Dragon kill and I get a Vissy, bro. I wasn't even recording the drop, bro. I'm freaking out. Oh my god, I just got a Vissy. How do I even make this into a thingy majiggy, dude? If you guys have been enjoying my League's progress videos, please consider subscribing as it is the best way to support me as well as making sure you guys never miss a video. Over 60% of you guys aren't subscribed and I'm still going extremely hard this League, so it would be greatly appreciated. Let's get on with the video. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is going to give me 500 points because I get 250 from making it this into a DFS. I'm fairly sure. I don't know how long this takes. We might be here a while. Yep, 250 points for Smith and a Dragonfire Shield. And I think wielding it is another 250 points. 500 points just like that. And that was the first kill of my Myth Dragon toss. That puts us up to 50 or 45,780 points. Let's go. All right, that is 95 prayer banks from just wyverns and myth dragons, 1,538 mithril bars. You can see we have a bunch of wyvern bone meal, dragon bone meal, and then some more dragon bones to use. Let's check how many chewed bones we got from that. 10 exactly. Now the drop rate for the dragon full helm, like I said, is one in 82. So honestly, using these 10 chewed bones isn't the worst chance at getting a dragon full helm, which is 250 points. And all of these myth bars is smithing XP as well. So I was really efficient, I think. I'm gonna go use these 10 chewed bones now before I do anything else, because if I get lucky, I get lucky. Let's go have a look. At 10 chewed bones, please aren't G-Gods, bless us. Okay, last chewed bones. Didn't get too lucky unless I get it right here. Um, that's going to be 11 chewed bones out of the 83 drop rate. Obviously, we can't get it on. We don't have to get it within 82. We could go a little bit unluckier for it. Unfortunately, no dragon full helm, but we're going to come back to myth dragons anyway. I think I'm going to do my 99 prayer through that as well. So we'll see. We have to get it eventually. Okay, using Last Recall, getting the Bone Meal is actually super easy, and getting the Buckets of Slime is going to be super easy too. You can see I've got all this Wyvern and Dragon Bone Meal. Now, I'm just going to go buy myself 
I don't know, like 1.6k worth of buckets of slime. Now it's extremely easy to do this too. You just buy 10 and if you exit the shop and reopen the shop, it restocks completely so I can get a full inventory. All I gotta do is teleport to Camelot and because I have the calendar and diary completed, it takes me right here. I can bank all these buckets of slime at, Jesus, okay, that's on X. That's a little bit awkward. Use the uh, little crystal hack and I'm back. So I'm just gonna do this real quick and get a bunch of buckets of slime. Okay, that's 14,000. Wait, uh, 14, no, uh, 1,475 buckets of slime and a bunch of wyvern and dragon bone meal. Let's get on the prayer. Okay, and this should be 81 prayer right here. I'm not gonna record every single level, but we're gonna go all the way to 95, I think. And that is 90 prayer for base 90s, but we're going all the way to 95 for base 95s. Base 90s, 250 points. Base 95s is 500 points. So that's 750 points right there that I'm working towards. I'm also gonna get some level 99s as well. So we're gonna fly up today. Okay, and this should be 94 prayer. We've honestly done this really quickly. Last recall is extremely overpowered. 94 prayer gives us 2.2k total, which is another 250 points. There it is. And now I'm only 77 levels away, I think. I hope that's the correct number away from a max cape. Let's do this. Okay, turns out my calculation sucked because I'm 100k off my level and I'm out of bones, I think. Yeah, holy fuck. Okay, I have a bunch of big bones. I guess I'm just gonna bury them. I just got another Vissy, dude. I'm back here getting my bones for 95 prayer and I just got a second Vissy. Obviously, I don't even need, need this. It's one of the most rarest drops on the game and I've got a second Fizzy, dude. Oh my god, people are gonna be so mad at me. Okay, and this right here should be 95 prayer. There was a system update, so I went and got myself some gems for crafting later, but we're back. Finishing this up, we do have to get 99 eventually, but I don't want to get it right now. We'll do that later. We can get 99 other things first. That is 95 prey. Very, very nice. We're 125 combat now as well. When I get 126, that's another 250. This is the herb tab. I don't know what levels are in this tab, but this is going to be 93 herb. We're rushing 99. We need to get 95 for base uh, 95s anyway, but if we can get to 99 now, we're just going to do it. We're going to sit here, clean all these herbs, and make all the potions we can make. Okay, and that is 95 herb. We're going to keep going until we run out of supplies, though. Okay, and this should be 96 Herbal right here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to push these last three levels, but I'm going to try. Okay, 97 Herbal. I think we might actually be able to push 99. I'm not sure. And that is 98 Herbal. A little bit of a scenery change because I need to get some Lava Scale Shards for these Extended Antifires. I do think I can get this level 99. I'm pretty much all out of Herbs, but there is a little, like, thing going on where I can make one dose restores into four dose sand fuse. And I have a bunch of restores, I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually not that many, but we'll see. We'll see. So a little botanist hack is the fact that a super restore actually counts as a secondary for Samphy serums. So one, one dose of super restore can make four doses of Samphy serum, like so. And I get the full XP for it. And that is 99 herbore, like that. So quick and easy. I made 300 four dose restores into 1.2k restore dose ones. And I've just been making sound fuse. It's like a little dupe. I don't know what it is, but it's within the game rules. It's allowed. It's intended, I guess. 99 Herblore, 250 points. And that's a fuck ton of sound fuse when it can be bothered to make them all. It's a lot of spam clicking. We're now at 46,280 points. All right. And that was 91 thieving. I'm now here at the Artie Knights. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way to 99. I feel like I might as well. I might as well. It's really fast XP an hour. So I might just be here until 99 thieving. I need to get base 95s. But I am working on max too, and 99 in any skill is 250 points, so I feel like I might as well just get 99. Alright, and believe it or not, I actually decided to go all the way to 99. I am rushing max anyway, so it's something I have to do, and there it is. Reaching level 99, giving me 250 points. I think I can go get 99 farming now as well, maybe I'll be a little bit off. But I'm now at 46,530 points. The road to max is real. We can do construction, we can do, uh, what's it called, runecrafting, we have all that bank. The only things we really need to work on would be agility. Crafting, I don't really have any supplies for, and we need four more uh, prayer levels too. Fire making we've got, and smithing I think we've got. Okay, this should be 98 farming right here, just off this magic tree. Yes, it is. Okay, we're 420k XP off 99 farming, and we have mahoganies planted, and I could just plant more magics as well, so I'm gonna get this level within like the next two hours probably. Okay, I've spent the past hour, two hours, three hours, I don't know, time's a blur to be getting all of these planks made. The cash stack has been depleted, but this is 99 construction banked right there, and we're going to get started on it in just a second. I just want to go cash in 99 farming real quick. Okay, this right here should be like 220k XP, which means we only need one more of our magic trees to be alive. Okay, and this is going to be 99 farming right here. This magic tree is alive. Very nice. That gives me another 250 points and is another level that gets us closer to maxing. Okay, and this is 90 construction. I know people say that construction is one of the quickest skills to train even on the main game, but man, I just hate it, bro. I've hated it so much, I've taken breaks to go do agility. 
Imagine that. I prefer an agility over construction. Okay, and this right here should be 99 construction. The cash stack has gone from a very nice 4 mil to, well, 189k. But that is another 250 points, and we've just reached level 9 on construction. 2241 total level. We still got fire making to do, rune craft to do, bit of agility crafting, and of course, prayer is the big one. Okay, and this should be Hazel's Cult Complete, which actually gives me 5 kudos. It doesn't have any other use for me, pretty much. Now, if I go to Temple of Icol, that's another 5 kudos. And that unlocks 153 kudos for me, and it unlocks the Volcanic Mine. And it lets me finish the Hard Barrack Diary, which gives me even more XP lamps to use on smithing. Okay, and this should be Temple of Icol done, which is our final quest we need to get 153 kudos from the Varrock Museum. Finishing up the entire Varrock Diary for us. Let's go do that real quick. Okay, talk to this guy, some information about his displays. Come on, jump me up to 154 kudos. Do it for me, 149 and 154. Very nice. Now, I think I just need to go talk to the boy Orlando Smith. And there we go. A hard task in Varric done, and that's the Var hard Varric diary done for 100 points. I think we've completed it now, if I'm not mistaken. We have. Let's go cash in this stuff. Okay, good old Toby. I think this will just get me to 98 smithing, or just very close to it, if I'm not mistaken. There's a bunch of lamps I'm about to get. Let's rub this, smithing, 800k XP, and I think this will get me just close to 98 if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 35k off 98, yup, and we got a bunch of myth bars in the bank. I don't know if it'll get us all the way to 99, but it should get us pretty close. Okay, and that is 98 smithing. I do think I have enough bars in the bank to get out 99, or I'll get very, very close. And this should be 99 smithing right here, another 99 added to the collection. 2,244 total level now, and that is another 250 points. Also gives us, this, us the smithing cape. Very nice. We're at 47,480 right now. I think I'm just going to go bang out this agility level because I'm only one agility level off 99. Probably do it at Ardone because I need to get marks of grace for uh, whatever that set is called. A graceful set, that's what it's called. Let's go do that. Okay, well, I was watching EV Escape do raids and I didn't even realize. I just hit 99 agility, which is, I don't, why did I click up? I just got 99 agility. I'm done here for a little bit. But um, I just got another 250 points, 47,730 points, 99 agility. I think um, it's time to work on runecrafting. Okay, this could possibly be 99 runecrafting, but also possibly not. Oh, it wasn't. I didn't even have my XP drops on, man. I'm a noob. But yeah, we've been here for maybe four hours since I left thieving, just doing ZMI. It's probably You could have probably done it quicker, but I'm really bad and I've taken breaks and I've gotten bored because I figured out I hate runecrafting, even doing this hack method. But from 80 to 99 in about four hours. Can't really complain. And that is 99 Runecraft. We take those 250 points. I think now we're at 47,730, or is that update to anything? Oh no, okay, that's what we're already at. Oh no, 47,980, so we're almost at 48K. The next thing I need to do is 99 fire making. And when I get my fire making up, I get points from base 90s and from base 95s when I eventually hit it. I do have a bunch of teak logs in the bank, which I could use, but instead, I'm on some EHP shit again with some efficiency. I'm gonna go do mole because there is task and that's the whole reason I got the Falador diary done. Let me just uh, look at what task I'm talking about. 250 mole, 500 mole, 750 mole, and these actually drop U logs. And once I get 3000 U logs from mole, I can do my 99 fire making. So we are delaying the level a bit, but it's long-term efficiency. Okay, and that is 100 mole kills and another U logs drop. This is going a lot better than I thought. I'm on 100 kills and I've got 1.1k U logs. So I guess 3k kill or 300 kills and I should have 3k by average. I, let's see, we'll see. Okay, so I've randomly found the gem store at Tazar. It's fully stocked in every single world. It's 5.41 p.m. in New Zealand. I don't know what's going on but I'm having to abuse this right now. I need to get my 99 crafting. Okay, so unfortunately our luck at the gem store did run out. We got around 2k gems in that time though, so I can't really complain. And I think I've got myself about 1.2 mil XP in sapphires, 600k in emeralds, 350k in rubies, and 170k in diamonds. Um, it's a little, maybe about 2 mil crafting XP. I'm at 8.5 mil, that'll get me that 10.5 mil XP. Still a lot, it still helps me towards 13 mil. And we'll try and come back here again after multi at the rest of the gems. But I think we just got really lucky here. Okay, we just got another U logs drop on our 249th kill. We get 250 points for this 250th kill. Uh, we have 2.4k U logs realistically. I do want 600 more to get 99 fire making. And I do have to get 500 mole kills eventually. And also 750 mole kills eventually. And there it is, 250 points at 48,230 now. However, I'm going to stay here until I get those uh, 600 more U logs because even though it's taking a little bit longer to get the level, it saves time realistically because I have to get more mole kills anyway 
and I have to get my fire making up anyway to 25 mil. So getting more U logs from this is beneficial to us. So we're just gonna keep doing it. Okay, and that is another U logs drop putting me up to 2,900. Technically I could do one more kill and get 3,000, but this will get me close enough to the level and I have T clogs. I wanna go move on. I wanna try the gem store again for some crafting. If I can't get any gems, I'm just gonna bang out this level. Okay, so I really got blessed with a full Tazar gem store today. I've got 3,000 sapphires, 1,000 emeralds, 500 rubies, 250 diamonds. I'm 94 crafting and I don't have gold bars, so I'm just going to be straight up cutting them. And I think this should be enough to get me to 99. I really got blessed. Okay, that's 95 crafting. We're going to go all the way to 99. And this right here is 99 crafting purely from cutting gems all the way from 94. We do in fact take those. 48,480 points now, and we can now move on to 99 fire making. And that is 90 fire making, which gives us another 250 points for base level 90s. I also get base level 95s in five more levels, which is 500 points. That put us up to 48,730. 95 fire making will put me even more above. That is 95 fire making, which is another master task completed because I'm now base level 95s in everything. I am 2270 total. That puts me up to 49,230 points. And when we max, we're going to be over 50,000 points. Did run out of U logs, but we had the teaks as backup. And this is 99 fire making, putting us three levels away from max. All we have to do now is prayer. We are at 49,000. Update, please update. Update, game. Oh, there you go. 49,480 points. That was a little bit awkward. Cannot lie. But three more levels now. We're going to make our way to Myth Dragons. We need around 600 Dragon Bones. It would be quicker to do something else, but I also need a chance at the Dragon Full Home. And um, it also gives me Myth Bars for 25 mil smithing. So it's just the most efficient thing to do. 2274 total level, 49,500 points. All right, so we've done about 300 bones so far, and I've just got my 10th chewed bone drop. I want to go see if I can get a little bit lucky and get myself Dragon Full Home. So let's go check. Shit game! Mithril grapples, bro. We've been at it a while. My brain is pretty fried, but that is 624 dragon bones, which we still have to grind up into bone meal and buy buckets of slime for. But that is 99 prayer bank. We are going to do that right now. We are maxing today. We're getting these last three levels. But first, we have nine chewed bones to go. It'll get us about 30 kill count on the thingy majiggy to get the dragon full home. I'm really hoping we can get it because I'm not looking forward to coming back to myth otherwise. So let's see how this goes. Okay, let's go. We've got nine of these pyrocytes to make. Okay, this is my final chewed bone. Not looking too lucky. 30 KC on it. Like I said, it's a 1 in 82 drop rate. So, I mean, we can get lucky. It's not that far-fetched to get it, but I don't think we're getting it considering we're on our last chewed bone. It is what it is. We have to come back to mist eventually. We do need to get 25 mil prayer and 25 mil smithing, so I guess we can do it, and it'll still be nice to do. It's just slow kills that I'm not looking forward to. Anyway, let's go get this 99 prayer. Okay, and I think these are all my bones for 99 prayer grinded and put into pots of bone meal. Let's go check how many we have. I think we also bought all the buckets of slime, if I'm not mistaken. I really hope I did. Yes, I did. Okay. So we have 633 buckets of slime and we have 625 dragon bone meal. We're just going to go spam this really quickly and get ourselves these prayer levels. Okay, and this right here is going to be 98 prayer, putting us to 126 combat and giving us another 250 points. Let's just keep spam clicking until it happens. And there it is, 126 combat, 250 points earned. We're now at 49,730 points. One more prey level till we're maxed. I seem to have messed up my calculations again because I'm 66k off the level and I'm out of bones. Um, interesting. Okay, so I am 240 prey XP off this level 99 and off maxing. Now you may see a problem. I've only got 1.6 mil cash in my inventory. Which means we have duplicate rapiers in our inventory too. And I think you guys know what's about to happen. It's going to be slightly painful. But we're saying bye to the Grazi rapier. And now we have 4.6 mil cash. We already have another one, guys. Don't stress. It's an Iron Man temporary game mode. I'm probably going to be alking all my dupes eventually because I just need cash, right? For the scythe and stuff like that. And now we can buy our max capes. Okay, what's up, Mac? I'm going to borrow this bone, which is going to get me to max total. And that is max total on the Trailblazer League. Let's buy this stuff. Got some maxing, my little prodigy. Okay, and that is our first one. I'm gonna buy another one real quick. Okay, and this will be my, my second cape. What is the point of getting a max cape if you can't have an infernal max cape? We don't know. We don't want no cheese capes around here. So there we go. Nice. Let's put that on. Use that on that. And that is a max cape on Trailblazer League, as well as over 50,000 points. We're on 50,480 points. Now the first thing I want to do is give credit where credit is due. Coming into this league as a PKer, I basically knew nothing about the rest of the game. 
I first of all want to give a big shout out to Maz who's right there, who has helped me plan for this league for over a month before it started. He's been making videos and two, and he actually maxed a whole day before me despite us doing similar things. So a link to his maxing video is linked in the description. Go show him some love. Secondly, a big shout out to Eviescape, another YouTuber and a close friend of mine. I came to him about three days before the league started asking him to learn TOB. And he took me along, no questions asked, and he's the only reason why I've been able to get any kill count on the league at all in TOB. His latest video is also linked in the description, go show him some love. And that is where I'm going to end off today's video. 50k points and a max cape. We are now rank 40 on the league leaderboards, and we are only going to climb from here. Thank you guys for watching, I will see you guys later. Welcome back to my Trailblazer League series. We currently have 50,480 points and we ended off last video at rank 40. Now we're just going to be focusing on climbing even more points and securing a top page position and climbing those ranks even more. And here we are, we're banking 25 mil runecrafting right now and we have just hit 25 mil mining, which is another 250 points, putting me up to 50,730. We're going to be climbing up even more today, so let's get into it. Okay, something I forgot to do after getting my 100 mole kills was to exchange these thingamajiggies to get, uh, I, don't, I don't know, it just gives me 100 points. I don't even exactly know what I'm doing, but yeah, there I go. 100 points earned just for turning in 100 mole claws to Weissen the Gardener, putting me to 50,830. Okay, and here's another 100 point task I unlocked after doing the Karandra Diary. Haven't done it yet, but there we go. Quick and easy, 50,930. Oh shit, I just got 50 points for completing the Volcanic Mind game. Okay, and that is the Runite Ore Fragment Mine. That's the only reason I'm here. Fuck the Volcanic Mine, bro. I don't know shit about this. It took me 10 minutes to figure out how to use the water to come down here, and now it's disappearing. But that is another... Oh my god, I'm at 51,230 points. I literally woke up like an hour ago, and I just got all this shit done. That's what we like to see. I just got another pet. My fourth pet, I think. That's my fourth pet. I just got the baby ball on 482 KC, dude. I've got the Kraken, the Bandos. What's the other one I've got? The Heron, bro. Look at me go. Look at me go. Okay, and that is 500 mole kills, which is another 250 points. 250 more kills, and that's another 250. We are now at 51,480 points. And that is 750 mole completed. The final mole task I'm going to do is such easy points. We're now at 51,730 points. That is 25 million hunter XP gained, which is another 250 points, putting us up to 51,980. Three more herbivores, and we get another 250 points. So let's go finish it up. Okay, and this is my 500th Herbie KC. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I got the pet. I'm so stupid, bro. I, I forgot I had to actually click it to harvest it. Okay, but that is 500 Herbie KC, putting me up to 52,230 points. Very, very nice. We made loads of progress already in a very short amount of time. Okay, I've been doing some more agility as well, and I've hit 500 laps, which means I can make this into a maniacal monkey or whatever. And that's another 100 points, putting me at 52,330. And that is 750 Kraken done for another 250 points. We are now at 52,580 points. We do need to come back to Kraken eventually because we need more tentacles for the master task, but that is nice points right there. Okay guys, the moment I have been dreading. Our gear is looking a little bit better than last time, but today we go back to the bird. It is time to go back to Armadale and look for this Armadale chestplate. If you guys have been watching my videos from the start, you guys know I have 500 kill count there with three hilts, three helms, and nine skirts. It is a one in 35 drop rate for any of the armor pieces. So to say we're dry is, you know, an understatement, but we need the armadillo chest plate to finish the armor set. It is 500 points and it's just such a big boost. We need to go do it. It's also very good for the inferno toss we need to do. So I don't know, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I honestly don't have my hopes up, but we gotta do it. Let's go see how it goes. I'm. I'm at a loss for words. 10th Arminal Chain Skirt, 516 KC. Honestly, I'm not pissed. I've, I've been, you know, I haven't been here for a couple weeks now. It's not that deep, but 10 Armor Chain Skirts, man. I'm eating crackers right now, dude. Fourth Hilt, fourth Hilt, 537 KC. Still no chest plate. Uh, I'm, I'm still not really that angry, to be honest. I'm not that pissed off right now. I'm, I think I'm hallucinating. I might be a little bit delusional. I don't know. I'm gonna just shoot this bird until I got the chest plate. It's whatever. Oh my god, I got it! I got it! I got the chest plate, dude. I got the fucking chest plate. I got the fucking chest plate. Pick it up and get the fuck out of here, dude. We're good. We never have to come back to this place. 565 KC. We never have to come back. 
Am I recording? I really hope I'm recording. Okay, I am. Thank God, bro. Thank God. 500 points for equipping a full armadillo armor set. 53,000 points. I never have to go back to that stupid bird. Okay, and this is 33 sire kill counts. I'm hoping it'll give us an unsired. Nope. Okay, so the drop rate for an unsired is 1 in 33. I know it's not exact and that's not how it works. But yeah, I'm now officially dry after the next kill for an unsired. Let's go. 41 KC first unsired. Dagger, bludgeon piece, even a jar, bro, I'll be happy with. Bludgeon claw, let's go. 250 points for that shit as well. 53,330. Alright, oh my god. Oh! Okay, well that's 67 kill count at, um, at a sire. I kind of forgot that happened. But we are now over drop rate again for the second unsired. Alright, and this is going to be my 100th kill count at sire, which is 250 points in itself. Now, as I said before, the drop rate of an unsired is 1 in 33. And since that unsired we got on 41 KC, haven't got another one since. Um, we do need to do 500 sires eventually, so it's not that deep. Are we gonna get one here? No, we're getting a hundred. We're getting some diamonds. Two fifty points right there. But yeah, that puts us up to fifty three thousand five hundred and eighty. It's nice. It's nice points. But by now, we should have gone two more unsires, which means we could have got an Abbey dagger, which is two fifty points. We could have got a jar, which is two hundred fifty points, or we could have finished our bludgeon, which is also two hundred fifty points, obviously. Now, not the worst thing to go dry here because there's a task for two hundred fifty sires and five hundred sires. But I'm trying to fly up in points right now, so I'm hoping I can get lucky and actually hit the drop rate for once. Because 1 in 33, I was hoping to have two more unsired by now. 1 for 1 KC, I got my second unsired. Times for the drop rate, but we take those. Anything that's not a whip, bro, just don't give me a whip. I got a bludgeon spine, okay, that's my second piece. Second piece of the bludgeon, nice. Okay, another unsired, let's go, 160 kill count. At 165 kill count, we should have had 5 unsired as per the drop rate. This is our third one right now. But if we get a dagger or complete our bludgeon, I'll be happy. Or a jar even. I just want points, bro. Let's go see what happens. Okay, so bludgeon pieces are actually extremely common. So I guess I would prefer a dagger or a jar because I'm going to be here anyway. And I'm going to get that bludgeon piece like fairly quickly, I assume, for the unsired. So a jar or dagger I'll be happy with. But obviously, if I complete the bludgeon, I'll be happy. If I get a whip, I'm mad. Bludgeon accent. Okay, that is my bludgeon completed as far as I'm aware because I have three bludgeon pieces. I don't even know how you make it, so let's figure that out. Okay, wow, dude. There's this big little snail. I don't know what this is, but I have now got myself a bludgeon. I don't know what this dialogue is about. I don't even know what's going on here. I just want to wear my bludgeon. There we go. An elite task done. We're now on 53,830 points. Equip an abyssal bludgeon. I don't know what this book is for, but I guess I'll take it. Now, the problem is I think I can just keep getting more bludgeon pieces when I get more on sirens because I still want a dagger and I still want the jar, so I don't know how this is going to go. I am going to finish the task, however, and get to 250 kills at least. Oh my god, bro. I think the ballista might be best here. Not going to lie. I think I've just wasted so much time, 160 kills. I just wanted to test out the ballista real quick to see how it do, and it is disgusting. I really messed up, I think, not gonna lie. Okay, the Ballista is definitely better. That's a one hit. I've just one hit it, bro. The Ballista is so good for this, and I haven't been using it for 160 kills. I've only just randomly thought about it because of my spec relic. Bro, I've just done it in one go. What? I've just done it all down in one go. Nah, bro, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. So for my first 160 kill count at Sire, I didn't really know what to do because you can't use shadow spells on this because, well, I don't have the desert. So to get it down, I was using a trident, and then to get the little respiratory systems down, I was using a trident too. And never would I get it down in one go, I'd always have to do two, and sometimes maybe even three if my RNG was bad. Now, I randomly decided to bring out the ballista because I was like, hey, I have a spec relic. A ballista spec's only 20%. And even without the spec relic, honestly, the ballista is really strong here. You can see I managed to get a one down on all the respiratory systems using the ballista and the dragon javelins. And honestly, if I had done this for my first 160 kill count, probably would have found it a lot more enjoyable. But regardless, I still have to do loads more kills. So this is a very, very nice setup to find. And if you guys are doing something similar and you guys haven't been doing this, feel free to try it out. Another unsired 178 KC. Could this be the dagger or the jar? I'm thinking this is another bludgeon piece, not gonna lie. We've discovered this new method, which has been amazing. We've got these kills so much quicker. But the bludgeon pieces are like like 50%, I'm pretty sure, like, is it is the 50% chance that you get a bludgeon piece. Come on, come on, give me a dagger. Give me a dagger. Please just give me a dagger. Abyssal Orphan! I have just got a fifth pet. I have just got a fifth pet on the league. 
Oh my god, dude. I have five pets on a temporary Iron Man private server. What's up, little guy? Okay, and that is 231 kill count, which is the drop rate for seven unsired because they're 1 in 33 on here. And I have only seen four. I haven't seen one in a bunch of kills now. Um, we got to carry on. We got maybe, I don't know, 30 more kills on our task. When we hit 250 kills, we get 250 more points. I was hoping to honestly get a dagger at least before 250 points because the next task is at 500. And that is a little bit more grinding to do. Don't know whether I'll do it, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Okay, 239. I just got an unsired, bro. I was just complaining about it, and I got an unsired. Come on, bro. Just give me a dagger or a jar, please. Yes, let's go! A dagger! Let's go! 250 points, let's go! 54,000. Okay, and this is 250 kill count at the Sire, which is another 250 points, putting me up to 54,330. We are flying. I think the only uh, Sire toss left is probably 500. I also do need to get a jar, but I can get a jar from pretty much anywhere like i can get it from kraken and grotesque there's a bunch of other stuff i need to do i will come back here for 500 sire kills i'm just running low on javelins i do so I ran out of dragon javelins i think i'm gonna go finish up my jad toss because i only need two more for another 250 points so i might as well just go get that now so another 250 point toss that a lot of the competition has on me is the sub three minute nightmare kill now the only reason i haven't got this yet is because i'm bad at pvm and i don't know how to do the nightmare luckily c engineer only trails hootie and callum managed to come in for the carry for me to get these 250 points eventually i still have to learn how to do the nightmare because there is lots of points locked behind it for example equipping a nightmare staff with any orb on it is 500 points equipping the full inquisitor's armor set is 500 points and i think just getting any drop in general is like 250 points as well so there's a couple thousand points locked behind the nightmare so i will need to learn it eventually but for now we managed to get a two minute 42 nightmare kill and i'm very happy with that all right and that is 30 fight caves done for 250 points we are now at 54,830, if i'm not mistaken very nice we're going to try and push for this 55k just now I think this might be my first hard reward casket from clues because I haven't really done clues until this update. Yup. Oh my god. And that is 150 points right there. Oh no. It's, dude, I got hyped over nothing. That's 250 point toss right there. That's two medium toss. I got the unholy blessing at, which is a unique item and I've completed a hard clue scroll. Very nice. I got an MSB from that too. Cool. And now we are at 54,930 points. Nice. Okay. Another hard casket. Ooh, a dark cavalier with some little fashion scape and the magic shortbow and the longbow combo. Cool. Oh my god, what did I do? I got 200. Dude, I got 200 points from that, bro. I got. I don't even know what I got, but I got 200 points. Bro, I'm at 55,130. What's good? Okay, another hard casket. What are we saying? Oh, uh, we got a pirate's hat and some muscle harm teleports and an unholy blessing. Nice. And that is a medium task done for filling three hard clue collection slots. I didn't even know that was a thing. That is 50 points now, putting me up to 55,230 points. And with that final clue task completed, it put us at 52,230 points and put us right under the top page at rank 26 on the league points leaderboards. We haven't been near the top page since our armor will grind over two weeks ago now. At this point, since then, we've managed to max, complete the armor set, climb up thousands of points and hundreds of ranks, and now the top page is right within our grasp again. We end today's video at rank 26 with over 55,000 points, and I can't see us not reaching the top page in the next video. These videos do take tens of hours of progress to make, and I'm pretty much non-stop grinding away to get them out as quickly as possible, while also not missing out on any of my personal progress within the game. As you guys can see, I'm literally at Kraken right now trying to get those 10 Kraken tents. So if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like and subscribing to the channel, it does wonders to support it and I would appreciate it loads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. We ended off the last video as rank 26 on the leaderboard, one rank away from top page with just over 55,000 points. In today's episode, we want to break through that top page barrier, secure our position for the rest of the league, and keep working on climbing those ranks. Because I'm not going to lie to you, I have rank 1 in my sights. Now, we're going to get a lot done today, but first of all, I want to thank you guys for 80,000 subscribers. A lot of you guys probably didn't expect me to do too well this leagues, but I think I've I think I've done pretty well to say the least, and I think a lot of you guys have been enjoying the content, so I really should appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me. And without further ado, let's get into the content. So we saved ourselves some time on this 100 point task to wear a full graceful set as the max cape actually counts as the graceful cape. And this is my first grotesque kill, I think. Yeah, I have not searched up a guide or anything on this. I've just sort of winged it. And I guess it's easy because it's the leagues. And that is 100 points right there. Granite dust. Oh, I thought that was like a something good. It's just granite dust. But that is 100 points for defeating the grotesque guardians, putting me up to 55,000 
330 points. And that is the Granite Ring. That is 100 points right there. I am at 77 kills and 23 more kills. That is also another 100 points. Let's whack that on. That is a hard task done. 250 kills is 250 points, but I don't know if I'm bothered to do that yet. If I get the core for the Guardian Boots, that's 250 points as well. So I hope I pull that in the next 23 kills. Okay, and that is 100 kills here at the Grotesque. I need that core. I didn't get it, unfortunately, but that puts me up to 55,630 points. I need to get this core. I'm debating whether to do another 150 kills right now. Honestly, I don't think I will. It's kind of tiresome, but I will probably come back here later in this video. Okay, we're back. 872k cash. We just did 13 to 25 mil thieving all at the RDNI. It only took us about four hours. Could have done it quicker. I think the best XP rate is 4.2 mil XP an hour, but I'm very bad at the game. So we got it done in four hours. We're now at 55,000. 880 points and if i am not mistaken let me just refresh and make sure i'm not telling you guys lies i am now rank 25 on the league points leaderboard am i mistaken i'm not mistaken let's go that is 25 mil fire making xp obtained i just wanted to get it out the way quick 25 mils of free points putting me up to 56,130 points very very nice what the f okay i got it thank god dude okay that was the freest 100 points of my life thank you man. holy fuck 56,230 and I got 33 dragon javelin heads, bro. That's Sire of Casey right there. First kill of this task, and I got a Kraken 10. I'm at six now. I only need four more. Three more, and that's 500 points, G. Okay, we've basically been at the Kraken a while now. We are on 1250 kill count, and we only still have seven uh, Kraken tentacles out of the 10. It'll take us some time to get those three more, but we have gotten ourselves 25 mil mage here at the Kraken. And this puts us up to, what, 56,480 points? which now puts me on rank 22 on the League Points leaderboards, right under the boy Maz. It's only catch 50 red chins. I thought it was catch 100. That's 100 points, bro. I thought I had to do 100 of the fuckers. All right, this is my 10th beginner glue casket. I've decided I'm just going to stack them up. I need to finish the collection log for it, which is 16 items. So obviously, I'm not going to finish it in one clue or like 10 clues. So I'm just going to stack them up and open them all at once when I feel like it. Okay, we have about eight mossy keys to use here. We need the essence or whatever to create the staff. And it also gives me beginner clues. So we're just going to be doing both of those and using all eight keys. Hopefully we get the essence. Oh, didn't get- Oh, we got another mossy key though, that's nice. I think I might just leave my crystal here while I go do the clues. Oh, let's go! 19 KC and we got the essence, bro. Very, very nice. That's 100 points right there. That's what we like to see. Okay, wielding this should give us 100 points, putting us up to 56,680. Very, very nice. We're at 22 clues now. Now that we've got this, we're gonna move over to Hill Giants for the last three tasks and see if we can get any giant keys. And that is 250 league points for completing 200 Slayer tasks, putting me up to 56,930. Let me hop world. I think I am now officially rank 20 on the league points leaderboards. Don't wanna misspeak, so let me hit the reef bash real quick. Yes, we are now rank 20 on the league point leaderboards with 56,930 points. Okay, let's see what these 27 caskets have for us. Um, sandwich lady hat, don't know what that does, cabbages, black pickaxe, bronze arrows, uh, this is not looking too hot, leather van braces, steel full helm, uh, shoulder parrot, I guess that's cool, Flo frog slippers, I think that's cool, oh, we just diff uh, did a, what's it called, a medium task, fill five beginner clue collection log slots, nice, cool. Uh, oh my god, I got a rune scimitar ornament kit for Zamorak, nice, that's cool. Okay, and that is another medium task for gaining 10 unique items from beginner clue scrolls. That puts me up 100 points from just opening all this black robe from that. And that's our last one, 17 cabbages and 12 shrimp. Cool. Bro, I just got the jar of dirt. It didn't even show up as a drop, so I had no idea I got it, bro. Imagine if I lost it. That's 250 points right there to put this in my house, I think. I don't know what to do with it, but jar, 250 points. I know that as a fact. Okay, and putting this jar of dirt into this boss display gives me 250 points, putting me up to 57,280 now, if I'm not mistaken, this puts me up to rank 18 on the leaderboards. Let me hit a quick refresh on the leaderboards. We flow. Yep, and that jar of dirt puts us as rank 18 on the league points leaderboards. We've flown up a lot today. So something I didn't even know was a task was equipping an ornament kit item. So I assume that's going to be it. Yeah, it is. That's a hard task. Equipping an ornament kit item putting me up to 57,380 points. Let's go, I actually just got so hyped up. Oh my God, the black turmillion core. I don't know how you pronounce it, but this allows me to bring the guardian boots. It's a one in three, three, three drop rate. I was so scared I wasn't gonna get it before 250 kills. That's 250 points when I make it with the bandos boots into the guardian boots. Thank God, bro. Thank God. 
Guardian Boots, wear them, and that is 250 points, putting me on to 57,630 points. Okay, and this should be 25 mil fletching. I've just sent about 10 Theater of Bloods and seen back to back to back to back to back. Okay, I saw five back to back purples. I didn't get a single one of them, but that is 25 mil fletching, putting me up to 57,880 points. Very, very nice. I just got an elite clue skull, though. Oh shit, I actually got a purple. Thank fucking god. Come on. Yes, I finally got it, bro. I finally got an Avernic. Let's go. That's 250 points, G. 58,130 now. I did get 73 Grammy Toad Flex. Okay, we're taking a quick break from Tob, so we're going to be working towards the Hill Giant Club as well as stacking up a bunch of beginners to open so that we can hopefully fill that collection log. Okay, and that is Dwarf Cannon completed, which means we can get the Dwarf Multi Cannon. We have a lot of GP to use it, and it's actually going to help us a lot with our tasks on Hill Giants and Smoke Devils for collecting loads of clues. Okay, and that is setting up the Dwarf Cannon, which should be 50 points right here, putting me up to 58,180. Let's go farm some clues. Okay, I've got 14 beginner caskets purely just from the Hill Giants, and I've got 7 giant keys. So I'm just going to go do them all. Also, the beginner clues that come from them, which are 100% drop. See if we can get ourselves our club from these 7 kills, and also just stack up the caskets. And if we don't get the club, and we don't finish the beginner collection log, which we probably won't, we'll just keep carrying on. Okay, what's this kill got in store for us? 2k XP, drop off that as well. Ah, uh, clue skull, beginner, runefall helm. Okay, that's my final Obor kill for now. Hill Giant Cob. Damn, it gave me another giant key though, so we're not done yet. Okay, my final Obor kill for now. Any chance of a club or another giant key? No, but another beginner clue scroll. Okay, we've got 18 caskets here to open. We didn't get to finish all the clues we've got. Let's see if we can fill up this collection log. As you can see, quite a few dupes. And if we get to 16, that's a lot of points we get there. Uh, okay, that's a unique. Mole slippers, that's a unique. Mole slippers, that's a unique. That's not a unique. Blue wizard robe, I don't think is. I don't think that is. Oh, okay. Fill 10 beginner clue collection logs with the rune scimitar guthix. That's 100 points right there. A hard task. Nice. Um, Okay, I think I just got two uniques there. I got the Guthix one as well. I'm not sure if I've already... Oh, yeah, I just got that one. Jester Cape. Demon Feet. Leather Board. Okay, I'm just going to drop everything that's useless real quick. Open two more. Okay, so we managed to get a hard toss out of that. And Collection Log, still 11 out of 16. We are getting a bunch of dupes. But that does put us up to 58,280 points. Eighth Kraken. There we go. One more. One more. All right, that is our ninth Kraken Tentacle on 1,513 kill count. Our 10th one comes from the tentacle we have because we can just dissolve it into a tent. But obviously I'm not just going to dissolve it and cash in the points now. I'm going to use the tent up for what it's good for. So it's like 500 ghost points I have and I can redeem that whenever I want. For 58,000, what's my math here? 780 I think I'll be on. Okay, I'm back at Hill Giants now just working on beginners as well as the Hill Giant Club. I've only got one giant key and 10 beginner caskets just from the normal Hill Giant drops so far. Okay, so I've collected six giant keys, which are guaranteed to drop me beginner clue scrolls, and I've also just got 18 caskets just from killing the hill giants themselves. We're going to send these six keys, see if we can get ourselves that hill giant club, as well as just complete all the beginners that it gives us. Any chance of a club? Nope, but we'll go do this clue scroll. Okay, our final kill for now. And okay, we've got to do this clue scroll real quick. All right, 24th casket, let's get to opening of these. Okay, we have 20 more clues to do. This is our collection log so far. Pretty unlikely that we're going to get these five items in these 24 clues, but we'll just try our best and we'll see if we rack up any points from any other milestones. I haven't really looked at the clue toss. I just know that there's a lot of them. Okay, that's a oak longbow. Leather body. Nothing from that. Nothing from that. Monk robes top T I might already have. Gothic's kit I know for a fact already have. Wizard hat. I'm not sure if that's something. Um, these really haven't been the best so far. Jesus Christ, Amulet Defense trimmed. I think that's a new unique. And I just got it back to back. Black robe. Um, open, black robe. Herring. Cow, cabbage, cabbage. Steel full home. Okay, these have been some pretty terrible clues. Not gonna lie. Okay, we got the defense amulet three times. Let's see what our collection log is saying. We're now at 13 out of 16. Okay, so that was new and that was new. We're still looking for the Sandwich Lady top and bottom and the Rune Skimitar ornament kit, the Sardoman variety. 78 beginner clues completed. Okay, I'm on 13 caskets and 8 keys, so I decided this would be a good time to go finish up some kills, hopefully pull the club and get some more caskets as well. Okay, Casey number 16 I think we're at? Nope. 
Okay, final KC. Unfortunately, no club, club, no club today at 25 KC. Okay, and we are on 19 caskets. Let's open all these guys up. Okay, here's our collection log for the beginner clue scrolls. All we need is the sandwich lady top and bottom, and the rune scimitar ornament kit for Saradomen. Doubt we're gonna get them in 19 clues. We're probably gonna get very unlucky, but the hope is we get them in three. Hard leather body. Oh god. Demon feet, monk robes top. That's two and one, but that's not anything we need. Not anything we need. Are we even gonna get a single item? Monk robes top we've already got. That's a we've got a dupe set of that now. Oh, not looking good. Really not looking good at all. Let's drop some useless items. This is this is uh This is a little bit tragic, not gonna lie. Zamorak. Don't need that. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Didn't get a single item for that. We're still at 13 out of 6. Okay, so I thought I could open these caskets on Enchana. Turns out you can't. Don't know why, but it is what it is. Um, we are looking for the Sandwich Lady top, bottom, and the Rune Skimitar Sar Domen variety. Please get me some luck. Nope. Mole slippers again. Black robe. Not looking too helpful, ladies and gentlemen. Not looking too helpful at all. Shoulder parrot again. Oh dear. Depression. 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 Depre- What was that? Gothics! Oh dear. The grind is, uh, the grind is real right now. And that's 19 caskets open without a single item I needed. Okay, that's 34 kill counts. Still no club. Let's finish off this clue and open up these caskets. Okay, and that is the 20th casket. Let's get opening. Um, nothing, 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 nothing. Demon feet, mole slippers in one, nothing, nothing. Okay, and that is gained 35 unique items, which does give us 100 points because I guess we've just gotten a bunch more items. But still no sandwich late, frog slippers, uh, wizard hat, Jesus. Frog slippers and monk robes T again, monk robes T again, longbow, demon feet. Um, I don't think I can open any more stuff yet. Okay, and we've made absolutely no progress. Sandwich Lady Hat again. Okay, I've got another 16 caskets on only four keys this time, but we're just gonna send them real quick and see what we get. Okay, and that is 20 caskets. Let's get to opening. We still have the same three items to go. Nope. Nope. Bare feet once again. Nope. Nope. Sandwich Lady Bottom. Okay, okay. Only two more to go. Thank God. Nope. Nope. Frog Slippers. Nope. Uh, not looking too good. Zamorak, that's not the one we need. Nope, nope. Oh, come on, just give me one more item, bro. That's all I'm asking. Not two, just one. Last casket. Okay, so I did a bunch of kills while I still had a clue in my bank, which is why I have 13 giant keys and only nine caskets, because not gonna lie, it took me a while to realize, but we're just gonna send these 13 keys real quick and also do all the clues that come with them. Okay, 39 KC, which is the drop rate of the club. Still no club, however. And let's go do these clues. 51 kill count, our final key for now. Unfortunately, still no club. We have 15 caskets, maybe 16 if I can get this task done. Unfortunately, we would have like 21, 22, but we got so many Alcarid tasks, which we just can't do. And that is another Alcarid task. We really got unlucky with this batch of clues. Let's just open these 15 caskets, see if we can get our final two pieces. Really doubt it, considering our luck so far, but we'll see. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my god, another Gothics one. Nope, 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 nope. Absolutely nothing. 15 more caskets, 171. This is gonna go to 186. Please, man, please. Nope, 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 nope. 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 I hate this game. So, not gonna lie, doing that many beginning clues kind of fried my brain a little bit, like PTSD from Armadale sort of thing, so I went over to Fossil Island Wyverns. I'm using my Bone Crusher here to AFK my 25 mil prayer, while also looking for the Ancient Wyvern Shield. I think this is the only way I'm gonna get both done, and it's not something I'm really gonna sweat out, because it's just a matter of time, it's, very, it's a very rare drop, so I might as well just sit here and camp it with Restores, 
and a Bone Crusher and wait to get the drop. And that's how I'm going to get my 25 mil prayer. And I think around on my 5,000th kill, something around that, maybe close to 6,000, I actually ended up getting the Ancient Wyvern Shield, which is very, very nice because it's another 250 points for us. All right, we've got 16 caskets and four more keys. Collection log, not looking great. Let's go send these keys and then open all the caskets. Steel Axe or Iron Axe? Oh, God, okay. Not looking good. Cabbages, cabbages. Okay, okay, that's the Sardone one. Well, that's the one we needed. Now, all we need is the Sandwich Lady Top, if I'm not mistaken. Am I correct? I'm correct. All right, 16 clues to get the Sandwich Lady Top. Come on. Bare feet. Nope. Okay, I got overhyped for nothing. We're not getting this thing. Uh, more mole slippers. Leather cowl, iron pickaxe, another amulet defense trimmed, bare feet, oh god. Come on, last one? Nope. Okay, one more item, we've now done 209 clues. Okay, I've decided I'm just gonna open the caskets as they come, because if I- oh god, monk ropes, oh my god. Uh, because if I get the sandwich lady top is what I'm looking for, then, you know, it can be done for them. So I'm just gonna open them as they come and do the keys as they come. Any hill giant clubs? Nope. Alright, 70 kill count at the little giant. Hill giant club, let's go! Okay, we no longer have to do hill giants for our beginner clues. We can do moss giants, I think it would be better to do. This is 100 points right here. I'm so happy we don't have to come back to this grind. Obviously, the beginners themselves have been pretty aids, but we have to do 600 beginners anyway. That puts me up to 58,730 points on 70 KC hill giant club. You know, a little, a little bit over the drop rate, but nothing compared to Maz, so can't complain too much. Nope. 222 bronze arrows, 85 GP. 242, some runes. 249 for more cabbages. 290th casket. Nope. Cabbages. Put another shoulder pair. Useless. I'm about to get six hour logged from clues, and I still haven't completed the log. I've been doing one item for six hours more, obviously, considering how long I've been working on it, but still. Okay, and this is going to be clue number 300, halfway to 600. I spent the last four days of my life doing this. My mental health is in the bin once again, armored all over again. Any sandwich lady tops? No, no sandwich lady tops. Casket 310. <sighs> okay, so it's safe to say I've gotten a little bit frustrated with my clue grind, considering I've been there for four days, and I was at rank 16, I think, when I started, and I'm now about rank 30. If I had started something else, probably could be in the top 10 or top 5, but it is what it is. Anyway, after around 300 clues, I'm very burnt, so I went and killed some Myth Dragon, stacked up some Chewed Bones, hoping I could pull the Dragon Full Home so we don't ever have to come back here, and at least that's something I can tick off my list. I've got a bunch of inventory, and I have a bunch in the bank too, like 24 or so, so let's hope we can pull this Dragon Full Home. It's a 1 in 82 drop rate, and we've already done like 30 of them. Okay, last bone of this inventory. Not the best loot in my inventory. As you can see, there's no red full home. Is there going to be one in this last one? Come on. For the boys. For the boys. No. A super attack mix. All right, let's go do the other bones. Okay, and this is our last chewed bone completely for the time being. 53 KC. Yeah, it's not great. It really isn't, but it is what it is. We'll get back to the clues, I guess. A uh, super attack mix and an anti-fire mix. Come on. Pharynx. I don't know why I expected any different. Okay. Shrimp. Cabbages. More Lawrence. What are we saying? Sandwich Lady Top. We got it. We finally got it. 326 clues in and we've got it. I sound a lot more excited than I should be. Honestly, this is the longest 250 points of my life. But we finally got it. Fill every beginner clue collection log slot. You know, you'd think... The beginner of it would make it an easy task, you think you'd get it done quickly, but I have killed 5,000 Dark Wizards, 10,000 Hill Giants, and done 326 beginner clues for 250 points, putting me up to 58,980, 20 off uh, 59,000. Obviously I've still got those Krakens, but I have dropped a lot of ranks because of this. Finally done, however, so can't complain too- well, no, I can't complain, I will complain, but we're done. For context, here is my collection log after finishing the- whatever this is called. I have eight, nine, four, six, seven, a bunch of items of everything, and then one sandwich lady top. Beginner clues, very misleading name. Easy clues, however, actually easy. We're gonna move on to them because it's a free 500 points, trust me. 
Okay, I just got another imbued heart from a superior banshee, come to think of it, with the clue scroll as well. I've already got 13 caskets. The shit is going really quickly. A lot quicker than the beginners, because I've been here less than an hour and I've got 13 caskets. Probably not going to record every imbued heart drop. I will record when I get the eternal gem eventually. But yeah, these are going to be common. I'm going to be killing so many superior monsters that I'm going to get a bunch of them. But we'll just see. Okay, and that is my 20th casket. I'm pretty sure that the final, like the 250 point task for this is to get 50 unique items. Now there is like 300 unique items, which is why all the clues, apart from beginners, are actually very good to do for points. You'd think that the title beginner clues would be non-misleading, but 326 clues later, that there it is. But yeah, there's a, okay, no, there's 131 items. Either way, there's a bunch of uniques to get, so should be fine here. There's a bunch of tasks on the way to that as well. So let's just open all these caskets real quick. I guess that inventory is fine. And let's see what 20 caskets gets us to. Um, I th think that's a unique. Black plate legs, black axe, unique. Okay, I've already got fill five, which is 50 points right there. Uh, black helm, what is that? Armadale rope top. A bunch of black items, holy shit. I'm pretty sure those are meant to be rare, bro, but I'm getting loads of them. Okay, that's gained 10 unique items from 50 clues. That's another 50 points. I did real quick. Open, open. I got a black plate body. I got a ham joint. I got, oh my goodness. Um, okay, so that is all my things done. Let us look at my collection log real quick, wherever it is. I got the Master Scroll Book, what? Yo, that's sick, I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm on only 13 obtained out of 24 clues. I thought it was a lot more, not gonna lie. Okay, 20 more caskets here. Here's the current collection log. We have 13 out of 131 items, and I guess we have a little bit more uniques because we have some doubles. Let's just open this all up and see what we get. Another Bandos Rope Top. I think that's our second Black Battle Axe. I don't think that's a unique. Um, I don't know if any of those are uniques. I don't know if that's unique. Those are definitely uniques, I'd say. Those are trout. That's a unique. Honorable blessing, I'd say, is a unique. That's probably unique. Uh, let's just drop the stuff that's useless so far. We're stacking up some purple sweets. Kind of nice. Oh, and I got the black axe, which I need for other easy clues. That's really good. Um, okay, so that's gained 35 unique items from easy clues. Okay, so that's 100 points right there. Very nice. Um, drop this, drop that. We'll pick some stuff up back when we need to. Um, so we're getting a lot of fire lighters. Black shield, bronze plate legs, I assume those are both uniques. Okay, and that's fill 20 easy clue collection log slots as well, which is another 100 points. I do go to black wizard robe G, that's nice. Um, let me just drop, okay, that's everything done. So, let's look at the collection log now. 21 out of 131, we need to fill 50 uh, things. I think this might take me close to 100 clues to finish these last 250 points, but we're now at 59,280, and remember, we still have that kraken. Okay, we have 30 more easy clues in here. Somehow, if we manage to get 30 uniques from this, uh, like uniques uniques that I haven't gone before, then that's a task done. Obviously, that's probably not likely. I think I'll have to go to around 100, maybe 90. Let's see what we can get ourselves. Um, I don't know if that's unique. I don't know. I don't know what I've got, to be honest. Let's just open all of this. Blue skirt trimmed. Interesting. Blue elegant skirt. Okay, that's three different things in one in, in one clue. That's nice. That's nice. I'm on a magic bronze plate. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why I've done that. Bronze plate legs. G. Some of this. Okay. What are we gonna drop here? Um. Let's just drop some useless shit. Black wizard robe. G. I think I've already got that. Blue wizard robe trimmed. Nice. Um. Okay. Was anything on the on the ground? Okay. There's some stuff on the ground. Let's see what our collection log says. 37 out of 131, so we need 13 more things. Honestly, not that bad, that's pretty good. That's 37, 74, it's like, oh, every two caskets or so I get a new unique item, that's pretty good. Currently on 74 easy clues completed. We have 16 right here, which will bump us up to 19. We're looking for 13 items, probably not that, for 13 unique items, the so stuff we haven't got already. Probably not gonna happen, but could, so we're just gonna try. Um, I think that's new. That's not any uniques. I think that might be new, not sure. That's definitely not new. I don't know if a powdered wig is uh, unique. That is new. That's new. Uh, okay, I just opened that. That I don't think is new. Iron plate skirt T. I already have one. Wizard robe T. I'm pretty sure I already have. Lumberyard teleports isn't a unique. I'm not a magic. Black plate body H3. I'm pretty sure I already have. Bob's black shirt. Okay, interesting. Interesting. What are we at? 44 out of 131 and we've done 90 clues so about half yeah 45 is half of 90 so it's about for every two easy clues i get one new unique it's pretty not bad at all 
Oh shit, okay, equip a full gilded or trimmed wizard set, 100 points. 59,380, fair play. Okay, these nine easy clues are gonna get me up to 100. Here's the collection log, we need six more items from nine clues, not very likely, but we'll see. Armadale rope top, I think we've already got. Black pickaxe, already got. Bob's black shirt, already got. Oh no. Um, iron plate skirt tea, we've already got. And a lot of magic tea, I don't know if we've got that, to be fair. Bronze plate body and bronze plate skirt. Okay, let's see where we're at now. Um, 45, dude. We only got one from that. That is not great. Well, you gotta do some more clues. Okay, I have five more easy clues to do. I'm just gonna open them now just in case I have five items waiting in them. I doubt it because that is nothing. That is nothing. I think I've already got that. And I think I've actually gotten nothing from that. I think I'm slot 45. Yeah, that is terrible. Wow. Jesus. Let's keep going, I guess. Okay, five more caskets. Let's see if we can get a little bit luckier with this. Still five items to go. I don't think that's a unique. I've That's a duplicate. That's a unique, I'm pretty sure. None of that is a unique. And I don't think any of that's a unique either. We're at 46. Jesus. Okay, five more caskets for five more slots. Doubt, considering. Or four more slots, actually. Come on. Okay, that's new. Rainbow, that's definitely new. This is nothing. This is nothing. This is nothing, and I think I already have that, if I'm not mistaken. 47, okay, yeah, five more colors and I've got up to 47. Okay, three more caskets. Oh my god, that's a lot of things in one. I don't know if that's any uniques, though. I feel like that's uniques, though. Am I at 49? Oh my god, I am. Uh, that's not a unique. And that is 50 easy collections log slots done. Wow, that was a really nice chest on our first opening. That was 250 points right there, putting us up to 59,630. That is the easy collection log and easy clues completely can finish for now. We have to do medium, hard, and elite still, and obviously a couple masters, but there's no way we can finish all the master tasks, I'm pretty sure. But that is a very nice amount of points. Okay, so what we stacked up a while back is actually the 10 crack and tentacles, which can be used to enhance this trident, which is a master task. Now we got this towards the start of the video. I have no idea how long this video is gonna be because of all the clues we've done. We got super unlucky on the beginners and stuff like that, but I don't know exactly how this works. Do I just give her 10 krakens? Um, give them to her. Okay. Now give trident. Does that do anything? That is the master task to enhance a trident of the seas for 500 points, putting me up to 60,130 over 60,000 for the first time. Now, after refreshing the high scores, after handing in that master task, I am now rank... 17 on the leaderboards with 60,130 points and I've only just now completed the Castle Wars task which actually gives me a free 50 points putting me onto 60,108. So there's actually been a bunch of easy points that I've been sitting on for a while and I don't know why I have and doing them actually puts me up even more ranks. Catching a butterfly got me 50 points. I just went to what's it called Dark Mayor and Pet Frank which gave me 10 points. I killed a ghast which gave me 10 points. I killed an experiment which gave me 10 points. That's all just added up to get me to 60,270 points. Also, a Brudu shield is pretty much 50 points free, which I haven't done yet, so I just went and got that done very quickly. Wielding this now will give me 50 points right there, I'm pretty sure, with the tribal mask. Okay, that was a little bit awkward. I had to wear both at the same time. Giving me 50 points and putting me up to 60,320 points. Now, from rank 17, I've gone to rank 15 on the leaderboards. Top 15 for the first time in this league, and we're only going to climb from here. I'm hoping we can get to top 10 in the next episode. Now, these videos do take me tens of hours to make. I think this video took me close to 100 hours of total game time to make. So if you guys have been enjoying the videos, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you are new so you never miss a future upload. I will see you guys later. Welcome back to another episode of my Trailblazer League series. In the last episode, we went from rank 26 to 15 on the leaderboard. And today, we have an even bigger goal. We want to get ourselves into the top 10. Let's get into it. Final chewed bone, putting us to 67 KC. Clearly, I just don't know how to do mass, to be honest, but still no still no dragon full home. This is not going great, uh, but it is what it is. We got some mithril grapples and rune vaults, I guess. There's a lucky impling. I need to get to it. I need to get to it before anyone else does. Bro. No way. I need to get to this lucky impling. I need to get to it. Come to me. Come to me. Please. Oh my fucking god. That guy sees it too. He's gonna get it. Oh, he's not even going for it. Push through, push through. He's just wished me good luck, dude.
TY bro, TY bro. Oh my god, thank you. Shout out to this guy, dude. He just entangled it for me. Thank you so much. I don't even know this guy, but big shout out to A to Zia. I just saw a lucky impling and I started panicking because I thought he was going to steal it from me. But little did I know, I guess he's not 99 Hunter and he just entangled it to me. Shout out to you so much, man. Big fucking respect, bro. Big fucking respect. And that's a Guthix cloak from it as well. I don't know if you guys caught that, but I actually did try and catch it once with my butterfly net on and I didn't catch it. Thank God, I wouldn't have got the 250 points. Shout out to that guy for letting me know I had to take my net off. I was just, I was so like blindsided by the fact it was there, I wasn't even thinking. And while I was stacking and collecting from for my mediums, I also saw another lucky impling. And this one, I told Maz to get his ass here and to get his 250 points from it. Okay, so I've spent probably the past, I want to say, seven hours building all the medium stash units getting 1,500 jars from Implinks just by running around catching a bunch of jars and then trading it in with the one guy to get even more jars. And now I'm just cashing them in by sitting in a spot and clicking Eclectics. Obviously got my lucky Impling here very luckily. And I also got Maz's lucky Impling as well. I saw it and I told him to come over because you know we both need that 250 points. It's huge for us. So yeah, I now have 1,357 Eclectics, a little less than 1.5k, granted. It is 1 in 25 for a medium clue scroll from an Eclectic. And I need to fill, I think the task is 40 collection log slots, as well as all the other tasks that come with it. And it should be around over 500 points in total from completing it. And maybe over 600 points if I manage to pull the Rangers. Not sure how, you know, likely that is because it is kind of rare to get. There are a bunch of points waiting for me in these implant jars and as well in this clue scroll. I think it is like a 1 in 25 drop rate, so I don't know what my math is here. Maybe that's like 50 medium clues. Obviously, I'll have to drop quite a few too if I can't do the step, but we're going to go and try and get it done. Okay, so this is actually one of the medium clues that I need to go do biohazard for. It is my second step of the clue, I'm pretty sure, and I have to go do biohazard. I was going to do it eventually. I knew I'd, I'd get it eventually. I just wanted to complete some without having to do it, but I might as well just get it done now that I've got it. So on to biohazard we go. Okay, and that is Biohazard done. Doesn't really give us any- I guess it gives us quest points. We still haven't done the Tears of Guthix thing because I suck at it. But I can now go to the combat training camp or whatever, so let's get carry on with the clues. Okay, we're about 25 caskets in and we've just got the message for our 6 hour log that we're going to be logged out in eventually- in approximately 5 minutes. Always great to see while we're gaming. Okay, we only have 300 Eclectics left and we used about 900 of them to get these 30 caskets. I don't know why I have an elite clue scroll in my thingy, but I want to open up these 30 just to see how much progression I make on this collection log and see if I get any tasks completed with it. If we take a look at my medium collection log, I've already got two of the uniques. I don't even know what they are. I guess I got the Ancient Miter. I got the Guthix Cloak from that Lunk Lucky Impling and I don't know what, they, what I got the Ancient Miter from, but there is a lot of stuff for us to get. There's 115 uniques. I'm hoping we can cross some of these off. Let's get opening. Okay, that seems like two uniques right off the bat. That seems like another two uniques. Oh my god, I've just gained 10 unique- or no, Oh, I just did two things. I did fill five medium clue collection log slots and gain 10 unique items from medium clues. So that's 100 points in total. Those are 250 point tasks. Nice. Um, Wolf Mask, Green Dia Body Trimmed, and a War Blessing. Penguin Mask, Armored Old Miter. These seem all the uniques. Ancient Miter already have. Okay, nothing is there. That's too good. Those are three uniques right there. Shazen Banner, Mithril Plate Skirt, Purple Elegant Skirt. Okay, I think I'm. I think this is going quite well. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we've opened nine. How many are we at? We we are at 18 out of 115 already. Holy shit! Okay, that's gained 25 unique items from a medium clue. That's 100 points right there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm not opposed to this at all. And that is fill 20 medium collection log slots, which is another 100 points. Holy shit! I think the final one is to fill 40, so I doubt we're gonna get that done. We just got a master clue scroll. Damn. A lot of people commented on my last video saying that I dropped uh, the Master Clue Scroll. I actually did check it first and I couldn't do it. Just like this one I can't do because I can't enter the Myth Guild, obviously. We've got 16 more to do and we have 17 to obtain. So probably not going to happen, but we'll see. Okay. Open. I think we've already got that. Armadal Miter. Uh, Armadal Crozier, whatever that is. Gold Elegant Blouse. Um, Nothing from that. Sara Domen Cloak, that's really nice. Okay, we need to bank some of this shit. Okay, 10 more caskets to open. We are at 29 out of 115. If we can get 10 unique items or 11 unique items from this, we're done. But I doubt it. Ancient Blessing, I don't think we've gone that yet. Sara Domen, page 4. I'm a lot of power. Adamant Plate Body, H4, I think we've already got. Ancient Blessing, we've probably already got. Another Master Clue Scroll, nice. Let's see if we can do that one. 
Um, clue scroll monster. Oh, uh, nope, this wilderness can't do that either. Final one, red boater. Okay, how many are we at? We are at 36 out of 150. I'm pretty sure it is 36. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is, what's it called? I'm pretty sure it is, what am I trying to say here? That it is 40? It could be 45 though. Oh no, it's 40. Okay, so I think we can do this in the eclectics we have left. Really nice. Okay, I'm going to open the caskets as I get them now because obviously I only have four more items to go to complete the task. And I think that is a new unique, if I'm not mistaken, putting me up to 37. Yep, so we're just going to do them as we get them. Okay, another casket. Black elegant shirt. Is that new? It is new. Only two more to go now. Okay, another casket. Um, I think we have both of those, to be honest. I don't think we went up anything with that, but I'm not sure. Yep. Alrighty, another casket. Uh, Bandos page two. Is that new? Nope. Damn it, bro. We always have this curse. All right, another casket. Bando stole. I think that might be new. I don't think I've seen it before. Yep, 39 out of 150 and one more unique to go. And we have 250 more points. Another casket. Could this be it? Ranger boots, please? Nope. And that's not a unique from what I can see because we're still at 39. Okay, another casket here. Oh, damn. That's three uniques in one thing. Wait, do I have them? Oh, no, I do not have them. I was complaining over nothing. And that puts me over 61,000 points for the first time. 250 points earned off that. When I started today's video, I was ranked 18 or 19 because I slept, but all the uh, points we've got, literally just top mediums, has put me back up to rank 15 with 61,120 points. Not gonna complain with that at all. So something I've been working on since the start of leagues, this is something that's taken me a month, is 1,500, well, I have to get 2,000, but for now, I've gone 1,500, 1,500? Is that the correct term or is it 15,000? No, it's 1,500. 1,500 Apatol Agility Laps. And there was a 50 point task and a 100 point task for the other laps that we got. But there is a 250 point task to get 1500 laps and transform my monkey. At 2000 laps, I can transform it again for 5000, uh, for 500 points. I'm, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm, I'm a little bit delusional. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's find it. Monkey. Where is it at? Where's my monkey? Did I lose my monkey? Oh, it's right there. It's the skeleton monkey. I'm so stupid. Okay, transform this into Croc Jr. And if I wear that, that is 250 points in Elite Toss, putting me up to 61,370. I've been working on this for a month because whenever, like, I don't know, there's no way I'm doing 2,000 laps at once, right? So I've been chipping it away at it slowly but surely. And in another 500 laps, we get another 500 points. I don't know if a lot of people have started working on this yet at all. So these are a lot, like, I'm ahead quite a bit in that regard if people haven't been. Very nice. Now, after hopping worlds, I'm rank 14 on the leaderboards. Maz is rank 13, and we both have the same amount of points, which is actually pretty nice for the both of us. Late caskets, and I got ranger tights. What even are those? And I got 37 summer pies, too. Oh, and I just got a medium toss done. Fill three elite clue collection log slots. Wow, a real tongue twister there. 61,420. That puts me to rank 13 very temporarily. Maz is about to finish 500 sire Casey, and is going to jump right above me. But there we go. Just a quick reminder, if you guys are enjoying the videos, the best way to support me is by subscribing to the channel if you already aren't. This also means you guys never miss a future upload as I'm going to be uploading through to the rest of the Trailblazer League. And if you guys want to go one step further, feel free to drop a like on the video. So I want to do some Theater of Blood as it's something I need to complete eventually and 100 kill count was 250 points and I wasn't too far off of that. All of the drops I got, if they were unique, were 250 points as well as the Justice R set being 500 points. So it was really good. I have pretty much max gear for this, so our trips do, or our trips, our raids do go really quickly. And just look how quick this bloat went down. 44 seconds. Molten Glass and Adior, we take those. Got ourselves some Potato Cactus, whereas Loki got himself a Scythe. Yo! Let's go! Grats! We both died because I was tanking and I fucked us up, but he just got a Scythe. 1k death runes, okay. Okay, it's top KC number 88. Our last purple is that Avernic. Can we get something? Uh, there's a purple, and it's my name. It's in my name. Okay, anything but us, anything that gives me points, to be honest, I'll be happy with. The Sanguini would be the best. Come on. Oh, another Avernic. Damn, it's all right. It is what it is. 89. 351 gold ore, though. We take those. All right, I think this is KC90. 10 more, and we get 250 points, but obviously I'm hoping for some drops before that. Any purples? Nope, unfortunately not. I'm a purple for Marzi, let's see what he gets. Sanguinesti stuff, I don't think he has that yet. Big grats, man, grats, grats, grats. All right, so a 50 point toss that I haven't yet done is the make 100 jugs of wine. So I'm gonna do that now. That's probably something people did pre 15K points, but I don't know, I've just been leaving it forever and I guess the 50 points kind of matters now. So I'm gonna get it done. Let's do it. Okay, and that is the medium task. Ferment 100 jugs of wine, putting me up to 61,000. 470 points. 
some of the medium tasks that I really just haven't done yet. I haven't done the mithril gloves, even the enriched bones, stuff like that. So yeah, I left a lot of stuff till late and it gives me some nice points now. All right, a little break from tall ball. I don't have a team. We hit up the myth dragons again and got ourselves some more chewed bones. These 250 points we have to get. I really hate myth dragons, but it's something we've got to do. We've got some more bones and the drop rate is 1 in 82. I am really expecting to get it like in this session, so I hope I do. Okay, first inventory to 80 kill count. Like I said, 82 kill or 82. I don't know if this is a kill count because I'm laying people to rest. I guess it's not a kill count. It's a rest count. But yeah, 80 of the fuckers and still no full helm. I'm running back to the bank because we have some more to do. All right, we have eight more bones to use. I don't know if this is going to go well, but it's going to get us to 88 rest count. Okay, uh, this is my final chewed bone getting me to 88 rest count. Let's get the full helm now. Nope. Uh, nope. Rest in peace. All right, that's hand in the sand done, which allows me to buy a hella blood runes from the store. Okay, even though I've got all the drops from Grotesque, there's still 250 point toss to get 250 kills. Now, I really don't want to do this, but it makes sense to do. It's only a hundred and something more from what I've got. And it's like a quick 250. Well, it's a fairly reasonably quick 250 points. So let's get started. All right, I just got granite gloves. I don't think I've gotten them before. I don't know what they do or if they're rare or anything, but cool, I guess. That's another granite ring on 215 KC. I also got another pair of gloves earlier. Uh, 35 more kills, if my math is correct, for another 250 points. All right, can't do that elite clue scroll on the floor, but that is our current Slayer task completed, and we're at kill count 225, so literally we just need to get another task, 25 more kills, and we'll have ourselves 250 more points. Okay, and this is going to be my 250th grotesque kill. Never have to come back here, which I'm actually very thankful for. I did not want to go dry for the drops because the boss itself is easy. It just takes a while. It's like, I don't know, a two-minute kill max, maybe a minute 40 if I'm quick with it. I didn't figure out what the best setup was. I just went with this, and it was pretty nice. The scythe made it a lot easier for the melee phase, not going to lie. But yeah, that is 250 Grotesque Guardians killed, giving us 250 points. Don't have to come back here because we got the Guardian Boots and the Ring already. That puts us up to 61,720. I think that puts us back to rank 15. The ranks are getting pretty competitive right now, but I still have a lot to do. So I still think I can break top 10 in this video. And look at all the cash in my inventory and all the loot on the floor. Instances are kind of sick, not gonna lie. Okay, and that is 250 points for completing the Theater of Blood 100 times. Any purple? Sad scam game. All right, but that's 250 points putting me up to 61,970. Now that only gets me my rank 15 back again. It's really getting competitive out here, but nice. Thank God, bro. I got the 100 tiers of Gothics. Thank God. I just got it now, bro. I've been stressing it like I'm inside, bro. I haven't said shit in a minute. It's taken me four fucking weeks to do this, bro. Okay, I'm going to go cash in my Lumberage Diary after this because I kind of forgot to do that, but I have 20 more chewed bones to do. That's right. We're back on the hunt for the Dragonfall home. Ah, uh, I think this will take us our kill count to over a hundred, so we we better get it. Like I don't know what's going on here, but let's construct some pyrocytes and see what we get. Throw grapples, and apparently I don't know how to do math because I didn't bring enough logs for this. Okay, eight more bones to go, and this is my last chewed bone, putting me to 180, 180, 108 rest count with no dragon full home. Interesting. Oh, what? Dude! Okay, you can't make this shit up, bro. Final bow, Dragon Full Home. Life's fucking good. We take those, bro. We absolutely take those. I can't believe that actually worked. Completed about the final one. Let's go. Wear that. Equip a Dragon Full Home. That puts us on to 62,220 points. Taking us over the 62,000 mark for the first time in the league. That's hilarious. Let's go. Okay, so I've been doing smoke devils because it's probably the most AFK way to get hard and elite clues because I can just tag all of them in the boss, put on my rapier, auto retaliate on, and I get hit by all of them. Just got a hard and elite clue right there, but I also just got myself the eternal gem. Oh my god, that is massive. What the fuck? Anyway, um, I haven't I haven't got an eternal gem yet, and I haven't had an eternal slayer ring yet, so that's pretty cool to get. And wow, that is a big gem. So a clue step I was hoping to avoid entirely, split bark legs. I have to go do Shades of Morton. Okay, the good part is there's a 50 point task of killing a fire shade that I did have to get out of the way eventually and I've just gotten it now. This is actually not as like terrible as I expect. So hopefully we can get our split bark legs quickly. Okay, we already got a couple keys stacked up so let's just start opening them. I don't think it matters which key I open, right? Um, no, it does not. I didn't realize fire shades attack you in here. But yeah, it's a 1 in 9 drop rate to get the fine cloths or whatever, and I need 7 of them in total. So not very likely I get them all in what I have, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, that's one piece of fine cloth so far. I've only got 
a couple more left. Okay, that's a second piece of fine cloth, nice. Okay, so it looks like it's just the two pieces, and yeah, only the two pieces, so I guess we gotta do this more. I'm probably just gonna stop once I get the legs, and then once I need to get the body, I'll come back for that. I just got an amulet of the damned, it's pretty useless. Uh, I'd rather have a piece of fine cloth, but I guess that's cool regardless. Skill specs would be happy with that one. Another amulet of the damned, I just need one more fine cloth for the split park legs, bro. And it doesn't look like it's gonna give it to me. Oh god, I only have two more keys, bro. One piece of fine cloth, that's all I want, bro. Last one. Jesus Christ, I'm angry. Okay, third piece of fine cloth, nice. Okay, I can finally make my split bar legs. Another thing is, I also have to go get another pair of D shoes for the top, for the elite clue scroll I have, or the hard clue scroll I have. I can't remember because I've only got prims, and the task requires me to have D shoes. Okay, split bark legs acquired, nice. All right, I got my D shoes. Two hours to do one step of an elite clue. Let's go do it. Okay, and this is the Lumbridge Hard Diary completed. Probably should have done this pre-maxing, but I'm very bad at Tears of Gothics. I'm not sure what I want to use my XP lamp on yet because I'm already maxed and I don't know what is going to be the most difficult skill to get to 25 mil yet. So I'm not going to cash it in. I'm going to wait, you know, I'm going to be patient and decide what to do. But as 100 points, putting me up to 62,370. Okay, so I can't actually bank my lamp, so I'm deciding what to do. And I think I save more time using this on 700k Prey XP than I would using it on the rune crafting XP because rune crafting goes pretty quick anyway. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I use. Smithing is kind of zero time from now on. Herbler as well, crafting as well. I think I'm just going to use it on prayer and get myself 25 mil prayer right now. I think that might be the move, not going to lie. And that is 25 mil prayer points. 25 mil prayer points, 25 mil prayer XP obtained, putting me up to 62,620 points. Now we're flying. As for this antique lamp, I guess I'll, I'll just put in smithing. It's not that really big a deal and it'll help me out a little bit. It's 240k XP. Okay, I've managed to stack up 11 hard caskets and 5 elite caskets. We're going to do the hard first and then the elite. There's a lot of tasks for this, and this is what our log is looking like so far, if you're wondering. We've done 2 elite clues for 3 unique items, which are the pirate hat, ranger tights, and musketeer pants, which are great. And we've done 6 hard clues for only 5, so we'll see how this goes. I'm not, I can't remember exactly what every uh, task is, but let's just open these and see what we get. Um, that's not any uniques. Those are two uniques, but I think I might already have a Gothic's page. Bandos chaps and a master clue scroll. We'll see if we can do that in a second. Oh my god. Okay, that's gained 20 uniques from hard clues. We didn't even open that many. We got 100 points. Nice. Master. Wow. It's actually a master clue we can do. Okay, I'm gonna drop it while we pick up the rest just in case we get any more. Red dehyde chaps G. Uh, Gothic's DI body war blessing. Nice. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, we just filled 15 hard collection log slots too. This is kind of dope, not gonna lie. Room plate skirt, Sardom and Crozier. I think we're getting close to a full vestment set, not gonna lie. This is a lot of shit I need to bank though, so I probably should have gotten a clear bank before doing this, not gonna lie. Oh well. Okay, so that's the 11 hard clues we've gotten open. That puts us up to 62,820 points. If we have a look now, we've got obtained 18 uniques from 16 hard clues, and I guess we've got some duplicates in there, which is pretty nice. We've got five elite caskets to do and a master clue we can actually do one step of. We haven't done a single step of this yet, I don't think. Just going to get a clear inventory before we open these caskets. Okay, five elite caskets to open. Let's see what we get. Oh my god, Dragon May, Samurai page three, Bandos page one, and some other stuff. Uh, Dragon Scimitar Ornament Kit? That's kind of, that's amazing. Well, it's not, I don't think that is, like, gives me any sort of unique, but a Golden D skim is kind of cool. And that is 100 points for gaining 10 unique items from Elite Clues. We take those. Open another one. Armadal page one. And final one for now, Afro. And I think that's it. Let's see what our log is saying for Elite Clues. We're at seven Elite Clues completed, five out of 98 obtained, but we've already got... 10 unique items. Master clues are incredibly hard to do because of all the region locks and content locks, but I've actually just gotten my first step ever done. And can I do the second one? I think I can actually. Oh my god, we're onto something here. Another step to complete. Well, I gotta do this puzzle, but what the fuck is this? Okay, good thing we've got Clientscape to figure it out for us. Okay, second step completed. Can we do the third? No, good fight. Okay, so this elite clue requires me to start Troll Romance and get a sled. Now, I think I can do this with the regions I have, so we're going to go ahead and get started on it. Oh, Slide Slope, let's go. I don't actually have to complete the quest, I guess. I can just stop it, because I just wanted to do this part of the clue. I don't give a shit about doing this quest, frankly. Dig, and that is another clue step completed. And I can't even do this one. 
I've got an elite clue that requires a lava battle staff. Now they actually added a global task which didn't exist before. So this is 50 points for just wielding a lava battle staff that I couldn't have gone before. So I'm always happy with free points. That's a 50 point task, medium point task, medium task there done, putting me up to 62,970. 30 off 63k. Okay, I've got a clue that requires me to go get rune boots as well as a mystic fire stuff. So that is a little bit of time. So I thought I'd just open these caskets we have now. We have four hard caskets and two elite caskets. I don't know if this gets us any points, but I hope it does. Oh, that's the rune helm that we need for an elite clue. That's nice. Uh, got this bracers, armadillo chaps. Oh my god, that's a bunch of stuff. Bandos full helm, I think is the only unique though. And that's that. No task from that, unfortunately. Elite Zamorak, page one. Master clue. And nothing else from that either. Oh, I got a Mithril Dragon Mask. Cool. Let's see what our collection log is saying as well. Clues, Elite. Okay, so we still only got six of these out of nine. And we've got 22. So if we get three more uniques, I think that's some points right there. Master Clue, can we do it? We cannot. All right, another hard cost kit for a Sardom on page three. That was the only unique we got from that. Damn. Nice, we got our Rune Boots finally. I think we also need to go get ourselves a Mystic Fire stuff, which we need to do a quest for. Okay, and this is Scorpion Catcher done, which should allow me to make a Fire Battle Staff into a Mystic Fire Staff, which will allow me to do the next part of this clue. Okay, another Elite Casket, and the only one, I got the Yuri's Hat, which is cool, but it's only one, what's it called? Only one unique. Okay, another Hard Casket, and that is Bandos Dehide Boots, Navy Cavalier. Oh my god, that's like four items, I think, right there, nice. Still no new toss though yet. All right, I got myself another Elite Casket here. And it only gave me one unique, bro. The elites don't go too hard, not gonna lie. Collection log, elite clue scroll. I've opened 11, only got seven of the things, and I don't even have dupes. All right, another hard casket, and that is gaining fi I got that bef I got that first? Yeah, okay, that does make sense, actually. Gain 50 unique items from hard clues. Is that ancient plate body, Zamorak plate skirt, and I guess the blue fire lighters? I don't know if that's a unique or not, to be honest. But that puts me up to 63,220. Now, if I go to my hard log, yes, I just said hard log. I am 20, or I'm two different uniques away from another 250 points. That's nice. Hopefully, we can get that done soon. Okay, another hard casket. Zamorak Dehead Body and a Sardoan Full Home. And that is fill 30 hard clue collection log slots, which gives me 250 points, putting me up to 63,470 points. Now it's Hop Worlds. I want to have a look at this leaderboard. See if we are top 10 yet. Let's just have a little geese real quick. League points. I am rank 11. I am around 430 points off rank 10. No, 430. What am I saying? 230 points off rank 10 right now. Rank 11. Let's see if we can get there. Okay, look at how many of these bones I have. I'm going to give them all to him. This is all from the Hill Giant Cry. Oh my god, 2 mil construction XP off the bat. Just off giving off all the long and curved bones from that hill giant guy we have. We're going to work on 25 mil construction now, which is 10 mil off for 250 points. If we can get it in time, this gets us rank 10. And that, my friends, is 25 mil construction. Now I'm hitting the fastest log out of my life so that I can log back in. That 25 mil construction officially gets me rank 10 on the league points leaderboards. And at rank 10, I have knocked down GL I'm Tom to rank 11. In the competitive spirit, I'm now changing my name to GL I am dit. Now I may fall down rank 10 uh, and fall a couple ranks as I sleep here or there, but I think I'm in a really good position to keep climbing the ranks from here on out. There's still a lot of easy tasks I can get done throughout the next like couple days, and I'm going to be trying to climb into that top five position. Eventually I will be going for rank one, but we'll see how it goes when we get there. That's still a couple thousand points off, but for now we're in the top 10. We start off today's video at rank 10 on the League Points leaderboards with 63,720 points. Now we want to get some of the very long grind Master Toss out of the way today that should hopefully climb us thousands of points and get us up on that leaderboard even more places. Let's get into it. So in pretty much one sitting I am deciding to get some of my skilling 25 mils out the way and for some reason I decided to start with runecrafting. So we've gone from 13 mil XP to almost 25 mil in six to seven hours for just a short little clip that goes to show some of the hours I put in for the, just these little clips and that's why the videos are taking longer to make at this stage because there's just not that much content left to do and it is very very long grinds but it's something I have to do and honestly at this point it is a very time efficient task six or seven hours for 250 points is really good this gets me my, my rank 10 back as well because as I was sleeping someone took me over but not that big a deal because we're about to get it back and there's more tasks we can do I'm also at 21.5 mil farming and I will get that today just after doing a couple runs. 
So that'll be another 250 points right there. One more one of this, and I am officially at 25 more runecrafting. Never have to touch the skill again, there's no other things we need runecrafting for. So there we go, 25 more runecraft XP obtained, putting me over 64,000 points for the first time, 64,220 points. We take those. Now this magic tree died, our other four lived though, we're currently at 22.5 mil farming XP, we're just gonna just do a couple more runs and that should get us to 25 mil. I also have a bunch of fruit trees and mahoganies planted, so we probably already have like 25 mil just in our inventory. Okay, a dragon fruit tree. Let's see how much XP that gives. A nice little 277k. Okay, and this is our fruit tree run as well. I'm not sure when our mahoganies are going to grow, but we're at 23.2 mil XP already. So literally just our next run should get us 25 mil. And if not, we have those mahoganies anyway. I don't know how to do mass, but I'm pretty sure we're almost there. All right, first elite casket of the day. We're just trying to get the gain unique items, 250 point toss. I don't think we're going to try and fill the log. It's a little bit too much effort. What are we getting? A uh, bronze dragon mask and a Hasidious scarf. I'm going to assume the Hasidious scarf is uh, unique, but we still haven't completed 25 uniques yet. All right, another elite casket. Thank you very much, Father Eric. Um, bucket helm, nice. Unholy blessing and a deer stalker hat, very nice. And that is fill 10. Oh, I haven't even done that yet. Fill 10 elite clue collection log slots, which is 100 points right there, putting me up to 64,320. Hard casket as well. Uh, for room plate legs and some other stuff, I don't know. Alright, my final tree of my magic and palm trees to check. I'm on 24.8 mil XP. This gets me to 24.9 mil. I could plant trees, I could do this or that. And I am 24k away from 25 mil farming. Um, I could just wait for my mahoganies to grow, but it's like 24k XP. I'll just go do something real quick to get it. Okay, looks like I had a bunch of dwarf wheat already planted. And actually on my last harvest right there, that gives me 25 million farming XP. Putting me up to 64,000. 570 points gonna hit the relog real quick because i'm pretty sure this cements me as rank 9 yes it does we are a couple hundred points above rank 10 from now on okay and this is another elite casket let's bang it open and we didn't get a single unique from that brah uh, another hard casket um some teleports and shit another casket of the hard variety oh uh, white cavalier and sorry i'm on plate legs cool hard casket oh uh, nothing elite caskets and that is gained 25 unique items from an elite casket. Finally, we've got it done. 250 points, putting us up to 64,820. Nice. And this is my 1,000th ticket at the Brimhaven course. It is a master toss to get 1,000 tickets and hand it in for XP for 500 points. Now, every ticket I get takes a minute to get because there's only one ticket per minute. So that's over 12 hours I've spent here at Brimhaven Agility doing this task. And it's all for just one clip. So that is the amount of time I'm putting into some of these tasks and some of these points for you guys. But there we go. I've been working on it all day. And this is my 1,000th ticket. Let's go cash it in for these 500 points. Okay, and we're now going to cash it in. I think it's trade. And let's make sure I don't fuck this up. Experience, 1,000 tickets. And that is a master task completed, putting me to 65,320 points. Probably the longest master task I have to do. Okay, and that is the medium western promises diary done. That's the most I can do out of this diary because of the region restrictions. It gives me 50 points, putting me at 65,370. This also means I can get some XP lamps, but the biggest thing is it's going to help out in getting the chompies. And there we go. We've just been camping the granite shield drop really quickly because it is a free 50 points that weren't available before. Let's pick this shit up, toss it on, and that is a medium task completed. 65,420 points now. Okay, and I am on the chompy grind. It's 4,000 chompy kills to get 1250 points, 250 points from getting 2,250, and another 500 points from getting 4,000 kills. Now, we actually started the league with 1,000 kills due to a Jagex glitch, so it's only like 3,000 kills I actually have to get, which is still tens of hours of work to do. I've just hit 3,000 kills. It's, pre it's pretty chill. It's just a whole lot of time, so it is, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of time, but this plus the Apatol laps, which I've almost finished, will get me close to 67,000 points from 65,420. It's definitely very worth it. I had to do it eventually. It's just some very hard master tasks that I had to get out of the way. I'll be back with you guys when we are at 4,000 kills. Also, this chompy kills per hour would be a lot higher if I had the hard diary done and the elite diary done, but I can't do that without the tier one region. So that's just another way that, that, that those regions are more overpowered than mine. But it is what it is. We're gonna keep carrying on and trying to get as many kills as possible. But this is just another grind that has taken me basically a full day to do along with Brimhaven yesterday to get these points. It is really getting into the late game where I'm doing 16 hour grinds for, you know, just a one minute clip of me getting 500 or so points. 
We're currently at 39,994 39, points. My brain is a little bit fried. I woke up, I've just been planting toads, shooting birds, it's arm all over again. But it's almost over, six more kills to go. And we'll be able to get the two hats for 750 points. We're also gonna finish up Ape Patal. We've been working on that since pretty much day one, just getting those 2,000 laps, like doing a couple hundred laps every now and then, just slowly chipping away at it. That'll be another 500 points right there. So a lot of hard work in the past two days for Brimhaven, this, and finishing up Ape Patal, but it's all worth it. It all helps us climb that leaderboard. So I have no issues. And we now have maybe four more kills or so. And that is our 4,000th Chompy kill. Never have to kill one again. We are now an expert dragon archer or something. I don't know. I think we were already an expert dragon archer. What changed? Um. Oh, I was an expert ogre dragon archer. Okay, I have no idea what the difference is. Uh, let's go talk to Rance, which is... Oh my god, where is he in comparison to where I am? He's hella far away. But uh, let's go talk to Rance and we can go get our hats. We're going to wait until we finish Apatol to actually claim in the points. Because going up 1250 points at once would be pretty cool. So it is. So good luck. I'm dit is no more. I've just changed my name to JM who is 73 because we are now looking at rank seven JW, JMW seven, and we're looking to take a spot. Let's transform this into the princely monkey. I guess it is. Does that do it anything? Does that is that not the master task? Oh, I have to wear it. Okay, that probably makes more sense. And then wear this and that, and that is two a master task and a late task. We've just went from whatever points we were on to 66,670 points with the RSN JM who is 73. We are 80 points away from him and we're gonna get that right now and take him over. And that my friends is 25 mil crafting which gets me to 66,920 points. Gets me tied rank seven with Maz who also has the same amount of points. It knocks JMW 73, or no, that's my name. It knocks JMW seven down to rank nine and I take his spot on the leaderboards with the RSN JM who 73. Okay, we finally got a small and rich bone on our third attempt because we couldn't poke the thingies quick enough. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about when I talk about this place because I didn't even know it existed. But uh, we can now get our 50 points from using this on something. I don't know what exactly I'm meant to do actually. Uh, the strange machine. Okay, and I think this is it. This must be the strange machine. Okay, and that is a medium task done. We probably should have got done ages ago. 50 points putting me at 66,970. We're gonna go do another easy or medium task, which is equip mithril gloves. We need to go quest that out. Okay, this is freeing scratch whoever the what now, and I think I've done enough quests to get myself myth gloves. I hope I have. Okay, and it is where mithril gloves will be another 50 points, putting us back at rank seven as JMW did take us over while we were sleeping. I now wanna solidify my rank seven spot a little bit more, so I'm gonna go kill Zuck three more times to get five KC, which is 250 points. All right, so we are going for the five Infernos as a free 250 points. That's also one of the most point efficient tasks at this point in the game. Now you may notice in the bottom of my inventory, I have a Granite Mall and no MSB. Now I'm trying to be an innovator. I'm trying to prove I can do what the PVMers can't. Well, obviously they can do it much better than I, but for the Ranger set on Zuck, I'm actually just gonna try and one hit it with the Gmall spec and spec relic. As I get five instant hits, I think the Ranger has around 160 HP. So with the with the RNG I should get, I should basically one hit the Ranger on each side and every set. I think it could go pretty nice, not gonna lie. So we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, first we gotta beat triples and stuff like that, of course, but I think that should be pretty fine. And then we'll see how the Zuck goes. And if we can do it well, we're gonna do two more so we get those 250 points. Currently at 67,000. And we're trying to climb for that rank five position. All right, we've made it to single Jad and we have a bunch of supplies. So this should go fine, I'm hoping. Um. Maybe a little bit too many supplies, to be honest, so we'll see how it goes. Gmall there. Drink this Restore. Nice rhubarb off the start. We take those. Gmall. Did it work? Oh my god, it worked. Okay, hit that and run. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Jesus Christ. That I Bro, I'm a beast. I'm actually smart as fuck, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, my shield took a little bit of damage from the mage because I was panicking over that working, but... I think I should be good to hit this under 600 now, too, if I just get uh, some good hits. Yeah, we should be able to hit it under 600. My timer's at 1 minute 30. With Jad, that gives me over 3 minutes. Okay, we can do that, easily. Okay, that's a nice hit. It's instant tag. Don't think I can rush... what's it called here? healers, but I can get it close to 240, which is fine. Okay, well that's it down anyway, regardless. 
So we're good. <laughs> that was quick as fuck. I wasn't even potted for that. Okay, nice. Let's just eat up a little bit. Okay, and this was pretty much cake. The GMO really did come through clutch, not gonna lie. The GMO meta has been invented for the Inferno. You heard it here first. Oh fuck. Okay, we're chilling there. Okay, and that is our third KC. Nice. 85 minutes because we were chilling a little bit, not gonna lie. It was a very slow time. But the GMO meta does work, and that is another Infernal Cape. Two more of these to go. Should be good. We're back at Zuck again. Let's do this. GMO. 900 under 600. I think we can still do it. Our hits at the start were ship. These are good. These are very good. Is that under 600? One more. Maybe one more. Okay, nice. Long range to finish it. Okay, we're fine. Gmo. Okay, not the hits we wanted, not gonna lie. I think that should kill it. Nice. Dead. Okay. We're all good to start. Okay. Nice. Okay, 320 HP to do, we can do this. Okay, a bit of a slow one due to- okay, we're not done, never mind. Bit of a slow one due to a misplaced heat tag of the healers, but that puts our KC to 4, one more for 250 points. A very slow time out of map- oh wait, what? Uh, 68 minutes, that was actually a lot quicker than the last one. I guess the waves were a lot quicker, but suck was very, very slow. One more to do. Okay, 95 HP, 99 HP, okay, perfect. We do love ourselves an SGS, and we are back on Zuck again. Alright, let's go. Not the greatest start. Not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Complain and get a rhubarb. Nice. Any back to back rhubarbs? No. Okay, wait for this to shoot. Honestly, we probably might kill it before then. I think that's dead. Alright, well, didn't need the GM all this time. Got some nice RNG. We take those. Save specs for this. Okay. Bruh. Okay, that's under 600. Okay, that should be Jad. Instant target. Nice. Alright, nice. Be more. Nice. Double hit. Okay. Gonna eat up as we run and then go for the hit in this corner. Nice. Perfect. Come on, 75 HP. Just tag the major, maybe? Come on. The ranger can't kill us before I kill it, right? Surely not. Surely not. Come on, 7 HP. Okay, nice. I was actually really scared the ranger would kill that shield, but I think I played that fine. And that is 250 points for completing the Inferno five times, and a new PB of 6225. And with that Inferno completion giving us another 250 points, we solidify our rank 7 spot with 270 more points than JMW7. At this stage, it is extremely hard to climb lots of ranks in a short amount of time, so going from rank 10 to 7 is quite an achievement.
It gets even harder at this point as it is now very clear that the other region choices are much more overpowered than mine for both total points and points per hour, but I'll save that complete explanation for another video if you guys are interested. I appreciate all the support you guys have been leaving on this video, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. We ended last video as rank 7 on the League Points leaderboards with 67,220 points. In today's video I'm going to get over the 70,000 threshold, get a lot of Barrows, TOB and Sepulchre completion done as well as explain to you guys whether or not it is possible for me to get rank 1. Let's get into it. Okay, really scraping the bottom of the barrel for some smithing XP, but we've just gotten ourselves to 25 mil smithing. Probably don't have to do any more smithing ever again. Could have waited to get more drops from Todd, but I just want to get the 250 points. Now, that puts us up to 67,570 points. Very nice amount of points. Still at rank 7, however, but we have like we're putting a little bit of distance between us and our competition right now. And this, my friends, is the last skill we get to 25 mil XP. We are now base 25 mils, reaching 25 million herb lore for 250 points, putting me at 67,820 points. Where you're done skilling for the rest of the league, it is all PVM from here on out. Actually, that's a lie. I have to go finish the Pulker, which is a bunch more agility XP. And I do have to do Volcanic Mine uh, for an Ash Covered Tome. So that is a little bit more mining XP, I think. Actually, I think there's a way to get points without mining at all, so maybe not, but those are the only like really two skilling related things I have to do. Then it's just Taub, Nightmare, I have to finish Sire, uh, finish Barrows, and then I think I'm done with the game to be honest, and this is Clue Scrolls, so yeah, we're chilling. Okay, my final Volcanic Mine game, shout out Wooks for teaching me how to boost points without even doing the Volcanic Mine, and by teach me, I mean I watch this video. Just need to buy ourselves an Ash Covered Tome, which is that, and that is a hard task. 100 points, one of the last hard tasks that we can actually do. 67,920 points now. Okay, so I have around 150 Eclectics left, so I just thought I'm gonna go stack up as many medium casks as I can. There's not a whole lot, but I just wanted to see if I could get myself Ranger Boots, because it's another 100 points, and it's quicker than doing anything else. We only managed to get 5 caskets out of that, so we're just gonna open them now. Uh, no Ranger Boots. No Ranger Boots. Bando Smiter. No Ranger Boots. And no ranger boots, unfortunately. So no points from that, but we're going to do a bunch of medium tasks eventually anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay, had some clues to do anyway, so hard casket for... Armadal D had body, nice. And nothing really else at all. Easy, ca easy casket got us gothic throw legs, interesting. Okay, so something I didn't realize I had was a full ancient armor set, which is a task to get equip a full god rune set. That puts me over 68,000 points for the first time. Very, very nice. That task completion gets us to 369 kills, 131 more kills for these 250 points. Okay, that's 391 KC and I just got another Unsired. We don't actually need anything from this, but I'd love to get an Abyssal Head just for my Slayer Helm to make it look cool, so let's go see what it is. Okay, uh, a whip would be cool too, I guess, because I don't have any more whips. Uh, no, I have the one whip. I don't I don't really care what I get, to be honest. Let's just see what we do get. Okay, another bludgeon, please. Almost, an, almost a third bludgeon. For a 3 KC, got another Unsired. We have less than 100 kill count to go now. Don't really care what we get from it. Probably gonna complete our second bludgeon, but it'd be cool to get anything else. What are we getting ourselves today? A bludgeon accent. Okay, and that we have two bludgeons now. What? I just got a toss for Trailblazer Boon, and it just gave me 250 points. I don't even know what that is. What? I'm so confused. I guess I just got a free 250 points because they messed up something to do with the Slayer task thing? I have no idea, but I'll take a free 250 points whenever I can get them. KC 422, another Unsired. Once again, we don't actually need anything from these, but they are just cool to go look at what we get. If we get an Abyssal Head, we get a cool new helmet, so I'm happy with that if we do get it. Unsired, Unsired, probably another Bludgeon piece for a third. Oh, we got another Dagger. Cool, that doesn't help us at all. We already have one. Already got the points for it, but it's cool, I guess. Okay, KC 441, another Unsired. I just want this Abyssal Head, man. Like, stop giving me useless shit. All right, let's cash this in. You place the Unsired. Another bludgeon piece, we're on our way to our third bludgeon. Another task done, only 200, 200, only 26 kills more to do. And that is defeating Sire 500 times for 250 points, putting me to 68,520 points. Let's go. 300 cannonballs from that as well, 500 Sire done, don't have to come back here ever again because we got all the drops. We needed 68,520 points now. Dark's plate body. I don't think I have that yet. I think. Oh no, I do think I have that. Um, we'll go check. Yeah, we do already have it. And we have five Dark's helms. Jesus Christ, bro! I just got back to back Dark's plate bodies, and I have that already. Arms are bottom. That's my third arms are bottom. Still don't have a top. We're just getting dupes. Did I not get it? Oh, okay. It's, there it is. 
Carol's leather top. I wonder if I have that or I don't. Okay, that's another set completed. I now have a K top. So that's 18 out of 24 items I assume I have. Maybe I'll just, yeah, it is. Maybe I'll just bring the log with me instead of bringing the item. So I just need an Aram's rope top, Torax plate body, Torax hammer, Vrax flail, Vrax brassard, and the DH legs. I'll just bring the log with me. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Guthans hell. I'm pretty sure we already have that because Guthans was the full set we completed, if I'm not mistaken. Am I mistaken? I'm not mistaken. Darks, Great Axe, do we already have that? I feel like we do as well, because we were just looking at our set. Yeah, we need the legs is what we need. Guthans Plate Body. Darks, Great Axe, already got that. Torax Plate Body on KC197, is that new? 19 out of 25, it is new, nice, nice. Let's go, that's my Aram set completed, the Aram's Rope Top. Um, back to back items, 198 KC. Look at my collection log, 20 out of 24 now. Torax Plate Legs, fairly sure we already have the full Torax set. Um. No, we already have four sets of tools. We need the hammers, bro. How am I forgetting what items I need? Dogs, Great Axe, 202 KC. And that is a Carol's Crossbow. We already have that, though, I'm fairly sure. Oh my god, I just got a Verax Helm and Darax Helm. Bro, I just got Verax Brassard and Torax Helm in one, or Torax Hammers in one thingamajiggy. That's 22 out of uh, 20, 24 now. That's two items that I needed in one chest. I'm pretty sure it was a triple chest. I have no idea. Yeah, it was a triple chest. I got a Verax Helm, too. That's crazy. Another Verax Flail. Wait, a Verax Flail is one of my last items. Now all I need is the Darax Plate Legs. I'm 23 out of 25 at 229 KC. I can just see myself going dry for the Plate Legs now. Aram's Hood. Okay, another Aram Staff. Don't need that, but I was expecting some duplicates. Torax Helm right after. Damn. I just got a double chest of Carol's Top and Torax Plate Legs, unfortunately. Verax Plate Skirt, 265 KC. Still 23 out of 24 chasing that Darax Plate Legs. This is what the dupes are looking like. Back to back loots? Maybe back to back to back. I don't know, but Carol's Coif. Another Verax Flail, 280 kill count now, coming close to 300. Probably gonna be here a while. Cal's Crossbow at 291 KC. 302 KC, and we got ourselves a Guthans War Spear. Still chasing this Darox Plate Legs. This is what the thingamajiggies are looking like right now. Barrow's Chest? Yeah, we got a bunch of dupes. Torax Plate Legs? Not the correct Plate Legs. And that is another Torax Helm, unfortunately. Yo, let's go! 323 KC right after that Torx Plate Legs. I finally got the Darox Plate Legs. I need to go equip every single set now, and that should give me 250 points. I'm very happy with that system update in 28 minutes as well, but this gives us our 250 points. Let's get every set. Okay, let's speed equip every set real quick. Da, 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 da. Oh no, I've done it wrong. Oh no, I messed up the whole thing. What happens if I don't get this right because I'm just too stupid to equip Barrow sets? Surely I've done it. I think I have. Have I messed it up? Alright, let's do that again. Um, oh my god, I got the helms messed up. I think. Okay, there, there I go. Equip every Barra's armor set. That was like an IQ test, and I just failed it very badly. But 68,770 points. Let's go. This 20 minute or so video did take me around 150 in-game hours to make. So if you guys are enjoying the content and you're not already subscribed, please consider it. It's up to you guys, but it does also mean you guys never miss a future episode. And if you want to go a further way to support me, you can like the video or leave a comment. Just helps me out there in the YouTube algorithm, but of course it is optional. Now, we are moving on to the Sepulcher in-game. The screen is quite disgusting with all the screen markers, and there's a lot of points to get here as tasks. So we're going to try and get some completions, try and get the time tasks, and get all the loot. I almost got the 8 minute, right? Yeah? I fucked, uh, fucked one thing up, like, recently. That's probably it. I'm happy with that. Bro, this is harder than a sub fucking 50 Inferno. I don't know. We have finally gotten ourselves. Do we, can we get the ring on this too? We have finally gotten ourselves the sub 8 minute. I think this is like 743. Unfortunately, some sound fees here. But yeah, the 200, this is only a 100 point task. The 250 point task is to do that in sub 6 minutes 30. And it's only worth 250. Some, uh, some great balancing of the video game right here. But there we go. There's 100 points for completing the Sepulchre in 8 minutes. New personal best of 743. We're now at 68,870 points. That could have been quicker, but we fucked up a little bit. Let's go. So I actually need 400 of these marks to buy all the tools, which is a 100 point task, but I will get the tokens just while I'm like practicing for the speed run and while I'm going for the ring regardless. So I'm going to use these 250 points on the hallowed ring. I think it costs 250 points. This doesn't count towards the task of getting these four tools or whatever, but it does help actually getting the six minute 30. So I'm going to wear it for all these runs. All right, I woke up and I got a pretty comfortable completion, just over eight minutes, I feel like, for a room plate body. I'm happy with that. We're still nowhere close to the speed run time, 
but we're getting constant completions and that's what I need. Okay, this was actually an extremely quick time. I messed up loads and I still got below eight minutes, I think. I want to see what my floor five time was because I messed up a bunch on floor five. I'm pretty sure at some point I was on pace for, yeah, 7.43, run off my PB. And that was a three minute 24, five. Floor four was 20 seconds too long compared to what I could get. Yeah, that was pretty nice. So I only have around 100 Theodore Blood KC and I need to get that to 500 plus the completion of the Justice R set and the Sanguini staff. So I've been speeding, speeding through them recently and I'm going to use this opportunity to talk about the rank one contention and whether I can get rank one. For a lot of you guys that were asking in the last video and that I mentioned at the start of this video while the drops were on the background. So I'm going to try to keep this detailed and as easy to understand as possible for someone not playing the league. I'm going to try and keep it short but I know it's not going to be so sorry for the ramble. The first piece of info you guys should know is that before the league was released, the JMods were asked on a Q&A if all the tasks available to a person would be able to be completed in the time span of the league. To this, they said something along the lines of there are hundreds of long grind tasks and they would be surprised if multiple people managed to complete them all in the time span of the league. Uh, this sounded fair to me and it sounded like it would to get rank 1 you'd have to do high efficiency points per hour tasks and this would make the most sense to compete for rank 1 as it wouldn't be it wouldn't be possible to complete all the tasks. Then on release day, we received the task list, points and relics, two hours before the release, as they told us we'd only get it two hours before the release, which is fine once again, because they told us. There's absolutely no way, however, people are gonna go through every single region, relic and task and find out the best regions and relics to win within those two hours. I know no one did this because if they had, they would have found out Fremenic, Candor and Mortania, which is a combination, something nobody on the current top page has, because like I said, nobody went in expecting to win based off their regions. They expected to win based off the tasks in the regions and how efficiently they did them. In this screenshot, it lists Fremnik as 9,200 points. This is what it was shown to us on that in those two hours, in the release of the league. And it was like this for a week. However, this wasn't the case due to Jax's own miscategorization of the tasks under different regions. Big surprise. It was later reflected to show 9,800 points. However, this isn't even the full story. The unlock of Fremenic also allows the global task of equip a dragon plate body, which is an extra 500 points, making Fremi worth 10,300 points, as well as the global elite task of wearing full dragon, which is another 250 points, putting it up to 10,550. It also allows the equipment of a Fernal Axe listed under Asgarnia worth 250 points, making Fremi worth 10,800. And guess what? It also allows you to enter the Myth Guild allowing for another 100 points, making Fremi worth 10,900. Now, remember, in those two hours, it was listed as 9,200. This is almost 2,000 more points than it was originally listed as. Now, I'm saying this with a smile on, on my face and a little giggle in me. I don't know why. I should be very... I, well, no, I am. I am very sad at this. But, yeah, 10,900. That's almost 400 more points than Mauritania. Terror runs a bit like this, but it's not that deep. So I won't really get into this, but the longest time task Fremi has is kill a thousand of each DK and kill 750 Vorkath. Now you can kill around 200 DKs an hour with last recall on the relics and it would take you 15 hours to complete the entire task of DKs. And DKs are very difficult. Uh, you guys, I'm sure, I'm sure they're, you know, they're as difficult as Nightmare or, or Top. Now you can also do around 70 Vorkath kills an hour and complete that task in around 11 hours. So a shocking 26 hours to complete the longest time task in Fremi. Crazy. Now comparatively, the longest task in Mortania are Nightmare and the Theater of Blood. It takes around 400 solo kills on average to complete the Nightmare task and wearing the full set, the mace, and a staff with an orb on it. That takes around 80 hours for full completion of that, over twice the amount of time it takes to complete with the long Fremi task of Warcath and DKs. Now to complete Theater of Blood, very, very quick and easy, you only have to complete it 500 times. Even with a world record running team of 5 people getting 4 tubs an hour, and somehow having this team on at all times, it would take 125 hours to get this done, with the best conditions possible. Now, that's probably the best way I can show the extreme difference to you, and I hope you can see past my sarcasm, but this difference in time would still be fine in my eyes, if Mortania actually had more points than Fremi, as it was meant to be, as it was listed as, but the fact Mauritania has 10,520 points accessible that would take hundreds of hours to complete is beatable by Fremi listed as 9,800, originally listed as 9,200, actually having 10,900. Sorry about all those numbers. I hope you followed along. 
actually has 10,900 due to its hidden toss. Seem absolutely ridiculous to me, and I hope it seems ridiculous to you guys too. This doesn't even go over the difficulty between the toss either. Mortania has things as completing the Sepulchre in under 6 minutes 30. Now, if you guys have ever even attempted the Sepulchre, you'll know that's extremely difficult, especially from my attempts today. This is probably the hardest task in the entire league, and it's not helped by relics at all, unless you want to count Endless Run, which everyone has. Whereas Fremi has defeat Vorkath in under a minute for 250 points, or in under 45 seconds for 500 points. These Fremi guys all have tier 1 and the range relic, and those tasks are much easier to complete. Once again, they didn't pick Tyrwin, uh, Kandarin, or Fremi, or Tyrwin, Asgarnia, and Fremi to win. They picked it because those are the default regions you choose to go for the range relic. I chose the harder content, I knew that going into it, and it doesn't really make sense to me that for choosing the harder content, I'm being punished in terms of points. Being punished in time somewhat makes sense to me because it's now clear that you can actually complete every task in the time available. So uh, if it wasn't like that, I would say that the points for Mauritania should be higher points per hour, but it doesn't really matter if you complete every task in the time available anyway. But doing all that and all that extra hours still to get beaten by the easy and miscategorized points of Fremi makes no sense to me. I guess the overall I guess the overall point I'm making is me and Maz are still in the top 10 to 15 with Mortania taken hundreds more efficient hours to play to even contend here at all. If we had picked Fremi, we'd not only be ranking one, 1 and 2 overall, I think it's safe to say we would have completed the game by now. We picked Mauritania knowing it was harder, but it also showed more points, which just did not turn out to be the case. So unfortunately, the rank 1 dream is over for me. It's mathematically impossible for me to get rank 1, even with all the extra efficient hours we've played. I will still be playing and competing and trying to get rank 1 Mauritania, hold it right to the end, and being rank 1 or 2 in the hardest region possible, with hundreds of more efficient hours played, and the actual rank 1 overall, I guess, is still fine by me, and it made for some sick content for you guys. So I'm still happy with that, it just is a fairly shitty way to actually lose the entire league, and a lot of you guys had a lot of hope on me, and there was a lot of pressure on me to get rank 1, not gonna lie, but... It's not possible, so I'll do the best I can. Okay, we're over drop rate for the ring, and we haven't yet gotten ourselves the thingy Maji, the 630, but we have got enough tokens to buy all of the hallowed tools or whatever. So that is 100 points right there. We've wasted a lot of time doing this, but I have been getting tobs and some nightmares in between. 68,970 points now. For completing the Theater of Blood 200 times. Finally over 69k, bro. 69.2k. No purple, though. Fucking shit game. God damn. Give me the Sanguine, please. Justy chest guard. Okay, okay, I need that. Thank God, bro. Yeah, that's a new item. That's actually finally a new item. Now I just need the legs to complete the Justy set. It is a purple. Come on, give me the sanguine or the Justy legs. Yes, let's go! I finished the Justy set. Let's go. That's 500 points, bro. Oh my God. Yeah, I only need sang stuff. Let's toss this on. 500 points, master toss. We're at six nine seven twenty. Jeez. Okay, I messed up quite a bit on this one, but this is a new PB. Honestly, the closest to the 630 that we've got, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's looking like a 717, if my math is correct. So around 47 seconds off the time I need to get to the 630. But I did make a bunch of mistakes. Let's see what the time is actually at. 717, new personal best. New personal best for floor 5 as well, and I still messed up on it. 250 is not the time you need. Floor 4, I could have saved a lot more time. Floor 3, I could have saved 10 more seconds. 4-2, it could have saved 6, even more seconds. 4-1 is slow as well. So, yeah. I could have actually got a 6.30 on that if everything... Well, obviously I can get a 6.30 on everyone if everything goes well. But that is really good for me. A lot of progression right there. So, as you can see, my time was still a minute 20 slower than my personal best. But I actually just got a new personal best for my floor 5. So, we're making progress on that. We just messed up a bunch on the other floors. As you can see, floor 4, over a minute and 28, uh, 28 seconds slower. Floor 3, 30 seconds slower. So if we got those two times, god damn. Damn, this is my first six minutes. Six minute 54, I think it's gonna be. Damn, bro. If my uh, floor four was good, my floor three was fine. It was absolutely tick perfect. Floor three was tick perfect. Floor two was good. Floor one could have been a little bit quicker. Floor five, I wonder what my time was. 241, new personal best on that. Again, 655. Jesus, man. 25 seconds off. Damn. I need to cut that down, maybe to 235, but it was probably floor 4 that lost it for me, 25 extra seconds that I shouldn't have got. 
I just did a 235, a new personal best for my floor five. I beat it by six seconds, Jesus Christ. But my time is only 726 because my floor four was terrible. And I think my floor three was terrible. If those were both tick perfect with that 235, I would have got the 630. Pretty shitty to see. I'm 19 seconds off. That's so depressing, bro. I messed up a lot on floor five. And my floor four wasn't the most optimal floor four for me either. Oh, God, that's depressing. I think that's what, six? That's a new personal best of 649, dude. If I say 15 seconds on floor five. Floor four was actually my best time possible. Okay, never mind. But floor five, if I'd say 15 seconds on there. Floor two, I was six seconds too long. Floor three, I was nine seconds too long. Just a lot of time I could have saved there. But still a new PB of 649. It's so depressing, bro. I got hit once on floor five. I'm 12 seconds off the time. This is going to be a new PB. This is so depressing, bro. I hate this course so much. As you can see, floor two, I could have saved six seconds on. Floor one's pretty much perfect. Floor three was perfect. Floor four was pretty much perfect, too. 642, bro. Oh, damn it. I just got it. First thing in the morning. I just got it. I actually just got it. I just woke up. It's 9 a.m. And I've gotten on to do Sepulchre. I'm freaking out like a little child. But I've just got the 630, bro. Any chance that the ring and the 630 in the same one? No chance. But, oh my fucking god, bro. <laughs> look at my, look at how I've got this, like, this game marked, bro. You think they design content for non-client users? This is disgusting, bro. My shit looks like Roblox. But... We've got it, bro. 337, 623, complete the elite task, the hallowed sepulcher, and 630. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm so hyped. 229. I needed to get a quick floor five because my floor two was very subpar. It was eight seconds too slow. Everything else was pretty much perfect for me, at least. 623. I beat my new P I beat my floor five PB by six seconds, dude. That is hype. A hundred KC at the Hout's Sepulcher. I've got in my 630 before the ring, which is, I don't know, it's something. The K, the drop rate is 1 in 66, so I'm 44, 34 over drop rate now. I was really expecting to get it there on 100, that would have been nice. But we didn't, so there we go, we carry on. Over 151 kill count, we're on the road to times 3 the drop rate. I'm having loads of fun. Finally, bro. Finally, it has been done. Look at my fucking agility XP. I'm almost at 75 mil agility XP. I'm pretty sure I'm rank 3 or 4 agility. Ring of Endurance, 167. I got my sub 630 like 70, 80 KC ago. I have no idea. Where the Ring of Endurance, Elite Tossed on, 70,000, 220 points. Finally over the 70,000 mark. Uh, uh, why am I rank 4 agility? I hate this place. So if you guys aren't in the know and you guys are wondering what the thumbnail is about, when I got rank 10, I changed my name to Good Luck I'm Dit because I took over a guy called the Good Luck I'm Tom, poking a little bit of fun, having a little bit of competition. Then when I took over JMW7, I changed my name to JM Who 73 a little bit of fun, a little bit of comparative sp competitive spirit. It is what it is. Now, I guess the people who were in the top couple positions saw I was doing this, didn't want to be next, wanted to have some fun with me. So they all changed their name to Ditter Who's. So yeah, that that was that was something to wake up to. A little bit of fun to wake up into in the morning. Honestly, it's all in good fun. I hope no one has taken any of this too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun between me and the other people competing in the league. Yes, they have Fremmy, so they are cheating. It is what it is. But it is also fun. And yeah, waking up to saying the top five names all be Ditter Who was kind of funny to me. Anyway, towards the end of this video, we've changed our name back to Ditter Bitter. We're now at 70,220 points, tied rank 11 with Maz, who also has 70,220 points. We are both rank 1 Mauritania, and rank 2, or, th or rank 3 Mauritania, whatever you guys want to call it, is ages away from us. So, it is what it is, that's where we're going to end off today's video. Got the full Justy set, got Sepulchre done. From now on, all we're really doing is Tob, Nightmare, Inferno, and Clues. And, yeah, we we'll, should have the game completed in a week or two. If you guys have enjoyed this video, Hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys later. We ended off our last video after getting our Ring of Endurance and getting 70,220 points. All we have left to do to complete our account, by complete our account, I mean finish every single task realistically possible, is to finish 500 Theater of Bloods and get every single drop. Right now the only drop I'm missing is the Sanguinesti Staff. 
and complete nightmare which includes getting the full inquisitor set with the mace a staff with the orb and that gives over like 2000 points in total uh, i then need to do like infernos demonics and a bunch of clue shit we're gonna start off with some tobs and get into nightmare in the rest of today's video let's get into it all right another purple and all i need is a sanguine staff come on give it to me give it to me just start leg guards damn it all right, it's my purple. I think this is back-to-back -back purple for me. I just got the justy legs, or maybe it's not. I don't know if that was one before, but what are we saying? Ah, oh, damn, it's a rapier. Fuck, man. These are all alcables, but all I need is a staff to complete it. I've been stacking up some elite caskets from the Theater of Blood and just anything else I've been doing, and I managed to get five of them so far. I've done 15 clues so far and got 12 out of 98 of the collection log. I need 25 items from this collection log to get another 250 points. So we're just going to get started working on that and a mixture of this and Nightmare. I just woke up so I want to work on this as it's a lot less brain power to kill smoke dungeons and do clue scrolls. Uh, to kill smoke devils and do clue scrolls. So let's open these five and see if we can get any more of these items. Uh, Musketeer hat. I'm not sure if we've already got that. Planks, which is cool. I uh, don't think that's any unique. Don't think that's any unique. Yuri's hat we've already got. Ranger gloves and a ranger's tunic. Jesus, what we really need is the ranger boots from mediums. But that's 20 clues done for 15 uh, fifteen things now. We've got the ranger's tunic and the tights and the gloves, bro. That's pretty cool. Okay, we've gotten ourselves five more elite caskets and seven more hards. We've already completed the log task for this. It's just getting the 200, 300 hard clues we need to do and 200 elites we need to do. But we also need to get to 25 unique things here for 250 points. Probably not going to get them for five caskets. These things are extremely rare. And we're going to get dupes here or there. But we're just going to open it up and see if we can make any progress. Nothing from that. Nothing from that. Nothing from that. Uh, we got a master clue scroll. Interesting. Let's just open it real quick. See if we can do it. Probably can't. Nope. Another loss to Fremi. And let's open that. Royal Scepter and a Deerstalker. I'm pretty sure we already have the Deerstalker. So that's only one new item from those five clues. Nine more to go. Unfortunately, I've received so many master clues and I've still only got two steps done in total. Let's open these seven hard caskets. Armital Dehyde Shield Black Dragon Mask. Cool. Uh, just a bunch of rune items. Rune items. Master clue again. Can we do this one? Okay, so this is something we actually can do. Zamorak Godsword. Varak Castle. Nice. We're going to drop that for now. Gothic's Kite Shield. Bandos Full Home. Bandos Chaps. Interesting. I'm not sure how close we are to getting a full dehyde set but that is very nice okay this should be my third step of this master clue we've been working on this since the league started every single master clue we've got we've tried to do obviously just due to the regions we have had to drop so many and this is only the third step we're getting done unfortunately but let's see what the next one is for us and if we can do it or not can we do it oh my god we can wait is it did i just get the same one back to back is that even possible i guess it is that's awesome what the hell that is like some blessed RNG right there. Big NGL on that one. Okay, let's see what we get this time. We're now on four steps done. And wh what? Dude, have I just found a glitch? I just got it back to back to back three times. What the hell? What is going on? That is probably some of the best RNG in the game, but it's for a master clue, so it's really not that deep. But let's see what we get this time. And there's no way I get it for the fourth time in a row. Okay. Finally, another loss to Fremi, but we're now on five steps of the Master Clue from two. Three of the steps are back to back to back. Finally, bro, I've had to drop tens of clues because I haven't had the Dragon Spear. I've had a Ring of Wealth for all of them. I've killed like 20k Smoke Devils plus at this point, so I've gone very dry on this Dragon Spear. It's something I've needed. I just kill these Smoke Devils for clues, but a lot of the clues that I get, I need a Dragon Spear for them. I need a dragon sphere for and I've gotten incredibly unlucky getting it, but now that I've got it, it unlocks more clues for us. Alright, I'm hoping for the best RNG. Please just be a six step master. Um, I have to dig. <gasps> and that is a master toss done. Oh my god. Not a master toss done, but a master casket done. That is what we'd like to see. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Let's get ourselves to the crafting guild. This will give us a hundred points just by hope opening it, but I'm really hoping for a unique as well, which is another hundred points. Damn it, just to complete a master clue scroll, 100 points right there. Unfortunately, no unique, but that puts me up to 70,320 points. Puts me over Mads again because we're, I'm a 100 points difference of him. Still rank one Mauritania, and now I'm ranked 10 on the league points overall. Avernic. Oh, it's for EV scape as well. I'm delusional, huh? 
I just died and it's a purple for me. Come on, toss me the Linguini stuff. That's all I need to complete Theater of Blood, please. Avernic Defender Health. Yo, and I've got a purple as well. Let's go, bro. Please let me get this Linguini. Please. Please. Oh my. Jake just hit me with the deserved. I think he's about to take that one back. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Poor is Jessica our face guard. Jake is not happy. He needs it to complete his thing, and he's almost 500 dry of it. Okay, I've started soloing the nightmare. 15 sharks is our first drop. 1141. Hopefully, this time gets increased. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas or holidays in general if you're not celebrating. Unfortunately for me, I am still just grinding out the Trailblazer League for you guys. I haven't gone home in about a year because of the pandemic, so there's nothing actually better for me to do right now anyway. And it is a lot of fun to grind out these videos. Just a quick reminder that these videos do take hundreds of hours to make. You'll see my Theater of Blood and Nightmare Casey jump up loads today. And it takes me around one hour to do five Nightmare Kills and one hour to do four Theater of Blood Casey and both of those jump up hundreds in this video. So each one of these episodes do take hundreds of hours to make. So I hope you guys are enjoying. The best way to support me is by subscribing to the channel. And if you want to go that further step to help out in the algorithm, all you have to do is like the video and comment down below. But once again, it is completely optional. Let's get on with the video. Touch south wall, go. Uh, I think I'm good. Right now. Fury goes for defense, yeah. We should be getting into the tobs in about 38 more HP gamers. Um, good fight. 68, 34. Complete the Inferno 10 times, 250 points. 70,570 points. Jeez. Jeez. He needs the Just Our Face Guard and he's done with Tob. And he's got his third scythe. There he goes. Is this the Linguini? Please, bro. Please be the Linguini staff. Hmm. Third Justy chest guard. Get the face guard. Get the face guard. Get the face guard. Get the face guard. Oh. Wait, no, you just finished. You just finished with your leg guards. Damn, bro. We're never going to see McNeil again. Please be the Linguini. Please, bro. Please. Sang, 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 sang. Fourth Justy chest guard. Bro, let's go. First kill of the morning, Inquisitor Harbor. Let's go. 42kc. All right, so I was literally just about to record my clip for going dry here because I w once every 33 kills, I think I'm meant to get like an armor piece with the boosted drop rates and solos. I've done 10 group kills, so this is my 32nd solo kill by Mathematics. And there we go. That is our Inquisitor Harbor. 250 points right there. 70,820 points, our first piece of the set. Let's go. Yo. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go. 70 kills count, volatile orb. That's exactly what we need. It's not the staff, so we don't get any points for it. But once we get the staff, we get 250 points from the staff and 500 points for putting a staff with the orb on. So that's really nice. As soon as I get that staff now, I'm going to fly up 750 points. 70 kill count for the orb. That's lit. I'm very, very happy with that. Let's fucking go. Give me the fucking sanguine. 294 KC sanguine, please, man. What we saying? What we saying? What we saying? Oh my, another Justy Lock like, Guards, oh, good fight. And that is 100 KC at the Nightmare, and the only drops we've gone so far is the Volatile Orb and the Hallbrook. Um, I meant to have everything but the Maze completed in 200 kill count by that. I mean, a Staff with an Orb and the full armor set. Now, I wouldn't be worried, but I haven't got any dupes either. I've only gone those two drops, like the 200 kill count includes like getting dupes and getting a little bit unlucky here or there. So... The fact that I haven't gone to any dupes worries me because if I get dupes then I'm going to be more worried, etc. 100 kill count to go until I should have that completed however, but not exactly the best point to be at at the halfway mark in terms of KC. He's dropped the smiley face, the back to back. Come on, give it to me. And there's an Avernic. Bing. Alright, that is 300 tops completed. Cool. <sighs> Another lo- actually that's lost a Tarowin, the master clue, good fight. Um, okay, so we just opened three elites. I don't think I got a single unique from my collection lock there. Another D-Skim ornament kit. Uh, good fight. Gothic Kite Shield from the hard. That doesn't help us. Cyclops Head doesn't help us. Doesn't help us. And doesn't help us. Good fight. Bro, thank god. 124 KC and I finally got another drop and it's a unique Inquisitor's Plate Skirt. I've got the Plate Body too. Thank god, bro. I was losing my mind here. 
that I was going dry. By 200 KC, so what, 76 more KC? I'm going to start this next kill. By 76 KC, I'm meant to have all the drops apart from the maze for my toss. And yeah, this is what we got. But it's nice, I guess we'll take it. Ah, oh, 127 KC, like three kills later, another plate skirt, bro. That's my first dupe. This is what I was hoping to avoid because the kill count's already up there. Could have been the helm. It is what it is. Let's go 132 kill count. I finally got the nightmare stuff. Let's fucking go, bro. Let's go get the orb and put it on. That's 750 points right there. That's exactly what we take. Finally, bro. Our luck is turning around. Now all we need is the helm for that set. And then we work towards the mace. I'm so happy with that. I honestly thought my luck was terrible, but here we go. It's finally turning around. That's 250 points for equipping it. Let's put this volatile orb on there. Yes, and don't ask again. 500 points. That puts me up to 71,570. Just like that, bro. Let's go. 142 KC, and we have gotten our second dupe. We have the dupe skirt. Now we have a dupe nightmare stuff. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Obviously, if we get the mace, it's a field day. That's orgasmic shit right there. But realistically, we're still looking for the helm. That's a more common drop. But we could just get dupes of the other armors too. Let's keep going. And that is 150 kill count at the Nightmare. I actually thought using Void would be better than using two Inquisitor pieces, but ever since I've started just using the Plate Skirt and the Hallberg, I've been getting like consistent 10 minute kills. So definitely better. Obviously the kills get quicker once again if we get the Helm or the Mace. I think we will stop if we get the Helm before the Mace because that's 500 points right there. The Mace is extremely rare and that's 250 points. Obviously I do need to get it. It is one of the tasks I 100% have to complete before the end of the uh, League. I still want to leave it for like the last task that I have to do because there's still a lot of clue shit to get done and I want to get started on that. I just have to do 1500 demonics so I think I'll leave the maze for the end but obviously if I get it before the helm I'll just camp till I get the helm but we'll see what happens. 150 kill count. Oh my god 184 KC Inquisitor's Mace. I've been really sad that I've been going dry for this helm but it doesn't matter. This is the rarest drop it is 1 in 400. It's meant to take around 80 hours for me to get on average and I've just gotten it on 184 kill count. Don't even care that I'm dry for the helm now. This is amazing, bro. That is amazing. It should have taken me around 400 kills on average to get it. I've beaten it by half the drop rate, and it gives me 250 points. And it even speeds up the kills here so much, so going for that helm will be a lot nicer. We take those 100%. Let's put that on. 250 points, 71,820 points. Jesus Christ, man. You guys have no idea how happy, I'm with, how happy I am with that. That's 800 mil in the main game. Obviously, it ain't shit on here. But the mace at 184 KC is so nice. Oh yeah, there we go. 9 minute 46 solos. The mace is so nice. We're going to be getting sub 10 solos now. And pretty much 10 minutes all the time as well. That's really, really nice. And that is 200 KC at the Nightmare. Obviously no helm yet. Um, I'm hoping we get it soon because obviously we got the mace. We'd finish Nightmare and never have to come back here. It's kind of pointless to go lucky for the mace if we then go super unlucky for the helm. So let's hope we're not here for another 200 kills. But let's see how we go and let's hope we get this helm soon. There is absolutely no way. I've just got the Nightmare Staff and the pet in one drop. 219 kill count. I have no idea what the RNG is or the odds on that are. Probably extremely rare. Probably one of the rarest things ever. But this is going to sound shitty to you guys. I don't want either of those drops. I don't care about the pet. It is a temporary game mode. I've already got, I guess this is like my sixth pet now. I don't need the pet. I want to be done with Nightmare. I need the helm and I can get out of here. This gives me no points. Yeah, it's cool. But... The way they've coded the game, I can't even use any of my pets anyway because of Lost Recall. You can't teleport anywhere while you have a pet down. So all the pets I've gotten have just been sitting in my bank, and this one's going to sit in my bank too. 219 KC, that is an extremely rare drop, but once again, just give me the helm so I can get out of here. Alright, and that is complete the Theater of Blood 350 times. We're extremely dry. Okay, well, I was about to say we're extremely dry on a purple, but it looks like it's someone's purple that is not my own, unfortunately. It's a Scythe, he's already got one of those. Anyway, yep, that puts us to 72,000 points. Now, we could actually be at 73k points right now if I got the Sanguine stuff. If I had gotten the Obsidian Helm, I could have worked on some other stuff as well. Fortunately, just a little bit dry on drops. I know we just got the Mace, so we can't really complain too much. But the full set of Inquisitor is actually more points. But that puts me at rank 10 now at 72,070 points. And we should be able to climb up a bunch more tomorrow as well. Okay, let's open these 20 medium clues. Here's the collection log. Obviously, we are only looking for vestment pieces and the ranger boots because those are the ones that give points. But I guess it'd be cool to see what we get up to. We're currently at 54 medium clues completed with 52 of the collection log slots filled. So let's go. Um, the city spanner, nothing there. We're just looking for the ranger boots. Nothing there. Master clue, interesting. Can we do that? Um... 
Flared tr Oh, no, that's up in the Magic Axe Hut. No, I cannot do that. Bandos Mitre. Interesting. Okay, that Bandos Mitre actually does nothing for us. We already have one of them. Um, that does nothing. Black Leprechaun Hat. Nothing. Sardomen Mitre? Does that do anything? Oh, I just got Ranger Boots. What? I just got Ranger Boots in that too. I did, did it, was that in the same clue as the Sardomen Mitre? I just didn't realize it. I have no idea, but let's go check if that does anything for my Sardomen set. I think it might, you know? Okay, if I don't need the Sardomen stole, then I've got a full Mitre set. Please tell me I do. Oh, bro, as if you need the stole. Or, wait, no, I have the stole. What am I missing? Oh, no, I, do, I have the Crozier. I don't have the stole, bro. Shit game. Shit game. What else do I still need? I guess for this, I need the Sardom and Stole. What can you get that from? Damn, you only get it from hard clues. Interesting. So what could I get to complete this set? Um, I guess I could get the Ancient, but maybe that's from Easy Clues. Okay, so it looks like the set I can complete from Medium Clues is if I get the Bandos Cloak, which is a very tall order to get. It kind of sucks that this doesn't count as a Vestment set. I think I need the Stole and not the Crozier as my fifth piece. But we do have Ranger Boots, which is nice. So let's just equip those for 100 points. I think that's a hard task right there. Very lucky to have got those, but I did think that I also completed the Vestment set in that. So we actually went from like 200 to 350 Theater of Blood KC in this video. I didn't complete the Sank Staff. I went from zero Nightmare Solos to about 200. I managed to complete the Staff, the Mace, and unfortunately not the Armor set. Once again, this is hundreds of hours of progress from one single video. So I hope you guys didn't enjoy. My final Trailblazer League video on this account will probably be in the new year, so I will see you guys then. Thank you guys for watching. So if you have somehow made it to the end of this video or you had it playing in the background for some reason, real quick for the culture, let's drop a like and a comment down below, help it out in the algorithm. This league basically did end for me at the end of December in 2020 because it ran all the way through to New Year's in the new year until like January 6th or some shit. And when I realized I couldn't win, I didn't really want to waste any more time. Uh, I did have my fun, and I was well prepared for the next league, and I did compete for quite some time, which you all saw. Thank you guys for watching, and if you haven't watched the Shadow Relics League's videos, I definitely recommend watching those, because I did a lot better.